Presidential Election Petition Tribunal will decide whether it will allow a person with forged certificates and criminal conviction to be the president against the Constitution. If the tribunal fails to disqualify Ahmed Tinubu, despite clear evidence of forgeries and criminal conviction, and disregards the Constitution, it destroys public integrity in Nigeria. The evidence before the tribunal is clear that a U.S. court convicted Bola Tinubu of drug offense and ordered him to forfeit a huge sum as fine. He also presented a fake certificate to INEC. The Constitution disqualifies from public office anyone convicted of a crime or who presents a fake certificate because these crimes undermine public integrity. Since 1999, a speaker, a senate president, and a minister of finance have been removed from office because they presented fake certificates. None of these had criminal convictions, but presenting fake certificates was enough to remove them from office. Today, our country is overrun by criminality and forgery. The tribunal cannot continue to encourage crime. We cannot be a republic of fraud. Otherwise, we lose credit and reputation and become a criminal state where even judges themselves will be victims. The tribunal must disqualify Tinubu for certificate forgery and criminal conviction. It must heed the advice of the Supreme Court in Saleh v. Abba that the courts must actively fight certificate forgery and should never allow anyone who presented a fixed certificate to contest election in any public office. Many high-profile cases will definitely come to you, and they may likely come in company of some juicy, irresistible temptations, especially when they involve mouth-watery financial and business transactions. I'm making it clear to you now that you must flee from such disguised danger. Your reputation and integrity matter much, and it counts enormously in your rise to honor and fame in life. Let me point out unambiguously that in life, gifts and wealth that are not worked for which are by extension undeserving, are always wrapped in calamity and destruction. Flee from them and keep your heads high above the murky waters of corruption and favoritism so that you can be conveniently counted among the very best in the Nigerian judiciary. You must, against all odds, conduct your affairs within the ambit of the law and the oath that you have just been administered on you. If you are eater to 50% under public scrutiny, I can then confidently tell you now 
that it has automatically risen to 100% by virtue of this appointment. This tempo of public assessment of your conduct and disposition will now assume astronomical proportion. You must equally redouble your effort and dialogue properly with your conscience in order not to fall out of the grace of Almighty God and the Nigerian people. It absolutely takes nothing to join the crowd, but it takes quite a lot to stand alone with good conscience. Several novel business and industrial disputes are occurring in the country virtually on a daily basis that have now inevitably made litigations to go on a steady rise. No court in the land is spared of this. We are constantly on our toes and the dockers are ever rising in response to the challenges of the time. This underscores the fact that Nigeria ranks among the most litigious countries in the old world. The onus is on your lordships to fasten your belt and roll up your sleeves to face the challenges head on. You must redouble your pace to catch up with the expectations of the litigants. As judicial officers, you have a defined mandate on half that you must discharge with unveiled honesty and sincerity. You must give good account of yourselves to justify your appointment. However, if you decide to do the contrary, of course, the sledgehammer will, without hesitation, descend heavily on you. No judicial officer at any level of our courts will be allowed to drag the reputation of the Nigerian judiciary into the mud. We can't come this far to fail. Take heed of this admonition by walking rightly towards occupying an, an enviable space in the annals of the Nigerian judiciary. Well, all right. Well, let's begin what's trending. There's been mixed reactions following comments made by the General Superintendent of the Deeper Life Christian Ministry, Pastor William Kumui, who on Tuesday said that God will use President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to build Nigeria. Kumui spoke with journalists in Oshobo ahead of the Global Crusade program of his ministry. The cleric also urged Nigerians to forget the past and support the new ministers recently appointed by the president and believe that God will also use them as instruments to build Nigeria. Those ministers that have been chosen in the cabinet, they are not new, new people that have never done anything. If you look at them one by one, you'll see the good things they've done, either as uh, state governments in the past, uh, state governors rather, or as other ministers. And they have been, I would say, carefully chosen. If we support them, if we are not, you know, criticizing every step and they don't know where to stand, if we accept them and we believe that God will walk through them, he'll use them as instruments to build our nation, let's forget the past. This is a new day. And I believe, and we all believe, we're going to see new things for our, con for our country through our president and through uh, the members of the cabinet. Good things will happen. Well, unfortunately, I think it's that um, part that he said, forget the past, I got a lot of people talking. Let me take some reactions. Um, this person wrote, was it not the same thing you said during Buhari's tenure, sir? We're beginning to doubt your integrity. And that's the picture, I believe that was from Premium Times, um, when he said that God would give Buhari solution to Nigeria's problems in 2017. Another Twitter user there goes, uh, New things don't happen with faulty foundations. And the Bible said, Elijah repaired the altar that was brought down by Jezebel. It was on this basis that Elijah was able to call down fire. You don't call for fire when the altar is broken. The foundation through which this government came in is faulty and new things can't happen. 
your constituent, Ayo. Uh, you know I'm coming to you because, you, you know, I rather, <laughs> I rather, I, I, by the way, pa, um, Ayo, is a, you're a pastor, aren't you? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm proudly so. I'm yes. a Christian. And yeah. so and I find it interesting that I must say that um, Pastor Kumu is a man that I respect a yes. lot. And he's been in the faith. He's been a leader in the faith for many years. And I like that the tweet actually drew the fact that he's been consistent yes. in his message. What do you expect from a pastor whose message is on forgiveness and healing? And yeah. I, I don't, do you, did, you, did you expect him to come out and say, no, said. punish him? And then you're teaching the Bible to a man who is a scholar in that. So yes. he probably knows what he's saying. Mm -hmm. The Bible enjoins Christians to pray for their leaders. And so in line with that, he's asked us that, okay, no matter what happens, one thing people of faith always say is that no matter the economy is going to favor me, God can use anybody, even the devil, to promote his action. So I think it's important to highlight that. Mm -hmm. He's a dealer in hope as well. They often say that pastors are dealers in hope. They are there to give hope to people. He's not there to make people feel even more despondent and, and feel absolutely yeah. terrible. So he's, he's, he's worked and acted in his office. Mm -hmm. He's spoken as he, according to his faith. Anyone can disagree with him. That's yes. everybody's right. But he's been, whether it's Buhari, whether it's um, um, Tinubu, he's his position is to pray for those in authority to hope that God will use them and that it would work well for Nigeria, which he did. So. Yes, absolutely. Akari, I know you, you wanted to say something. I, I, I completely agree with Ayo. Uh, as a Christian, your position is always going to be pray for your leaders, hope that they do well. And I know that I can very clearly say there are people I did not vote for in Nigeria, but I still want them to do well. I know that a few of my friends will say, uh, and their air, uh, I will agree with as well. Mm -hmm. There is still a case in court regarding this government. Right. So until that is resolved, it's going to be difficult for anybody to completely throw their weight behind the current government. So in view of that, we'll say wait. But during that waiting period, don't you want President Tinubu to do well for Nigeria? Do you want Nigeria to go to war because uh, he's not being affirmed by the Supreme Court yet? Do you want Nigeria to go to shreds and pieces during the time? So the waiting time as well, there's still got to be prayers. During that waiting time, there's still got to be prayers to support, to make sure that the nation does well. And if the decision of the court is positive or negative, whatever it turns out to be, then we'll go with that. Well, all right. Wagner Boz Evgeny Prigozhin has been killed in a plane crash in Russia with nine other people on board also dead. The TASS news agency is reporting that seven passengers and three crew were on board the Embraer aircraft en route from Moscow to St. Petersburg. The jet is said to have crashed in the Svar region north of Moscow. Multiple videos posted on social media appear to show the jet crashing. Let's bring in Bish Johnson. He's a security expert and retired U.S. Army captain. Good to see you and thanks for your time. Good evening. You know, there's a way the, the, the news has been couched uh, and uh, it looks like um, uh, the, 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 there's a little bit of uh, uncertainty whether he's there or not. Uh, the, let us in. That, that could be possibility of having someone on the manifest but not being on the aircraft. Very correct. Uh, and at the moment, uh, we, we are yet to get more details uh, from the uh, Russian uh, agency that reported that news uh, to give confirmation whether this has uh, truly occurred. But again, one of the key concerns, we both spoke about what's happening in Niger uh, the other time, and uh, we know that the group has been operating in some of these countries on the continent. Now, uh, that w with this new development, what do you think this may mean uh, for where Wagner is operating in Africa? Well, let's assume we are considering that he's, uh, he's, he's, he's dead. Um, but I have to tell you that with that particular security company, that company is more or less like a branch of Russia military. Mm -hmm. So I would be surprised if there is not already a succession plan um, in case anything happens to um, any one of the commanders. This is that's always been the case. 
you know, with this kind of organizations, is that there will always be someone that will step in to take the position of the commander in the event that the commander is demised. So I will not be surprised that such plan is already in place. Now, you have to understand as well, too, that uh, um, he has not always been on the good book of Vladimir Putin. And so I would think that this debt, if in fact it is, um, may have, been, have some kind of power play in it. And so I will also not be surprised that Russia as a state has also made provision of who is going to take charge of the Wagner Group. And so in essence, what I'm saying is that it will have, you know, maybe symbolic impact, but operationally, it will have little or no effect on what the Wagner Group is done, is doing, and we continue to do. You know, let's also sit with this, because uh, for the first time, uh, just about two days ago, he was seen in a video, uh, uh, presumed to have been shot uh, on the continent in Africa, where he also spoke about uh, uh, its operations here on the continent. Uh, for those who are, are close watchers of that mutiny that occurred in June, uh, Putin was categorical when he said everyone had been forgiven, even uh, when his closest ally had asked uh, Prigozhin to come, uh, I think the Belarusian leader. Yeah. Now, yeah, yes, uh, Lukashenko, now, going from what is happening now, um, is, it, is it safe to, to think that this, uh, just because for, for some of the eyewitnesses, they say the aircraft actually, actually uh, blew up before it touched down? I think it would be naive Good. for anyone to think that uh, because Putin said he has, forg uh, has forgiven everybody, therefore he has forgiven everybody. Everybody that has rebelled against Putin, one of three things will happen to you. Is either you're poisoned and you died from that poison, or you're poisoned and you return to Russia and you're sent to prison, or you are killed one way or the other. So it would be very, very naive for him, uh, Prigozhin himself, uh, to think that after embarrassing Putin internationally, that uh, it was an he, embarrassment, serious embarrassment, that uh, he will forgive him just, just like that. I don't think that is, that is safe to say. Thank you. Thank you very much, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you. Uh, it's good to come in right now. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to play my videos. I don't know what happened. You know, so most of the videos that stopped along the way, uh, it wasn't intentional. You know, so I don't know what happened. But I've sorted them out now. So I might replay them again for you to um, hear what I wanted to show to you guys. But meanwhile, I just wanted to take this opportunity to quickly acknowledge the people right here with me. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Today is Thursday, 24th August, 2023. Thank you very much, my people. More of all, Mommy Diaspora, good evening to you, Mommy. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you always. Sagbovos Okonga is right there with us. Thank you very much. Good evening to you, everyone. Good. Thank you very much. Mofi Ray, my brother, thank you very much. Good evening to you. I appreciate you. Tony South is right there with us. God bless you, all my people. Nikki Oko Ogo. Madam Ame Bright, thank you very much. Miracle B, thank you, Madam Patricia. Thank you very much. Good evening to you. Uh, Mike Akionbari, God bless you all, my wonderful people. I appreciate you all. Press on the like button and help us to share. Williams Winner, good evening to you. I appreciate you. CXL, thank you very much. Wa Dia Onos, Ellen Okiti, Love God is my strength. Rosie and Yosh, um, thank you very much. Bobby Destiny is right there with us. Sunday Success is with us as well. Austin Prince, thank you, thank you. Madam Origin, I can see right there. Juno Baseki. God bless you all. Esther is with us. Sese is with us. Favor Faith is with us. Timmy Idibe. Thank you very much, my people. Ebuka, John Oga. God bless you all. Press on the like button. Do your part and let us all have a good evening. Thank you very, very much. BTV Nigeria. I can see you right there. Good best is with us. Discussion, Discussion Channel TV. I can see you all. Messi Iguha. Thank you very much. God bless you all. I can see uh, Lucy Eno. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Alabi Sivanos is with us as well. Neo James. Thank you very much, my wonderful people. Peter Inegbe, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Let's do this, my people. Let me see. There's still a lot of people right here. Father Evangelist, man of God. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening to you. Julius, Juliet, okay. Day. Thank you, noble man. I can see you, no, sir. Almost so on. Thank you, Ade, Adobo. And God will bless every one of your best. Julius, right there with us. When you see among the eyes with us as well. Good evening, good evening, good evening, my wonderful people. Then we have Peggy Modis with us right there. Good evening to you, Stella and Masevedo. Thank you very much, my people. Jacob D. I God, God bless you, my people. Mr. Joseph OG is right there. I can see you. Michael Oganemaro. I God, God bless you. Nana Roland, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My wonderful people. Festos, good morning. Thank you. I can see you. And no man, no Sahari. I can see you. Good evening to you, all my people. Please help us to share and press the like button. We have not started. You know, wisdom lucky. I God, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oluwa Chegu, Oroyomi. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, and I can see um, Vitos Aquabellum. Thank you very much. God bless you, all my people. Yes, yes. I think uh, there are more repeated names here. David Platt. Thank you. All. Thanks for joining us. Good evening to you. Appreciate you all. Samson Amoruyi. Now God will bless you, our people. I'm just trying to acknowledge everyone, though I did come up on time. Yes, I have opportunity right there. Thank you very much. God bless you, and I have uh, Sam. Uh, John, thank you very much. Push mom, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my wonderful people. Yes, I believe oh, Mr. Rita Okuns is right there with us. I sent a doga, George Blue Shell. Thank you, Madam Nena. I can see you. Thank you very much. God bless you, all my people. Mary Forde, I can see you. Press on the like button, my people. Yeah, love of God is my strength. Thank you very much. Once again, God bless you all. Helen, thank you very much. God bless you. All right. Uh, is that all, Jude King? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, okay, Mofure, I've not seen the video, but once if you are joining the panel, you can put it on the uh, private chat. I've not seen it. Um, okay. Let's see. Don't Oracle. Thank you, Washington. Omorige. Thank you, Tonya. Maduke. Thank you very much. Madarita in the building. Good evening to you. Thank you very much, madam. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you, thank you, Pro TPS Club. Thank you very much, Claire, the floor. Thank you very much. And I have, uh, oh, again, Abigail. Thank you. Ah, Mokuna, not comment again. Don't do. Ah, now soon I hear they do. I know if I not quick come out like this, conversation go full. If I don't put myself on this tax, then it becomes something else. Janet Osawaru, can see you. Ola Bimpe, so you me. Thank you very much. The Ordinary Evangelist Ozo, thank you very much. God bless you. Um, okay, Kelvin, I'm back. I can see you. God bless you all, Esther. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I think we are almost done. Huh? Mark James, thank you very much. Good evening, good evening, good evening. My wonderful people, and I God will bless you now. Tamin Mola Joseph, thank you. Good evening to every one of you, my people. Let's do this. Yes, as we know, say, um. The situation of the pastor, uh, Pastor Koyemi, is me. He said, "I go." Remember, since as three days without the talk, and now we don't talk and pass. Yesterday we come see talk and again. Today the team full everywhere. Nigerians are angry. Me not can understand. No article you want to talk about where the matter not they come up. You understand? You know. So um, even arise, although. The submission from our rice corresponded uh them OG and all of them. I understand. I understand what they were trying to do because of the weaponization of religionism in Nigeria. A lot of us are scared to talk about men of God. Yes, that's how it is. We understand. You know, I beg, I beg, no, no go area, no go area, no go area. That, that's it. That that's what I call we weaponization. It means uh is a no-go area, even though we are dying, it's still a no-go area. That's fine. If it's a no-go area, our own issue make you not talk put. Exactly. If you don't want to be straight, you choose to be biased, then don't say anything. Don't say anything because for me, my stance remains. It can never change. A man of God cannot tell us to forget the past and move on. You know, that God we use Tinubu to repair or whatever in Nigeria. My question is, if your child is stolen, they thief your picking, 
any of you that is biasly or satanically seeing the truth and you are shying away from me because you have love or any kind of affiliation or nepotism with this man of God, my question is, if they thief your picking, that's the way a thief your picking. Can't go, the, can't go buy him a nice shoe, nice trouser, better for me, did they use a rubber? Arm. He can't even put up for his Ferrari, take the take and go to school. As on, on your journey to reclaim back your picking, you not get to see, say, ah, they don't they polish your picking. You know, they don't polish them, they don't pomade them. Your picking can't even find, pass the way fair day for your hand. Will you not just turn back, say, after all, my picking don't do okay for the kidnapper hand. May the your kukuma carry the picking. Because for me, this is a very, very good example. Will you? If you cannot answer that question, you are satanic. Any of you that is protecting this pastor, if you know this question, why I ask you so? You know fear and Sarah, you are satanic. You shouldn't be here. You don't belong here. Because that truth will they talk for here. We don't talk based on hatred. To be honest, let me talk to you all my people. I know some of them are going to laugh. They laugh at me. I don't know this man today for yesterday. People go, I know some people go say, ah, in my life, I don't know him. I don't know anything about him. If you listen to the first broadcast the, two days ago, I was saying one pastor. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I was saying I don't know him. Now, some of them are for the panel can't tell me, say, now deeper life ahead or whatever. I don't know anything. I've never seen him. I've never, if I never see anything we could say this man before. And I don't know how it happened because Missy say everywhere for social media, don't cast. Because ah, this man popular like that. I don't know him. That's life. Yes, I don't know. I never see him for my life. I don't know why. This is why I normally say, especially when people post old videos, stop saying is an old video. There are people that have not seen that, even though the video was uh, uh, produced or uh, um, put on social media 20 years ago, 10 years ago, and they can't post them today. Just not say old video. People, they will never see what it happened 20 years ago. I'm using myself as an example now. I know many other pastors. I know Pastor Yedekbo. I know Pastor Adeboye. I know Pastor Chris. I know, I know many pastors. But I don't know this man. So I was surprised. So for some of you that is saying this man, I know a record, not a good person. Yes, somebody can be good. That's not a problem. We are not even talking about if the man is good now or bad. We are talking about his statement. For me, if you ask me now whether the man is bad, I know if he say bad, because I don't know him. Now his statement, I consign me. Because we did court. You can't come and be telling them, we can't damn forget the past. So if you tell me now, say, make a rate him, I cannot even give him zero because I don't know her before. I don't know a record. So if you know, say, you know a record, it's just like me, you know my record. Some of you that have been following me for years, then I can't do one thing today. Criticize me for that thing. Not say because, say, I too know Nigeria Watch, I too know Elvis. So I know you want to talk because I too know. I know you are satanic if you protect me from anything that is wrong. You are satanic. Let's say things are risk. We have one life. The video is clear. The article, some of them say the article was manipulated. Not be so it's talking. Then we can't play the video. I will play the video again. Everybody can't bring video, come out. Some people will still listen to the video. They will still satanically defend it. Not be so in me. How can you tell Nigerians to forget the past? That God will walk through Tinubu. Between you and I, Tinubu win that election. Is the question. So, what do you do if you know that you are a satanic pastor or you don't know what to say or you are there to practice or, or embrace biasness? Then stay silent. Don't say anything. You can't come here and be telling us, say, make it quiet. 
When will they come here? Since April, they come here, never take one day off. One person come to the terminal say, forget the past. Which past? If they thief your picking, because say they, they, they don't they give them better food, eat do me or whatever that they give them. You can't say, okay, my you can leave for them. If you know you cannot do that, you are satanic for defending this pastor. That's it. And for some of you that is running away, you don't want to contribute on it. You are also satanic. Except you are not deliberately running away from it. For me, maybe this is why I go lose friends and I don't care. That's me. That's my life. I felt talking for before. Before you talk about me, I'll talk about myself. I lost friends in the past because of the truth. I lost friends just because see, I taught truth. Not because I offend them. Truth. How it take come, I bring and come. Then I lose friends. I'm not interested. You are, you, to, to, to be honest, you've never, you don't supposed to even be in my life anyway. The day you portray the, the spirit of biasness, you don't supposed to be here. My brother uh, uh, gave us a mother was crying on screen the other day. He's a Yoruba man. He was disappointed. He's a pure Christian. Christianity have taken us out of. I don't. I don't really understand. It can't be like say some of us can't even know the Christianity pass on. Now they use them, they bully others, others Christians. I'm a Christian. I love my God. I believe in God. I pray to God daily. There is not enough for me to see. Something is wrong. I will pretentiously ignore it. Let's say things I read. Meanwhile, I would like us to take on this video. Let's hear what Oraka have to say concerning this particular video. I have other reactions. Then we move on to the bigger one. You know, today, as you all can see, uh, today, um, Tinubu have responded to the court case in America. <laughs> that one will break on today. We are going to take on that. And there's other issues here as well. Um, Area Father have said something as well. We're also going to be putting that through. But let's listen to what Oraka have to say here. Thank you very much, my people. Yeah, this is my message to Pastor Kumuyi. Uh, you see, I, I just watched a video where Pastor Kumuyi was admonishing Nigerians to support the Tinubu administration and their ministers. Well, it's just so unfortunate, really unfortunate, that we, we should forget the past. Now, how do we forget the past? If we forget the past, we can't learn from it. I was, uh, if you watch the cartoon series of uh, The Lion King, there's where the monkey said he hit the lion with something on his head, and the lion said, ah, it hurts. Then the monkey said, ah, don't worry, it's in the past. Then he tried to hit him again. The lion now dodged. He said, you see, from the way I see it, you can either learn from it or you repeat the same mistake. Uh, change is good. Yeah, but it's not easy. I know what I have to do, but... Going back means I'll have to face my past. I've been running from it for so long. Ow! Jeez, what was that for? It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> Can't hurt. But the way I see it... Ah! You see? Deviled by politicians who believe that the only way that election can be won is when you steal it, you grab it, and you run away with it. For goodness sake, Men of the book are supposed to condemn what is seen. At least that's what Christianity taught, taught us. So why are uh, our so-called men of God now avoiding, uh, now avoiding that fact? There is something I want to put up. Uh, there's something I want to put up forward, and I want every Nigerian to sincerely answer this question. Imagine if it was Peter Obi that rigged Tinubu out, out of this election, this 2023 election. Imagine if it was Peter B that rigged Tinubu out. And before that, Peter B had said that the only way to win election is to snatch it, grab it, and run away with it. And before then, he also said in the same Yoruba version that Yoruba Lokon, in Igbo it is, it is, it is a Oche, 
Hey, I don't. They say I go forget them. Oh, okay. Hey, I don't forget. I go ask. I don't forget. <laughs> they go laugh me now. Now, <laughs> what an obvious. Imagine, imagine. <laughs> Man, hey, Nazwa, Nazwa. Then teach me one Igbo now. Now, don't forget. You, you know Igbo now. Yes, we complete. How you go talk say? Um, like as Jagaban talk say, Yoruba lokon. How you go see talk say na Igbo tone to rule Nigeria? Talk and for Igbo make a year. Oh, okay. Ken di Igbo. Eh, uh -huh. Koru. Koru. Eh, Nigeria. Koru, Nigeria. Eh, eh, eh. Yes. Aso, uh aso. -huh. I don't remember now. Yes. Make I go come. Koru, Koru. Ma, uh, okay. Oh, oh, Ken di Igbo. Koru. Eh, Ken Nigeria. Imagine say na Peter B can talk say, oh, Ken di Igbo. Koru. Eh, eh, Ken Nigeria. Then they can't truly, truly, can't rule, can't rig Yoruba commod. Then, then, then uh, Yoruba commod na Igbo, na then rig them commod. This country for don't be on fire since now. Talk am na lie lie, na lie lie. Oh, make make a uh, article no say na Peter B na in rig and commod. This country for don't they catch fire. fire. So make any pastor Kumu you not tell us to forget the past. We cannot build Nigeria on falsehood. At least, Pastor Kumuyi, respect yourself. Now you suppose they teach us this thing. Respect yourself. You don't ask us to forget. No Nigerian will forget. And you were supposed they preach peace. You can't preach peace by asking Nigerians to forget the evil that is done on Nigeria. I can't imagine that this was a man that, while I was young, I saw him and I respected him that he was a man of God. But now, no, no, a man of God because I mean I've been a man of dog. I don't know. It's it's so it's so it's so shameful. If this same act was done to a Yoruba man, where it was an Igbo that bragged and say, oh 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 oh, the Igbo, Koru, Eche Nigeria. Sorry if I don't say it well. Will you be saying that we should forget the past? God, the tribalism in you guys is joy. I thought, I thought, I thought, your faith as a man of God will be stronger than the tribalism in you. This is pure tribalism. I'm so sorry to say that. And that's why I've not been to church for some time now because Christianity, you guys have come to destroy it. You guys have just destroyed Christianity. If this is what Christianity is about, shame on all of you. Nick. Let's forget the past. This is a new day. And I believe, and we all believe, we're going to see new things for our, con for our country through our president and through uh, the members of the cabinet. Good things will happen. Yeah. The last question, please. All right, guys. Let's listen to what uh, Mayo going to have to say because I saw this uh, this particular video on Twitter. People sharing it left, right. You know, I believe he talked about it yesterday. So I decided to bring the video here as well. But meanwhile, how they started... This is how they started. One. This is how it started. One moment, my people. Okay, uh, you can see somebody posted this along with the video, all right? And they said, what they said here is that straight talk, okay, with Mayogo, okay, LA. All right, he said, Kumuyi will never employ certificate forgers right he will never employ drug dealer he will never employ thieves he will never employ riggers to manage his business but he's telling us to accept and pray for those with criminal record to rule nigeria right okay now that was the first one right there i will react more i will show more reaction from other nigerians but listen to what my go because this particular video of my go that i want to play right now was following this right up on twitter that's why i brought it here let's listen to it thank you very much my people church in 1986 he came out and he said the problem of nigeria required prayers so and he published it. It was news. Pastor said, let us pray for Nigeria. After the prayer, they declared that Nigeria was ready for greatness. As 
the criminals who came one after the other depleted the resources of the people killed those they could kill and left so were the prophecies changing too so when the popular uh, campaigner apc started their campaign for change i am talking about uh, the a group of uh, or you can say the conglomeration of uh, all the problems of nigeria came together and they said they are now have the solution on how to fix nigeria this was 30 years after kumuyi said they were organizing prayers for nigeria all right so from nowhere this guy came out again this man came out again by then eh nigerians were already on their way to the poverty capital of the world he brought god in day your day that's all we need that's the only thing we ask for just day your day your belief your faith in god and everything god told you keep them to yourselves the moment you begin to try to brainwash us with your god this god that you are crossing the line and of course eh we will drag you and there's nothing your god your sky daddy will do nothing because there is no sky daddy anywhere helping these criminals they are just chances right as you all can see right here what my good just put right there on the screen because i also have it here as well let me see if it tallied with what i have here because i know say i put similar thing here let me see if it's the same thing yes it's the same thing you can see this is what I, I wanted to show you guys. Everybody already sharing it. This same man, 2015, said God ordained Buhari or Sibajo as our leaders. They will deliver. Must you talk? Must you talk if you don't have better thing to say? Our biggest problem today is my, my, our, our elders, 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 elders. Most, mostly the biggest problems that we are having today, our elders is part of it. Because now, so they say what they do must be respecting our elders, even though when you are dying, continue to respect them. See him 2015. Me not know this man before. Now, for the first time at the year, he named now day for yesterday. But records are coming up now. This is the reason why I'm saying that whatever you are doing, try to leave a good footprint because people will reference to your past. I've said it numerous times. On this platform, nobody have anything against me. Do you know what that means? Peter Obi said, if anybody find any trace of corruption in my name, I will stop campaigning. That is what we call positive footprints. What is the positive footprint of this man? Because for those of you that want to satan satanically defend him, look, 2015, how do you defend this? Buari is one of the worst things that have ever happened to Nigeria. He and Osibajo. But look, he said, God ordained. Which God? Talk to this man. Which of the God? When could not tell me, explain to me, which of the God? Talk to this man. God ordained Buari Osibajo as our leaders. They will deliver. Did Buari deliver? Did Osibajo deliver? If you are satanic, you are pretentious. You are, you, are, you are fake. You are satanic. This platform is not for you. I've said it before. I can stand alone as long as I'm standing for what is right. I'm not looking for the crowd. You must be real for us to go on on, on, on this journey. You can come here and be pretending you are fighting. If not Tinubu with a talk, all of you are go jump. Make we kill him. Tinubu, Tinubu now give her every names. But when it comes to your pastor, you, you all, some of you will stay silent. You don't want to talk. You don't belong here. I don't like fake people. I'm telling you, that's me. You don't have to be here. Any vacuum you create, somebody will replace you as long as you've demonstrated your fakeness. Say things how it is. Even though not me, why they talk to you so? Expose me. 
if you are my friend, I'm doing something wrong and you fail to console me or, and I refuse and you fail to expose me, you are satanic. You are not my friend. To be honest, you are not. Because God forbid, you say you be my friend. If your friend uh, take person in life for, you, for where you day, you're saying that because they're your friend, you don't want to talk put. That is why Nigeria is where it is today. Your papa go, you're in your present, take another person's life. You say, no, nah, I, I will go, I will go disgrace my papa. Your papa take person's life, you say, how you go disgrace your papa? You will cover up for your father. That is why we are where we are today. I've said it before. It doesn't take time for us to know who is fake, who is real. Don't, don't pretend and support anything that is wrong. It doesn't matter if it's your wife, your husband, your children, your father, your mother, anybody related or affiliated with you. Say things how it is for us to have a better Nigeria because we have only one life to live. Only one. Oh, God, madam, you, will, you won't live forever. Only one life. That's what we have. Death is inevitable. What are you going to leave behind? How do you want people to reference to you? Look at me now. Somebody who I know three days ago. People are already referencing to 2015. Me, no, no. I didn't. I never hear of this man name before in my entire life. I know it's strange, but that's the fact. Let's listen to what Mario Go have to say. Your belief, your faith in God and everything God told you, keep them to yourselves. The moment you begin to try to brainwash us with your God, this God, that, you are crossing the line. And of course, eh, we will drag you. And there's nothing your God, your sky daddy will do. Nothing. Because there's no sky daddy anywhere helping these criminals. They are just chances. Right? Said God ordained Buhari. So what happened to that God? Did God ordain Buhari to come and destroy Nigeria and divide Nigeria? Eh? He repeated the same thing again. Eh? He said God will give Buhari solution to Nigeria. Shema ajin mwa iniwani. Eh? I deni kama disrespect ya onlori burukui. Show mwa iniwani. So God anointed him. Did not give him solution. At the end of the day, by the time Bokuari was done, Nigeria was already in the gutters. But do you know what hypocrisy means? The one that actually gets me more angry and angrier is this. You see these guys? Eh? They will never, ever, ever employ any of uh, these criminals, any of their kind, to manage their their church business or any business they are involved in they would never if you are a thief and an embezzler a you know election rigger these guys mean that uh, if you are not a born again listen oh, if you are not a born again christian you cannot work with these people they cannot get you involved in anything they are doing their business which means to be a born again you cannot be uh, you cannot be a, a treasury looter. You cannot be election rigger. You cannot be a murderer. Eh? And you cannot be of any of these vices. You must be pious to be born again, Abby. Okay? Now, these guys, whenever you see all their universities, when you see all of the businesses they are involved in, that they don't pay any tax on because of their privilege with uh, all the criminals in charge of Nigeria, you will never see any mediocre person handling any of their businesses. Go to their schools where they have people employed. You will never see anybody with fake certificates teaching in any of their schools. You will never see anybody eh, with criminal record employed to handle their finances in their churches or anywhere. They will never do it. The day they know that you are a criminal, they will remove you. But these are the guys that are Telling you to pray for the worst of the worst. Exactly. The worst of the worst. In charge of Nigeria. Telling you to pray for them. So that they can do the right thing. But on their own, they will never, ever put any of you with criminal record in charge of their businesses. They don't trust, they won't trust you. Eh? So somebody stopped him. 
they stopped him right, right there. In uh, to give you an example of that, by the way, they are employing people to come and become uh, teachers in one of their schools in Yola. Eh? You are going to teach in Yola, Adamawa State. Look at the look at uh, their requirement to, to become a teacher, to qualify, to go and be their teacher. Number one, you must be born again and a member of their whatever. Eh? Mm -hmm. To be born again means you must not be a drug dealer. You must not be a, a drug baron. You must not be uh, what do you call it, a gambler or something. You must not have anything that, in fact, eh, is unchristian, Abby. So they don't want to have anything to do with you. If you have any of those records, don't come to us. So we don't want you around us. So you must be a graduate, which means you must go to school. You must have your colleagues. You must have every of your credentials intact, original, no fake. Eh, to be a teacher in their school. You must not be older than 45 years of age. They want youth. They want youthful age. People with a young mind to be their school teachers there. Okay? But they want septuagenarians, octogenarians as Nigerian leaders. Are you following me now? Eh? They say you must have verifiable teaching experience in the subject being applied for from a high bro schools for a period not less than two years. Which means... If you say you have this also career, you must show to us that you have people you have worked with. Tifnubu no get anybody. Okay? Now, go on. Oh. They say you must, uh, you must be computer literate, which means they are thinking modern. They are thinking future. Eh? Which means they, are not think, they, are not, they don't want anything old in their own organization. Okay? You must be prepared to serve preferably in Jola campus, which means if we give you this job, you must not give excuses. You must not start telling us why you cannot go to Yola. You must not begin to tell us why Yola is this or that again. You must not begin to talk, point fingers and say people in Yola, they are like this or that. The job is in Yola. Your qualification must be this. Don't come back and give excuses. But in Nigeria, the criminals are giving excuses. They have no qualifications. They have no track records. The only track records they have is that of stealing, looting, and destruction, oppression, human rights gone out of the window, corruption walking there, uh, you know, naked on the streets. These are records that they don't want to associate with. If you go to redeem, if you go to any of these churches, eh, they don't want to associate with criminals. No, 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 don't come here. But they welcome criminals, certificate forgers, election riggers, drug dealers, drug barons, eh, banker thieves. They welcome all these people. Oi bunkers, they make them pastors, they make them dicking dicknesses, they take all their money. They say God loves every every bad people. But they don't want to associate with bad people. What does that tell you? Hypocrisy. I mean hypocrisy. What does that tell you? Hypocrisy. So if you want to come and demand respect, you should come to equity with clean hands. Clean hands. Do you understand? So what happened? The all right. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. I would like us to move on to see other people's reactions here quickly. You know, I have other reactions here. The first one here is saying that no other business can accept that kind of personal history, but they want us to accept it for Nigeria and pray. Now nah, it is not acceptable. Then I have another person here. Uh, saying that it is obvious he doesn't hear from God, except he refers to another God that follows where the corrupt money is. It is pitiable to attempt to bamboozle your congregation that God would give the task to be done by Moses to a Pharaoh. All right, I have another person here saying that we have advised our dear pastors in Nigeria who cannot speak up against corruption and impunity by the present political class to mind their booming church business. Mind your business and leave Nigerians alone to fix their own country and stop talking nonsense. Now we have another person here saying that the brainwashing has been going on for too long but thankfully, people with influential platforms 
are resetting the brains of those brainwashed. Exactly. It's up to you if you want to listen. If you don't want to listen, it's up to you. But we have been brainwashed for decades. For decades, before we were born, our forefathers were brainwashed. Our fathers were brainwashed. In fact, every one of us have been brainwashed. You need to unlock yourself out of it. Then I have another reaction here. Nigerians give these men too. Nigerians give these men too much reverence. That's where the problem is. Actually, when God speaks through anyone, you will know God speaks integrity. Exactly, God speaks integrity. I have another reaction here. I don't want to sound rude to my uncle and his wife. Otherwise, I would have told them to stop sending deeper life daily manner to me. Anyways, I don't even read them. <laughs> this one, Mark, not good. <laughs> Jesus. All right. That is, that is the last one right there. Exactly. They never accept. Did you see the CV just to get job in Kumuyi school? Question. You can't be 45 and above, but Nigeria ancestors is good. You must have verifiable record, oh, yet a man with no school certificate, forgery everywhere. Kumuyi is saying, accept, forget the past, move on. God told me that it will walk through him. Just imagine the hypocrisy. My people, we can't continue like this. Yes, I'm not an hypocrite person. Like I said, before I started this broadcast, some people will not like it. They'll be upset. You know, yeah, it's always like that. When you speak against hypocrisy, yes, you always affect people. It's just like when a new government comes into power, any law they created to better the country, to better the country, it will affect some people. Because you created law to better the country, but some people will automatically be affected. That was how it is. Even in the United Kingdom where I live, I've lived in the United Kingdom almost all my life. Whenever they create law, we have people that is not happy about it. Why? Because their intentions is different from what they are saying. So that's how it is. My speech today, or maybe since day four is today till now, so people are not happy. It's normal. I don't owe you any apology. It's a normal thing because that is your category. You are not happy about it because you choose to support satanism. You choose to, to be biased. When you see the truth, because then your papa, that your pastor, you don't want to talk about it. That's that's hypocrisy. I don't rub my shoulders with people like that. I'm sorry. If you are angry, I don't owe you any apology. It's between you and God. Let's stand for what is right, my people. Let's stand for what is right. We can't have a better Nigeria when you yourself cannot demonstrate the good example. It's not possible. You can't be preaching. Just like me coming on air to preach all the time. I want a better Nigeria. True Mr. Peter will be. True Mr. Peter will be. Then tomorrow you see me for beer parlor with three women. I carry the forehead. I use put one for head. Put one for hand. You put one for back. Then I'll come back here again to pretentiously continue to talk to you guys. I'm not a perfect person. I've never portrayed myself to be one. But we all are learning. I learn from all my panelists here every day. I learn a lot from these guys that come to this panel. But you can't see what is right and cover it up just because this person favored you in the past. Ah, where my picky wife asked with that time, and this one, I give me money, I don't want to talk about them. That is satanism. Ah, where well, I want to do wedding, and this one, give me two bags of rice, so I don't want to talk about them. That is wickedness. Ah, when I passed my Javis school, now this might buy me my first car. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to talk. I don't want to tell anybody to say he keep Percy. That is wickedness. Say things how it is. Say things how it is. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you right there. I'd like us to move on because I have other stuff to, to produce, uh, to showcase to you guys today. Um, it's unfortunately that we... Three days now that I talk about this is not my intention, but uh, me myself as a broadcaster, I want to talk about it. Even to arise every video, I want to bring the matter day inside. How I want to bypass them. 
How I want to buy. That's why I told you guys I can never be bought. One, I'm not suffering. I'm not a poor man and I'm not suffering. If we, even those, some people that are suffering, they still have integrity. Not be woman find $70,000 the other day. We return her back to the owner. Davido Congo dash and ten thousand dollars, and many others have been giving her money. She got a uh, 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 what is it called? A, a, a visa now to go to uh, um, uh, Canada. That's integrity. If you know it, live with it because you have one life. One now you get. You don't have two lives. We all respect pastor, respect pastor. So many women don't have respect for their husband anymore. So men don't have respect for their wife anymore. They don't have respect for their father. They don't have for their mother just because of now my pastor. Say it how it is. Okay, thank you, Juno Baseki. She's now in Canada, you see. We don't say things that is not proper here. Thank you very much, my people. I'm going to... Uh, read these articles here before i read these articles i need to post out a link so that my people can join me right here you know so that we can take the articles together good morning good afternoon good evening to every one of you please press on the like button and let's do this all right i'm posting it right now i'm not preparing before <laughs> let me just uh okay i've done that now if you know you want to join the panel, that is the link. I've posted it. Click on it. Join us on the on, on the panel and let's talk about the things that's affecting us. If you know you are real, come in. Let's talk. Let's learn from each other. That's what we do here. Nothing less, nothing less. If the only one person join me for a whole day, I'm satisfied with that one person. And I work with that one person. That is my life. You know. Thank you very much. I can see, uh, give us a mandate. I don't see you, uh, my brother. Uh, my brother, Henry Gabriel, I don't see you. Black Panther, I don't see you. Uh, Mother Rita, I don't see you. Mother Nena, I don't see you. Oga Phyllis, I don't see you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my wonderful people. I appreciate every one of you right there. So I would like, um, let me accept people in now. Um, I never see Mother Patricia. I never see her on yes corner, you know. I'm waiting for two of you. <laughs> okay, I don't see Mother Patricia. I never see um Amo Yesko. Amo Yesko. We never see you. <laughs> I don't see you now. All right. All right, uh, my people. Thank you very much. We have only one spot left. Only one. You see here for screen right now. So now only one left. So anybody that want to take that is now up to you. Uh, uh, right now. Oh, you don't fool. Mother Busy Brace. Don't carry on. Hi, chap. This woman a chap. Chap woman. Eh? But I visibly don't carry no vest because these are people they try to join me. No, no, see. All right, thank you very much, my people. Let me quickly acknowledge, uh, give us a mandate, my brother, please. Uh, everybody, in 10, 10 seconds, more quickly greet each other, more move on. Good evening to you, my brother. How are you doing today? Give us a mandate. Uh, good evening to you. Uh, good evening to Nigerians, people on comment section. Greetings and greetings and greetings. Uh, glad to be here again. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. Henry Gilbert. Thank you very much, sir. How are you doing today? Good evening to you. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Evis. Good evening, the panelists. Good evening to everybody. We are here once again for a new episode. Thank you, Mr. Evis, for all you're doing. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Black Panther, my brother, good evening to you. How are you doing today? Good evening, sir. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Father, we are here again. You are just May God, bless, may God bless all of you. We are Black here Panther. again. That part I go and contest for those state governor go sweet. <laughs> and now you are go follow now. <laughs> <laughs> no, make her less go. Make, make we follow her. <laughs> ah, thank you very much, my people. Madam Rita, good evening to you, ma. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Good afternoon, Mr. Elvis and everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam Nena, good evening to you, ma. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, though, Mr. Elvis. Thank you so much, everybody. God bless you. I see I have a lot, a lot of my sisters here today. We made it to all the ladies in the house. Don't me no understand. We may work for everyone. Are we there here today? Because once <laughs> it comes to issues like this, we women will not get carried back. Because I'm here, me, I don't, I don't get, look, I don't get, I don't get joy because I'm here to lambast a kumuye. Make it, but I'm, 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 I'm,
Thank you. Thank you. Oga Felix, how are you doing today, sir? Good evening to you. My brother, I did fine. I greet you specially. Good evening, everyone. All the panelists, conversation of your worldwide. Thank you, my lovely brother. I beg you, I don't leave that my alone. I don't date the worry alone. I don't mind that because if he he, he can't be now, you know, say they say persist or the old, you call it behave like children. But this guy tell like children suppose they advise him. I don't know. All right. Why they not they advise him? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mother Patricia. Good evening to you, ma. How are you doing today? Good evening, Mister Elvis. Good thank evening, you. everyone. I mean the people on the comment session, of course, mommy. Uh, diaspora, good evening. Uh, can I just say that uh, uh, to Mr. Felix that uh, uh, yes. it's not about leaving the man alone because if you look at his antecedents, it's not just starting from today. We had stories of him coming from all the way from uh, 2015. Exactly. 2015. So um, that is his, uh, you know, that's the way he is. It's not about old age here. This is yeah, that, that's what I was about. To, I, I was going to say yeah. that. So, you know, so, so it's good. good. I bet yeah. now I use one to take it three bed. Yeah, yeah. That's the way God call. We pass where you give God miss corner the city. <laughs> yeah, but that's why that's why I need to hear our voice, you know, because I mean, if you are called, look, I, I, me, I'm a Christian, yes, but when you are going off your lane, I still have the right to say the no. Christianity don't bamboo yeah. too much for a so, long time. Yes, we no, know, but no you know, there are, still, there. there are still true men of God. You know, of course, we compare you with the blessed Napoli, less in the house, I'd be sure. No, 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 yeah, 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 Patricia, they talk, uh, Oga Phyllis. I support her. There are still a lot of uh, uh, good men of God, and I brought one huh? here yesterday, uh, 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 Bishop Kuka. Yes, we talk about waiting. Bishop Kuka talk for years, and many, many more. You, you, you know, you know, Mr. Elvis, you know, there was one day we were saying something. I mentioned Cook. Everybody was like, I don't know much. I decided to be quiet. That man, if you follow that man, eh, you would can, I can just compare him with a uh, Desmond Tutu of South Africa. No, I'm but sure. the truth of the matter is yeah. that Nena, when people don't know now, you go educate us. Me don't know Kumuyi, uh, 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 Bishop Kumuyi all my life. I never hear that name, I never see that face, and I don't know why. For real. And my brother, I, I, I'm surprised, but, but I'm not too surprised because it's, it's, it's normal. I mean, you can never even body. me, even me. I only know that there's a church called Deeper Life. I never know. Exactly. 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 I know the life. Three percent are women. Now you get the power. Sorry, oh, Mona. I don't know. I know. The guy, the guy camp, the guy, the guy camp. Eh, he then yeah, uh, uh, reading camp. They are side by side. They are both of liars. In the name of God, I don't know. I don't know him. You know, it's not by anything. I've never heard of him. That name to even pronounce it. That first day when I say I know to even pronounce that was hard for me. Now to since yesterday I can't know how to pronounce it properly. In fact, I was even thinking that Nedo man because Kumu, I can't say Uyi, Uyi. They before Kumu, I can't. Say, anyway, yeah, Yorubas and Nedo they get some kind of affiliations together. Maybe that make up. My brother, Mister Elvis. Now good people, you they know. Bad people, you know they know them. You don't know Mister Peter will be not because everything Mister Peter will be good. Let make you feel no before any other person. To me, to me, this man of God, well, it was a God like God I said, God. I don't know whether I'm a good man, I don't know whether I'm a bad man. I don't Elvis. want to judge him in the past. I, I want to judge him by these statements Elvis. because I don't know his past. There was never a time this man was good. He, he has always been good. very deceptive. He's very deceptive. He, I have he, a lot of issues against him. He's very deceptive. Okay, okay, we'll we'll to from, from, you from Una. We'll hear that from Una. Okay, so okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come back here. Let's move on. We have Omo oh Yes Corner. Thank you very much, ma, for joining us, my sister. How are you doing today? Good evening to you. I'm fine, though. Greetings, Mr. Elvis and everyone. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, um, um, Mother Busy Brains, thank you very much. Good evening to you, ma. How are you doing today? I am good, Doya Guy Elvis. Good evening to you and all those in the comment section everywhere. The lovely panelists, we day here. For me, I'm quite very disappointed. I was really itching to get the views of those on the arise. And I exactly. offer my hand today. Ah. I offer my hand big time today. Yes, she's a pastor. I just found out today on the show, 
but I feel her analysis was Who's the not pastor? as objective. Ayo. Who's the pastor? The Ayo. No, 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 her husband she... is the pastor. Her husband, okay, it's her, her husband. husband. Her okay. Yes. So I mm. found... I that's, found why, that's why you saw that. <laughs> it, 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 wow, I was wow. disappointed. I was really disappointed. If we cannot just lay it out there and say it as it is, that video Me, that you showed... Self. It just that is good to keep some privacy away. Mm -hmm. Ayo na person you say she's my friend. Wait till I write, go give Ayo this morning. If I tell Luna, mm -hmm. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Yes, she needs How to know. She needs to know that her oh. analysis today, her analysis today. While I get where she's coming from, from the fact that he's been consistent, he said it in 2015, he said it now, and it is that attitude that has caused us to be where we are today, because the church is supposed to be another is, is antagonist, I, I'm not antagonist, let's, they should be a challenger. Let's, let's move on. They should, mm, anyway. Let's move on. We'll come, we'll come to you, madam. You, Everybody will have enough time to talk. Please let's say things are it is. Let's do what is right. Elvis, what please make, make announcement, please. Elvis, make announcement. Anybody who want to want to cry because we are talking about this church issue? Should, should pack their load and go now because we're going to talk about it today. Because it's, to be honest, they, you know, to be honest, I don't I'm want to. You. I don't <laughs> want to. I don't want to expose or talk down on anybody. I'm very angry because I receive a message from some of our two of our panelists here, but I won't mention your name. You, you know, telling me, you know, uh, uh, Kumuyi for long. I shouldn't allow people to use me, to use my pl platform against Kumuyi. Uh, I was I, disappointed. So they, they should use the platform I against Tinubu. I was disappointed. Tinubu. They should use the platform against Tinubu. It's only so Tinubu when it comes to Tinubu, you go talk. Uh -huh. It comes to your pastor Hypocrisy. because you know him. You, then you could not say nothing. Hypocrisy. I was disappointed. Yeah. Let's move on, my people. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Let me quickly take these uh, uh, articles here. Then we'll take it from here. God bless you all. Then I have, uh, <laughs> I think, how many articles do I even have? One minute, my people. Let me see how many I have. Okay, let's take on the Tinubu's uh, 48 ministers first. You know? One moment. I'm going to put this on the screen. Guys, just bear with us. Everybody will have enough time to talk today. Let me take this. For you guys to know that T Tinubu is not there to rescue Nigeria. He's there, you know, to cause us more hunger. He has 48 ministers, the biggest ever in the history of Nigeria. The biggest ever in the history of Nigeria. We've never seen this before. Now, the salary for these people, now you can see for screen, so... 8.6 billion naira for the 48 uh, ministers in four years. So, for example, now if we divide that one, can somebody divide that one by? Uh, is it? Uh, uh, I've already done that. Sir. Okay, please, madam, you are good. It with is that. Uh, is 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 8.6 billion for uh, um, 48 divide 48 months. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's four years, and then uh, divide uh, uh, the total, then divide the five. I use five hundred and seventy altogether. Both okay, the that means house and the upper that's house. about six hundred million every year. Yeah, almost uh, like uh, uh, each person is about twenty six point point uh, seven million every month. This is just basic every salary. Month. This is just yes. basic salary, not allowance. Yes, basic salary, basic salary. Allow us to the inside. No, allow us no. The basic salary. Twenty-six point seven million every month. Every month. Criminals. Okay, Twenty-six point seven yes. million times twelve, madam. How much is that? No, not times twelve. Every month, I've already no, worked and worked it. Out. That's each of them. Times twelve, please. Times it. Okay, times twelve. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's uh, okay. Sorry, I I missed that. Yeah, it will be like uh, one minute. And some people system. will say we should not we should not talk about this so called uh, so called fake pastor fake prophet who is who is trying to uh, brainwash Nigerians. If you are one of those, uh, three hundred and three hundred and twenty million four hundred thousand. 
Okay, that that's a, a, a rough estimate, 350 million naira. About year. plus one where they go teeth and all those things. So because mm. a basic salary, 350 million every year for one person. Ah, yeah. Ah, this is when the minimum ah. wages on some places 30,000 a month. Just imagine. Yes. No, Nigerians need to do something about this. It's not this good work. Yes. Anyway, uh, let me quickly take this here. President Bola Tinubu uh, administration we spend. 8.6 billion naira on minister salaries and allowance over the next four years, according to finding by the Daily Trust. Okay, the figure could, however, rise as the revenue uh, mobilization allocation and fiscal commission ROMFAFC finalizes its review of public servants. Okay, the money could rise. Yes. All right, not the money where they thief oh, not the money where they thief. Okay, uh, but expert who spoke, I don't want to read that. To be honest, that headline is okay, it's just okay, so that we can move on. I have other thing here. I mean, if you ask, I they read this, I don't get headache. I'm telling you guys, I don't already get headache. Mister Evans, not the one they don't first when they first divide, give them all. Exactly the seventy wow. billion. <laughs> that one don't. Oh, I don't know that one. Are for me. Uh, 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 senators now, right? And as of red. And that's not both of them now. Not be all of them. They say they won't buy furniture, buy this, buy that. So, now all of them together. All right. Now, I have, um, let's quickly take this. What's happening here? Uh, what I'm trying to take is not opening. Why is different things open here? Okay. Let me quickly take this. So as you can, Charlie Boy react to Kumuyi's statement on President Tinubu administration. Okay, let's see what Charlie Boy have to say quickly. A veteran Nigerian entertainer Charlie Oputa, aka Charlie Boy, has broken his silence after the ge general overseer of Deeper Life Christian Ministries, William Kumuyi, asked Nigerians to forget the past and support the administration of President Bola Tinubu. According to Kumuyi, God will use President Tinubu to build the country. Hmm. Everybody they talk to reacting. One moment, one moment, my people. Reacting to the clergy statement via Twitter, Charlie Boy shared a picture of the general overseer of Living Faith Ministry, David Oyedipo, alongside Kumuyi, and recounted how the former and had stated that he saw a nation going down the drain. The entertainer wondered whose words should be taken seriously between the two men of God. He said, unquote, God described a false prophet as one who presumes to speak in my name, anything I have not com commanded, or prophet who speaks in the name of other gods. Now, my people, between Kumuyi and Oyedepo, now who will you... You don't enter PG. Now who... Now, now who will you... So, ah, this PG of it. Where you so, suspect where the nearer to God, this but already the good PG. I struggle with PG all the time. You know, I must get that paragraph right now. Who where you suspect where the nearer to God? Okay, good. <sighs> my guy, <laughs> my guy, my Jack, where he sing religion and politics. Where till you think say he talk, he they talk when God of men are building. Their heavens on earth. Okay, Deuteronomy uh, eighteen twenty. Okay, God speaks harshly against false prophets, occult practices, and other means of sex. Okay, uh, that is it right there. Um, I would like to quickly move on to another article here. Which one? This one is a bigger one, concerning um, article. <laughs> Let me quickly bring this here. Tiko and Tinubu. I think they drag Tinubu not be small. They say <laughs> they think up as it get. Although we are going to tally it up with uh, Ned Media shortly. But meanwhile, let me quickly take this one right here. Tinubu blames university clerk for invalid graduation date signature logo other uh, anomalies on Chicago certificates. They went on by saying President Bola Tinubu has implicated a clerk at Chicago State University as responsible for blatant irregularities that characterized a certificate the school reprinted 
in his name, according to new court filings seen by People's Gazette. So let's move on. The Nigerian president said the unnamed clerk unfortunately made the errors as the date the school stated on his recent issued certificate and when he actually graduated, thereby creating the appearance of differences. <laughs> So if American people not get sense again, Mr. Tinubu's statement was filed on August 23rd by his counsel as part of his argument before the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois in Chicago. Judge Jeffrey Gibbard had given the Nigerian politician until August 23rd to explain why his academic record at CSU should not be released to his political opponent, Atiku Abubakar. Mr. Abubakar earlier this month requested court approval to subpoena Mr. Tinubu's files domiciled with CSU because he believed the document would clarify glaring inconsistencies in Mr. Tinubu's background, including publicly available documents that suggested the CSU in the 1970s admitted a female student bearing Bola Tinubu, who was, who was born on March 29. 1954. Tinubu said they made mistake, put female instead of me. They made mistake, put a wrong date of birth. They made me, <laughs> God, wahala. All right, let's move on. Then they continue. The Nigerian president said he was born on March 29, 1952. <laughs> but the certificate said 1954. They made mistake. Okay. Although he had also at different times listed 1954 as his best year in the past. He also recently expunged his primary and secondary education from his record after it was discovered that the schools he listed under the oath in his 1999 run for Lagos State Governor did not exist anywhere in Nigeria. And in Delhi, allowed this man make a rule that time. He completed his eight years. He don't take away Nigeria's spoil. He don't take. But let's move on. Mr. Abubakar believed the requested record would show which early and high papers Mr. Tinubu submitted to CSU before he was admitted to study accounting there. Mr. Abubakar had sued to obtain Mr. Tinubu's school record under a U.S. statute that allows documents available in the U.S. to be subpoenaed for use as evidence in foreign courts. Mr. Abubakar argued that Mr. Tinubu had presented contradictory claims in Nigeria and the CSU in responding to a provision subpoena had issued documents that contradicted what Mr. Tinubu had entered under oath in Nigeria. Mr. Tinubu's lawyer led by Oluwole Afolabi and Christopher Kamisho argued that the August 22, 20, 2022 subpoena that was issued following a request by the Nigerian lawyer Mike Enauro Ebe was illegal. Everything is always illegal. Either dismiss or illegal. Dismiss or that's all they have to say. Because he had no valid ground to seek the document, especially under education privacy rights. The lawyers, not the less, admitted the document indeed emanated from the CSU, but an unnamed clerk had mistakenly typed the graduation date. Unfortunately, in responding to the illegal and invalid subpoena, CSU made several errors. Mr. Tinubu's Anthony said, <laughs> the old Chicago University make error. They make error for year. They make error for uh, date. They make error for gender. Okay, let's move on. I'll allow my panelists to handle that anyway. CSU issued a new diploma for Bola Tinubu, but incorrectly wrote the date of graduation as June 27. 1979. The lawyers also said changes in school authorized signatories and logos alongside other anomalies like font of the certificates all combined to generate an appearance of wrongdoing. One moment, we'll soon get there. This is a vital uh, article. I can't skip anything. Sorry, guys. Unquote, the correct date was June 22nd, 1979, but this Trevna error along with the change in the CSU logo, the font on the diploma and leadership 
at CSU who signed the diploma created the appearance of differences between an earlier issued diploma and the one issued in response to the 2022 subpoena, the lawyer said. Mr. Abubakar said he filed the suit because he wanted to get the school to certify all documents related to Mr. Tinubu, some of which had been filed by the Nigerian president lawyers in Nigeria court as part of the ongoing election petition proceeding. But Mr. Tinubu argued further that Mr. Abubakar should be requesting the document because Tinubu shouldn't. Hold on. Okay, should be requesting the document because Mr. Tinubu academic record were not part of the initial litigation over the Nigerian elections. If you not see the way these people tell the response, you know that they have a lot to hide. Let me continue. They said the opposition leader's argument had been focused entirely on cheating and other irregular, irregularities around the conduct of the election. They also argued that the Nigerian court hearing the election petitions had already concluded hearing on argument and a judgment is now being anticipated. anticipated. The court is expected to deliver judgment on, on or before September 21st in line with the Nigerian electoral law that mandates the conclusion of a petition within 180 days after the election. The presidential election was held on February 25th. Mr. Tinubu was sworn in as president May 29. Mr. Tinubu argued appeared to mirror the position of the CSU authorities on the lawsuit and the school had said it would defy compliance decision to its former student on the matter. <laughs> oh God. America they do it. So okay, let's move on. The final paragraph. Mr. Abubakar legal team led by Chicago-based Anthony Angela Maria Liu is expected to file a response to Mr. Tinubu's argument that the documents should not be sought because they were not part of the Nigerian proceedings and would be inadmissible due to the current stage of the case. My people, not so we see him. But meanwhile, I would like us to quickly tally this particular one up for a better explanation or from uh oh we lost somebody from the panel and somebody has not taken we have dr ken with the uh with us okay fortunately i don't know best we will lose from the panel somebody obviously we lost somebody from the panel but i'm not sure who okay but let's move on uh sorry guys let, let me let's quickly listen to what um net media have to say here i just hope uh this play as well okay thank you the long-awaited response by Tinubu to the district court in Chicago is here. And going by what we've seen, it seems they've abandoned the issue of privacy. They are no longer arguing that it will violate Tinubu's privacy if the Chicago State University records are released to Atiku. For those who are not aware of this case, let's make a quick recap before we see their reasons for arguing against the release of Tinubu's records at Chicago State University. Before anyone can run for president or any elective position in Nigeria, the person must submit his particulars to the Electoral Commission. And once that person submits those particulars, it becomes public. Anyone or any candidate in the election can subpoena INEC, the Electoral Commission, to provide the documents a candidate submitted. That was exactly what Atiku did. He went to court and got a subpoena and the electoral body gave him the documents that Tinubu submitted. When he received these documents from the electoral body, he found out that there were inconsistencies in one of the documents that Tinubu submitted. That document is the certificate from Chicago State University. Before Tiku Abubakar subpoenaed the electoral body to provide Tinubu's particulars, one Nigerian lawyer had already done that. But we'll come back to the lawyer's story because Tinubu's counsel actually mentioned the lawyer in their reply to the district court in Chicago. After Atiku Abubakar noticed the discrepancies in the documents Tinubu submitted to the electoral body, he noticed a potential violation of Nigerian laws because according to Nigerian laws, any candidate in any election that provides a forged certificate to the electoral body will stand to be disqualified. 
Based on this, he included it in the petition he filed at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, where he is challenging the declaration of Tinubu as the president. Also challenging the presidential election is the Labour Party candidate, P2B, who provided more grounds for disqualification of Tinubu in his petition. Among the many grounds he raised in the petition is the $460,000 that Tinubu forfeited to the United States in 1993. Before Tinubu made the forfeiture in the United States, he was under investigation by the FBI and the DEA. Even the U.S. Customs had already said that his house address in Chicago was a drop-off point for narcotics packages coming from West Africa. So the FBI and the DEA, after conducting their investigation, were able to prove that these monies were proceeds of narcotics trafficking, which of course led to their taking him to court in absentia because he was no longer living in the United States at the time. The judge ordered the forfeiture of the $460,000. Now, back to Atiku on how he ended up in district court in Chicago, asking the court to order the subpoena so that Chicago State University will provide the admission records of Tinubu. When Atiku argued in the Nigerian court that is hearing the presidential election petition that Tinubu wasn't qualified to contest the presidential election, Tinubu's lawyers argued that he should provide proof to support what he said, that he should show reason why Tinubu isn't qualified which means he should prove that he allegedly forged the certificate. That was how Atiku ended up in Chicago. Before Atiku went to Chicago, he had already called a witness who presented the evidence in the Nigerian court. Among the evidence the witness presented are documents they got from the electoral body that Tinubu submitted to them while he was filing his documents. Also, the documents they got from Chicago State University, that's the certificate. One interesting thing happened when they got that certificate from Chicago State University. After receiving the certificate from Chicago State University, they instantly confirmed that it's quite different from the one Tinubu submitted. So they wanted them to make a comment. Is this certificate from you? You know, that kind of thing, because it's quite different from the one they gave them. So they proceeded and gave them the one that Tinubu submitted. And immediately the Chicago State University representative saw it. He said, no, hey, there's a problem, please disregard all the documents we've given you. In fact, destroy them. There's been a problem. We will come in, you know, started giving excuses. So they wondered why would the university do this? They were subpoenaed to provide a certificate of one of their students. They did that, but when they were shown a forged one by the same student, they started giving excuses, saying that the one they already submitted under subpoena is a wrong one, that there was mistake, you know, a lot of things. So evidently, it looks like Chicago State University is trying to cover something up. Why will they now deny and say that what they submitted was the wrong one? Because they didn't see the forged one. So it's quite complicated. Yes, the reason Chicago State University is doing this is not far-fetched. Because this information is public knowledge already. They've released this school record to David Hundein and his associates. That was last year, he released that information, but for formality's sake, the way you present evidence in Nigerian court, that's why Atiku is in Chicago. Atiku got a subpoena from a lower court, but instead of Chicago State University honoring that subpoena, they decided to call Tinubu. That was why he hired five lawyers and asked the court to be joined in the litigation. By the way, one of his lawyers is named Oluwole. People from Nigeria will understand what this name means. But for people who don't know, Oluwole is referred to something fake. When you say this one is Oluwole, it means this one is fake or is forged. What a coincidence. <laughs> the reason for this backstory is to make sure everyone understands because the last video, many people didn't understand they were saying, ha, why will a US court decide what is happening in West Africa or in Nigeria? No, no, it's not that. It's just because Chicago State is involved. Tinubu went to Chicago State University, but surprisingly, he's blocking his school records. And after his All right. Uh, thank you very much, my people. I think on that part, let's just move on right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you all uh, for your patience with us. I would like to start hearing from our people right now. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to every one of you. Um, give us a mandate before I will call on you. 
Let me quickly appreciate those of you, those people that super chatted me. Total Let's Other Gomez, thank you very much for your super chat earlier on. And I got a super chat uh, from Mr. Joseph OG. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate every one of you. May God bless you all. Please press on the like button, press on the dollar sign, support what we are doing here. Help us to share as well. Currently, our likes is just 275. It's not good enough at all. If you can hear my voice, please press on the like button and let's take it out. Please, we have over 900 people watching us right now. So at least our, our likes should be at least a minimum of 500. Normally, if you want to be fair, please press on the like button and let's take it from here. Thank you very much, my people. Let me call on, give us a mandate. Please talk to us, my brother, eight minutes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Helvis. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to the panelists and everyone um, on the comment section, people watching from all over the world. Um, greetings to everyone and to the panelists. Um, greetings to everyone here again today. Um, well, it's always good to be here and um, coming out to do this all the time. Um, one thing is uh, our country uh, must be must be better. Our country must be taken back from the hand of these people, um, these looters, these um, embezzlers, the political dealers, and also the people that buy their fellow human being without any reservation or without any fear, without any um, empathy. Well, it just sudden that today, when we as people should be calling out evil, we celebrate evil when we as people should stand for what is right, we try to pad evil. I am from the Southwest, born and raised in Lagos State. In the history of Nigerian politics, before I left Nigeria, I mean, I was still there when Jonathan was contesting for his first term. I have never seen a man that his political opponents will go everywhere to go look for something to bring him down and they could not find any. Regardless of his background, regardless of where he comes from, regardless of what, what um, people have done, they could not just find any against this man. And that man up until today, even still after the election, they're still trying hard to bring him down, they've not find any. Peter Obi is a Christian, even though he may not put it in, he's not written in his forehead. Peter Obi went to Arise TV. When after the election, they said, maybe this is the will of God that Tunumbu is the president. And let me stop and say, Tunumbu is not the will of God for Nigeria. Because people went out to vote to cast their vote for who they believe as the energy, the infantry, the character and the charisma to do the right thing because they checked his pedigree eight years in Anambra State. The only one that ruled for eight years without collecting pension, they brought a land to him in his office. Maybe some few days he became a governor and they said, oh, Mr. Governor, this land is for you. But before then, somebody came to him and said, oh, Mr. Governor, this person is going to retire. I just want to, I just want you to wish out, just wish her well and then um, just say kind words to her because she has served for over 35 years, if I still remember. And so they brought this lady to him and he asked the lady, okay, madam, they say you served for 35 years. You must have been so, so nice a woman to have been here for 35 years. What has the state given you? And she said, nothing. How much is your pension? 50,000 thereabouts. And he said to them, this land is not for me, but belongs to this woman. I have been here for four years, but somebody has served for 35 years and nothing. And she said, give the land to this person. 
And so that's how that woman, after serving Anambra State, became a landlord and honey land. And now when you just oppose this, this man and this other character, you see great difference. Now, this character that they said we should, maybe God be using to do something good for Nigeria, went to Chatham House, said, power is not served a la carte. You run, you snatch it, you run with it, and then you do whatever you want to do with the power. And we saw the consequence. Over 88 people quite in the election. A 19 years old boy quite himself in Plato just because of the election, because he believed that Mahmoud Yakub stole his destiny. And so the 88 people that died, is that the will of God? Is that a good thing that nobody is going to do for Nigeria? Those things still leave me. I'm still bleeding up until the day I had that news. And then the one you showed in 2015, somebody shared it on my platform, my, my, my former church platform. And I said, wow, I didn't even see this. And that keeps my heart, keeps bleeding. Because the disciples were called Christian first in Antioch because they saw the character of Jesus in them. Most of the disciples, Paul was a lawyer. Peter was a fisherman. And so if we as Christians will not hire people with bad reputation, people that forge results, people that stole, people that lie, people that are not born again, we cannot hire them in our, in our own organization. That why then do we say maybe God will use a drug baron to rescue the nation? Because if the foundation is destroyed, then what can the righteous do? I am still bleeding to today. Because everything in our country has just been thrown under the, into the into the into the mud, into the slum. Nigeria was a country. Somebody said it to me in one of my men's retreats some weeks ago. He said, Nigeria was a country. And every day I see this impunity, this wickedness all over the places. It reminds me of what that man said to me, that Nigeria was truly a country. The reason why people will actually talk about this situation is because countries are founded on Righteousness and truth. America said, in God we trust. Maybe the reason why God has not destroyed America with all our wickedness in this nation is because of our founding fathers say that our nation is founded on God. And so a drug baron, somebody that is of a questionable character, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but when we say the first seat of the nation and plus all of the evil that this man is known for. Nobody can come out and say, I went to school with Tunumbu. Is he the only person that is still alive in his own days? Come on, people. If you ask me which school I went to, I can tell. If you come to my school that I went to in America, they can give you my, they can, you can, come on. How can you go to school and then a secretary can make a mistake of your gender. Are we truly serious people? I'm going to pray for this kind of character that God should use him to do good thing. When under is what somebody's already riding on a Lexus Jeep that costs 300 million and we are, we are just over 200 million people. So share that money that used in buying that Lexus. Each of us can get 1 million naira each. And we're going to pray for this kind of character that God is them to do good thing. And so if you're a Christian, you cannot speak on, on things like this. I really question your faith because, I mean, I study the Bible, I pray. And as much as God helps me, I still keep my faith. I believe in Jesus because he's the author and the finisher of my faith. And so if we pray for this kind of character, then the death of Deborah, the death of Deborah, the death of Deborah is just a waste. Because Deborah was was lynched for saying that don't post this kind of thing on this web on this on this WhatsApp group. This is created for assignment and not for religious content. And for that reason, Deborah was murdered in cold blood. They even showed the matches. They using burning Deborah, 
And up until now, not even a clergyman has spoken about, about the death of Deborah. And we're going to pray for the character that went to Chathamas and told us that power is not served a la carte. You either snatch it, you run with it. Regardless of how many people stand in your front, you can buy them, don't care, just snatch the power. And we're going to pray for such character. When we have a man like Peter Abeda, we don't even need to spend energy on praying too much because he's a man of a character, competence, capacity, care, and love for humanity. This election was stolen by the one that we're going to be praying for. Come on, people. Are we truly a nation? But remember I said, Nigeria was a country. Nigeria, Nigeria truly was a country. Because everything, even our faith today is being questioned. As a young boy growing up, I grew up in Ajegunle. But that being said, you cannot bring what, be, what does not belong to you to my, to, my, to my father's house. You're going to die that day. As much as I grew up in Ajegunle, I still believe in values. I believe in, in, in morals. I believe in, in different things. How we're being being brought up you don't you, you can't tell my dad lies you're going to be beaten to, to stupor and today the elders and more so the ones that we look up to are telling us to pray for these people and we cannot even hire an unbeliever in our organization and we pray for this kind of characters with all of this evil going on in their under their nose, please round up in two minutes. Please. The lady coming out, the one that said she's a doctor, came out and said they are giving palliative to Nigerians. Nigeria truly was a country. Reverend Kuka, even though your statement was nice, but you came late, sir, because before now you should have come out and say all this. You were one of those that actually called for people to come and sign the peace accord. And when evil was going on in Lagos State, when people were being lynched and being, being brought down, did you even see anything about, the, about those things? How many of you even held to know to account when the evil were going on in Lagos State? When the Oro worshiper would defy their own God and say, because somebody had to be a president, Oro, you come out at night, but this one come out in the afternoon because a drug baron, a certificate forger, must be a president. So, Oro, don't worry. We are your sub, they are your subjects, but they want you to come out in the afternoon. And Oro came out in the afternoon because a drug baron had to be a president. Hear me well. I am not saying I'm perfect, but if you must occupy that position, my president said, if you must be at court, His Excellency, the process by which you get there must be excellent. And so if you're a Christian, you cannot speak about this. I wonder what kind of faith you bear. Because even Jesus went to the temple and took a whip. He took a whip. Now you can say Jesus also was by the well side and, talked and spoke to that woman. But Jesus loved the woman, but questioned her sin and said, you know what, don't do this anymore so that a great one will not come on you. Jesus loves us as human beings, but it's the sin that we commit. So, sir, Tunumbu's character, Tunumbu's evil should not be allowed to go. He must be brought to, to account enough of his evil against humanity. The Lagos seaport was given to China under Tunumbu's nose. Lagos toll gate belongs to Tunumbu. The house in Bodilon belongs to Tunumbu, even though that house belongs to Lagos State. So many other properties that belong to Lagos State under to number being colobied for him and his family. And so if you're a Christian, you cannot speak on things like this. I want to build a nation. Then I question your integrity and your character. Because somebody like Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. Elijah and Elisha, they stood against Ahab. Elijah told Ahab, he said, it's your father that troubles Israel. The dog will lick your blood. That word did not fall to the ground. Those are men that want the peace for their people, for Israel. Esther said, if I, if, if you perish, you perish. This evil will not go down under a wash. Father Kuka, Nagai Sheka, among, you came too late, sir. 
because you were one of those that the peace accord was signed under your nose. When the evil were going on in legal states, did you spoke against the evil? When the, when the 19 years old was going to pride himself in play to just, did you speak against it? When Mahmoud Yaqub was going to hand over the, the certificate to Tunubu, even though Tunubu did not win the election, did any of you speak against it? I respect pastors. I respect leaders. They are attached to their own opinion. They have their own political affiliations, but not in this kind of situation. This evil cannot be allowed to go down. Tunumbu certificate in Chicago is still being, being questioned. Hopefully, Chicago University will not go down for it. I mean, I live in the United States. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here in the United States currently. I've been to school right from community college to the to the highest that you can think about in America. And I know how records, I know how records are being put. I know how records operate in America. You can't tell me that no clerk make that mistake, that silly error. No. That's 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 a lie from the pit of hell. That you are you are a male and the clerk will not see you and then put a female there. Come on, people. You think you can you can rubbish America with that kind of nonsense? Maybe Chicago University will allow you to go down that way. But honestly, this year will define if we are truly a nation. Remember, I said Nigeria was a country. If this will go down this way. Or we take our nation back. That 300 million Naira Lexus is enough to make each of us a millionaire in our country. And somebody that read election in River State, see at the infantry to be a minister. Such person should be in Black Maria. And we still allow him to be a minister. Nigerians, now, now, now I get questioned with Shana like this, we go a day for all of this evil to happen to our nation. Shana like this, we're going to remain. These guys have taken us for a ride enough. It is time for us to arise and take our nation back. We have gold. We have bitumen. We have lithium. We have oil. We have coal. We have everything that can make us a better nation. Better than Dubai, where you can see skyscrapers. And we all are just folding our hands and just looking. Mr. Evis, I send you a video. Hopefully, you're able to see that video and play it. You cannot keep quiet and keep silence under injustice because even Jesus Christ did not keep silence in injustice. Thank you. Sorry, I take your time, Mr. Helvis. But ever since I saw this news, every day I wake up, it bleeds my heart because these are men that I look up to for, for several years. You have your political affiliation. I don't question that. We, we all are political animals, but not under this evil operation. I'm from Southwest. I don't support Tinumbu and many of us do not support him. I don't blame you people on the comment section saying Yoruba and tribalism, they are one. I don't blame you. It is the evil that these Omalis they've unleashed on some of us. People like me, people like Dele Farotimi, Payo, Onobanjo, Rufa Oseni. It's only unfortunate that Ayo can make such comment that she made today because, I mean, I was watching Ayo some days ago when she was making a comment in one of my, one of my parish here in the United States. And I wonder why she could make such comments. If Elijah and Elijah will stand against evil, if Benson Dawson can stand against evil, if Martin Luther King can die because he stood against evil, this is when you and I must stand against evil. Because if you cannot speak against this, then it, 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 it makes me question your faith. The Bible, we have 10 commandments, 10 commandments in the Bible. I am sure that stealing is not admonished in the Bible. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. We'll continue to be here. This, this will not go down like this in history. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you, my brother. Thank you for saying it, Iris. I'm proud of you. God bless you. Thank you very much. All right. I, um, I would like to um, call in uh, Mr. Henry. Please talk to us. Sir. Press yeah. on the like button, my people. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you again. Um, I, will not, I will not sit here quiet and uh, my comfort zone to say, because I, I'm not there, that I don't speak about what is going on in Nigeria or the way the situation is in Nigeria. People are suffering. People are suffering. 
you can see the suffering in the streets of Nigeria. I cannot be quiet because I have the voice to speak for those who don't have voice to speak. And we have, we thank God, Mr. Evis have the platform who can come here and speak for them to hear us. They've been bamboozling us for a long time with this so-called religion. Yes. They will tell you, go and pray. Let me go to uh, uh, Kuyumu, uh, 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 Kumuyi. These are the same people who said their members, I have a friend, the father have, is a member of this so-called deep life. They said they should not have TV in their room. They should not have TV. But these people they have TV everywhere. They go to the best hospital in the Western country to take treatment. They live in well. They educate their children. They brainwash Nigerians. If you cannot speak the truth, you better keep quiet. Don't come and tell Nigerians that God speak to you or you speak to God. That's a big life on pit of hell. When we are growing up, they call us your child of children of God, raise up your hand. We raise our hand up. We are, we are children of God. When we are adult, we become man of God. We are all man of God. They should stop using this man of God to bamboozle Nigerians, ripping for Nigerians, stealing for Nigerians, supporting the corrupt system. If you if we don't want anybody to speak to your so-called that the Jiho, whatever you call them, you should tell them to keep quiet. You should keep quiet. Because Nigerians are suffering. These people are not suffering. They are enjoying their children, are, their children have future. Nigerians don't have some Nigerians don't have future. They don't know what where to get it. They one square meal a day eat, to eat. They don't have they don't know where to go to get one square you know, uh, one square meal. They be using this religion of a teen, borrowed religion to destroy our, our society. You will see women cannot even respect their husband no more. The men cannot respect their mother no more, respect their wife no more. All the name of my, my dad Gio said this. You see, if you don't want to support the Nigerians who's crying for better society or crying for better government, government, the better they just keep quiet, let them be party and join with the corrupt system, corrupt politicians, it's okay. But don't come out and start telling us lies. We should, we should come together to, to support criminals. The same people who call themselves, who call themselves, who call themselves so-called man of God, they cannot even employ criminals, drug dealers, to their school. But they are, they allow Nigerians to employ all those negative criminals, thieves. To, to govern us. It has been a long time we'll be quiet. Nigerians are quiet. We we're quiet. We don't go into politics long. We we're quiet. We don't speak like this. We we're quiet for long. But we are not quiet. No, we're not going to quiet no more. Because we know the religion is for a long time. It's the politics. They are a bunch of folk, a bunch of criminals. You have to call them the names, what they call them. These are called that Jew, they are all a bunch of thieves. Forget about this so-called furniture they are doing, uh, they do this, they do that. Leave that thing. How many of those people build industries? They are the same people who want to go and buy this industry, they, all these industries that was not work functioning no more in Nigeria. They buy this, the land, build big churches, be the best, the best church in the world. Go to Western country, see how industries everywhere. Do we have one in one state? That you say this church build big industries and play people. No. You come here, we should not speak to the so-called that geo because you you call them your mother your, your, your man of God. When people are suffering, we should support criminals. 
I was expecting them to open their mouth to say, we don't support criminality, we don't support forgery, we don't support drug dealers, we don't, we don't support any negative things. It's not from God. I was expecting them to speak something like that. Instead of them to come, they came out to come out, open their mouth to try to bamboozle Nigerians again, just like they do, used to do our forefathers. Not this generation. They mess up. Tinubu did not win election. How can you come here and support somebody who said he went to Chicago University? He cannot present a clean safety kit. He went to school in Nigeria. All he cannot present, say, look at the school I went to. My dad, who is almost going to 100 years, he has documents where he went to school, where he worked till tomorrow, where he, before he retired. He has everything intact. When I tell him, your president don't have a, a... He laughed. My father was laughing. He said, these are all criminals. He, he knows. Old man knows this. Then you so call that Joe will come here and say we should support criminals? Who stole... Who, who annexed to our mandate to force them to, to rule us? You see, I cannot be among those... I believe in God. I was once a uh, Catholic, but I, I stopped to be a Catholic because uh, I asked my priest why they don't allow women to, to conduct mass. He told me it's, uh, it's, it's part of Catholic tradition. That's why I stopped to become a Catholic. I believe in God. That's it. It's enough. But when somebody comes to try to tell me we should, we, should, we, should, we should support this criminal government, these thieves, the fraud, fraudulent uh, uh, government, I'm not a part of it. If you are hearing my voice now, if you are hungry because I'm talking to your Daojiho, look for the next transformer. Put and just escort. Just put your hand in the next, next transformer, because they have been fooling us for long, for so long. We cannot take it no more. But this is our time, now or never. Tinubu, Tinubu said he, he went to school in Chicago. He should, he should not. If somebody wants to check my. My school set everything a document. You are free to go and check it. They have it. They'll give you the school I went to. They give you my name, date of birth. They will check it. They bring it out for you. But why is he opposing things? If you know, you don't have something to hide. And some people, some people will come here and start saying, "Ah, uh, we always complain about. We are, we are just emotional. That's why we are just talking about this." I hope Nigeria happen to you one day. Me, where I'm staying, I'm not suffering. I can travel all over the world. Just buy my ticket and just move. But I just feel the countries have to be okay for all Nigerians so we can go home and visit freely. I cannot support criminal. Tibur is not my president. I will never be my president. You see, they thought they would just do it as business as usual. Just like just like uh, we 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 used they used to do article APC PDP just uh, go to court then do well, rush my bag I rub your bag I rub your bag you rub my bag then we go. They didn't expect this. They didn't expect uh, Peter Obi going to go far. They didn't expect we're going to support Peter Obi this way. They didn't expect we're going to talk about this. They didn't expect we're going to be poor highs on judiciary. They didn't believe this. They don't believe this that we're going to do this. You know, so as I was saying, we are ready to get our money back, whether they like it or not. No matter how you're going to call, uh, call on your God to, to 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 call us to come and support them, you you should make the members of these so-called uh, pastors, prophets, who they call themselves, they should wake up from their sleep for the slumber. They should wake up. They've been using you people for so long. It is time for you to rise up, oppose so so so-called so that geo. They are one of the biggest problems we have in that country. The Christianity of a thing we are talking about, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a borrowed religion. We're having our own religion before they came in there. So we should stop, we should, we should stop talking about, we should not talk about talk to our Jadijio. Whether they like it or not, Tinubu is not the president of Nigeria. The whole world knows this. And I cannot be among those who are going to support this so called fraudulent. Uh, uh, INEC president. 
you see the chicago uh uh, uh said he has why he cannot even come boldly says okay yeah go and check it if it's nigeria it's a country that is working everywhere you see you see everywhere fraudly everywhere 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 they should investigate before they accept people to become uh, uh, to hold any office in that country in that uh, country i next should be held accountable for all this rubbish that's going on mahmoud should be locked up for a long time it put us in this situation right now we are here in the western country where you have good governance as long as once you came you just come, come back from africa you come to this western country you change to the situation this the laws of this land for the, of that land you are going because the government is functioning you will see it yourself all this your noise making in nigeria you stop it automatically when you come to the airport but why we cannot have it because the, we have this government that's so corrupt that doesn't follow rule of laws and some of these uh, uh, so-called leaders, you call them your leaders, who call themselves man of God, asking us to support fraudulent criminal. I don't want to swear on this platform. I will swear in my mind. And you know, I'm just so hungry right now. I wish I can see these people, these so-called that Joe face to face. I have a question for them. They've been using us for a long time. It is time for I'm calling for all the members of this so-called Dalgio to wake up from their slumber. You can talk to your God yourself without the pastor, without so -so Dalgio. Your church is inside you. You are your church yourself. Don't let them fool you. You use your last cup, your last money to go and pay on free for these cup people. If you put on pay on free, these people will not have. They don't have no money no more. You should stop giving them tight. Stop giving them on free. If you want to give on free, there are some brothers and sisters that are suffering in the streets. Buy them food, clothe them. They are fleeing us. They are a bunch of rogues. I don't have no respect for any of them. No matter how you call them, it's going to be this one, do this. I don't have respect for them. I used to have respect for some of them who said they say they are doing this for children. But are you, now you see them, they are secretly coming out. I don't give it, I don't give it respect. I don't, I don't give it F from them. I don't even respect them. They are a bunch of criminals. They are the one putting us in this situation. How would they come out to speak as we are talking right now? I think the, the, the country everywhere will be shaking. They, they they mute themselves because they are benefiting from this this so-called uh, uh, corrupt system. They come, they come, they play this, this tribal, tribal card on it too. We should keep on speaking. If you don't want to listen to what, if you don't want to hear what we are saying, because we're talking about the betterness of that country, because we are expo uh, exposing those corrupt so-called man of God, you don't want to hear, you better find somewhere else to go, because here is not for you. We are having a better life in Western country. Why are our country going to have it? We have everything. What are we asking for? A good governance, where we go pro go pro governor can that can provide basic amenities for Nigerians, because Nigerians are hard-working hard -work people. We don't need to, we don't have so much. They don't even care. Look at the salary. Look at the salary they give to these people. Look at look at it, the ministers, how much they're going to receive. Look at it. I'm just having a sleepless night when I hear all this every time. Where people cannot even get 30,000 30, minimum wage. They cannot have it. We are more than these so-called corrupt uh, elites. Nigerians, wake up. Wake up. Don't let them give you five five kilo of rice. Thank you, sir. Round up in one minute. Thank you. I have a lot to say, but I'm just pissed off right now. You see, Nigeria should wake up and don't let this so-called that the geo fool you, people. Wake up. They are a bunch of liars. They did not see God. God did not speak to them. God did not have business with them because their, their souls are wicked. They don't even know God. If they know God, they should know what is going on in that country today. They are a bunch of hypocrites. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Henry Gabriel. God bless you, sir. Thank you. 
Um, my people, I beg me gonna press on this like button because I can see right now we have 362. Thank you, God bless you all. Can we take it to 400, please? Press on the like if you can hear my voice. Help us for our voices to go far. God bless you all. So I would like to call on the next person right now so that um, let's call on Mother Rita. Mother Rita, thanks for your patience. Please talk to us, man. Good evening to you once again. Yeah, um, good afternoon, Mr. Elvis. Um, good afternoon, everyone, Mommy Diaspora, and all my sisters um, listening to me in the panel, especially. Um, Remy Tinubu, obviously, I think we've been very, um, we've kind of been focusing on our mandate, yes, but um, this this is somebody that we, we kind of uh, put on the sideline. She's part of this conglomerate of um, criminality, and that's Remy Tinubu. Her work right now, as she's been doing since last year, is to contact all the daddy geos in Nigeria, every one of them, including the imams that she can call and tell them to come and say one word or two to support her fraudulent, go, um, to, just to get some sort of legis legitimacy to support her husband's uh, fraudulent administration. So when we see the likes of um, some daddy geos like this Kumuyi come out, you know, it's something that, and of course, that's, um, those calls will not just go by, you know, you have to water down now with brown develop or, you know, import um, duties, free business uh, alliances, uh, uh, cooperatives that all these churches have. A lot of things will be, you know, put on the side just to favor them. That's what's going on. Yeah, just, not just a business center. Uh -huh. It's controlled by, by, by criminals. So I, I'm just, my mind just saying that, you know what? I will use the word allegedly, Mr. Nanjawa, just because I want to respect this platform and the, and the modus operandi. Allegedly, she, uh, Remy Tinubu will go and meet uh, Kumuyi, like the likes of them. Tomorrow we'll hear another one. She has got to visit all of them. So just maybe in the next few weeks or one weekend, we hear that, oh, support this government, let us move on. <laughs> it's somebody that told them to talk now. And it's Remy Tinubu, it's nobody else. Somebody told them to talk. Somebody has gone to visit. She will not visit them because you have people that would say, oh, she went to visit. It's telephone call, conference call. They will call all of them. They will do prayer on top self under the blood of Jesus Christ. Hi. God is merciful, Shao. God is merciful. We will not let this Kumuyu issue go, go away. For the past, I think this is the third day, Mr. Nanja, what we're talking about. This is the third day. Of what yeah, uh, this, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it will not go away. Just like, just like our mandate, if it's not given to us, it will not go away. Just like Professor Yakubu cannot still explain this alien phenomenon uh, phenomenon of why the presidential uh, results were not uploaded. No, till date, we we no, we until we get an answer, we can't have it as a cold case file. We can't. Things like this can't go away. People can even talk about it until they declare Peter de Rokobi as president. It will not go away. So if we need to talk about it every single freaking day, we will talk about it. We will talk about it. And if those people who don't want to hear, you know what to do with your ears. We will talk about it. We must talk about it. And this is the reason. It's not because of hate. That's what we're talking about it. It's because we need to enlighten people. We need to educate people so people understand what governance is. People who need to identify fraud. If as a Christian, you, under, you, ident you identify what Jesus was talking about when he was talking about fraudulent people calling on using his name to make money. So that is the reason why Niger, what Mr. Elvis being a channel like this, and people like me and the rest of my brothers and sisters out there are speaking up. So if it doesn't suit you, you know what to do. But we will not be gagged. We will not shut down. We will not let this matter rest. So it will be as, a, as an example to those fake pastors. If you don't have any good thing to say, sit down in your church. Because if you keep talking and you keep lying, our eyes are open. We are going to get what they call water, water, without any apologies. Whether you have white hair or brown hair, you have a PhD, or if you have one, uh, if you are a multi-billionaire, or if you have or that geo, or you have so many prayer grounds, or you've had so many degrees from all over the world, if you talk anyhow, we'll give you water, water. Everybody's eyes are open. So Kumuyi is not left out. 
We have dealt with the professor of rice and beans, the one that called us fascist. He has been quiet. I think he got the message. There shall be no peace when justice is sidelined. There shall be no peace when justice is sidelined. There's a quote that I remember, and maybe I might not say it properly, but it says that it's better to keep, it's better to speak up in order to prevent the, um, to create a war within yourself. So if you don't speak up, you are creating despair within yourself. Nigerians are not, have not spoken up for decades, and that's why we are wallowing in this pain, this despair. So that is why we must speak up. Because speaking up brings healing. Speaking, speaking up brings justice. And that is why I will continue to speak. Even if Nigeria Watch is going on vacation, I will continue to speak. You cannot, you, see, there can never be any peace in Nigeria until there's justice. That's the truth. There can't be. Peter Hobby has become a panacea. It's like an antidote for consciousness, awakening about institutional corruption, religious corruption, economic corruption. Whether Peter Obi is here or, 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 or is not here today, even after he becomes president and elite, he has already given birth to so many people with high level of awakening, high level of awakening, consciousness on the evil that has enveloped our society. Everybody can identify it. So that's why when you see any clergyman come out and talk, something that is in, in, that is tilted towards darkness, people are speaking up like crazy because he has given birth to the consciousness. Many people, their scales are still on their eyes, oh, but many of us, the scales have come up, come off the eyes. There's one thing that I think they they refuse to accept or to maybe perhaps understand, really, really understand deeply, profoundly, is that this generation is different from the norm. P they, these people, they haven't, people like Kumuyi and the, one, the professor of rice and beans and the likes of them, they go by their old tricks, the old brigade, but they have refused to evolve like what, what is happening today. And that is why the, so many excuses, excuses they are giving, it sounds comical. It's laughable. Like, like, seriously? Somebody's blaming a clerk for mistakes that you lied? Like, seriously? Just like what the, what's this, this son was saying that uh, once your, your, your passport expires, you, you, that means you, your citizenship also expires. It's like, 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 seriously? Come on. Peter B has become the antidote. He's the antidote. That is, see, Peter B has, is victorious already. From the moment he started speaking last year, He's victorious already. When Sir Alex talked about Thomas Sankara, he said, listen, if you take me down, I have already given birth to so many Thomas Sankara. Peter Birok will be my president, has given, has given birth to so many consciousness. In fact, on a higher level, Peter Obi is just the, is, is just the default. But there's so much improvement in the products of the obedient movement. There's so much improvement. I'm using this product as, I, I'm just using like, like you create a, a robot now, and then this robot, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the base, that's the default one that everybody's looking at, that's the prototype. But as time goes by, you know, you, are, you start to have better robots, better technology. So, so in time, we're having better people than better than Peter Jirok Obi. Take it or leave it. They are coming better than Peter Jirok Obi. So these people have not realized that he has already, it's too late. The children have already grown. They're already adults already. You cannot stop this idea anymore. There's no tricks you will say. These pastors, there's no, there's no, no, nothing they can say now. Whether you're a white head man, white, listen, white head is not, is not a, a, a respected in Nigeria again. Just forget it. They have not realized it. Some of them unconsciously. That's why it's uh, are still like, ah, is our, our daddy, oh, he's a respected man. Oh. The, the, it's like it's like there's they, they, this confusion, so people cannot decipher when an old person is doing wrong in order to make it right. It's not that you hate the person; it's for the person to be a better person and for there to be an understanding and acceptance. But people just don't want to do that. I see it as a way of maybe people are too scared to realize that this person that they respected for so many years 
is not really who they are. So people are scared to go that route. And so that's why you have people that have the audacity either to text Mr. Uh, Elvis or text me and say, oh, don't talk about like men of, yeah, hello. He has, his hemoglobin is almost, if it's not the same gene, he's red, the color of his blood is red, just like mine, for crying out loud. Everybody goes six feet for crying out loud. So how is it better than me? I'm a child of God. The person is a child of God. So why should I not uh, and talk to this person if they're doing wrong? When Jesus Christ scattered all those criminals in the temple, do you think there were people that were not older than him? Was it not Pharisees that were older than him and so-called the Jews of the temple? So I don't understand what is, I don't know if it's a black thing where people don't really understand what truth is. Truth is God and God is truth. Truth is God and God is truth. Anything outside that is, is not, is, is, not a, is, is, is satanic. Let me use Mr. Enajah words. It's satanic. If you want to cover up because it's your daddy Gio or he has done a favor for you or maybe it is your principal a religion in the home you grew up in. You know, you're seeing, you, you still look at it that way. You see revere, you know, the religion or the, or the person or maybe the age or these cultural things that you still revere it sort of. Even if you have pulled out of it, you, you try to counteract people from speaking. You are dragging people from speaking. It's not going to work. You're actually committing sin. You're going to hell. There's more tutu. I said it yesterday. There's more tutu of blessed memory. He said, if you are on the, if you are indifferent in situations of injustice, you're on the side of the oppressor. If you are indifferent, if you are sitting on the fence, if you are being tribal, if you are being re um, re regional, if you are looking at white hair, if you are looking at my church, if you are looking at, ah, he has a lot of experience. If you are looking at, because he has a lot of money and influence. If you are looking at my daughter or my son attends his school. If you are looking at, oh, they gave us money when we were suffering. Oh, we're eating Gary. Okay, they gave my father a job. If you are looking at all those things. If you are looking at, oh, they gave my son a job. If you are looking at, oh, and they sponsored my university uh, 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 um, degree. If you are looking at, oh, it is true this person that I am here today. Or, oh, it is true this person. If you are looking at, oh, they, they sent me abroad. And that was how I was able to elevate my family. If you are looking at that, eh? If you are looking at those things, that is the indifferent. I'm I'm just picking out so many words that you people will understand. I'm trying to break it down. And this and and you are looking at that, and you are seeing these particular persons from all these things I've mentioned. I've mentioned is supporting injustice. Eh? You are on the side of that oppressor. You are a wicked person. If you are texting Mr. Ninja Watch or texting anybody, or even if I, you can't even text me because I will give you words. If you are texting me and saying, oh, be careful with the man of God, you are on the side of Agbado. You are on his side. You are on the side. Say the truth and let the devil be ashamed. Just pick one Tell side. Telling me one. that I've known the, I've known the man for years. He just, pick then he now went on by side. saying, just side. like, just like how I know you, Ninja Watch, for example, and uh, blah, blah, blah. Rubbish. Mr. Nigel, what? You know, I respect you. Till date, you say, if I am doing something wrong, even at this panel, yesterday, by the way, Mr. Nigel, you used the K word, though. Hey, I'm telling you now. Mr. Nigel, what said, if, if you are doing something wrong, tell me. Tell me. It's not because you, you, you are trying to worship me or because you feel that I own the channel. Tell me. And I know, understand why he's using that analogy. That is what a leader does. Peter Obi said, it is only a fool that thinks he knows it all. The madman on the street can tell you, Oga, this is, the, this is your problem, Oga. Look at your, your zippers. Zip up your trouser. It doesn't mean that you know it all. On, now you sabi dress. He said, tell me, Mr. Ninja, what Elvis said. This, this is an evidence I'm even using now. He said, tell me if I'm going wrong. Tell me if I'm messing up. I will apologize when I realize my mistake. Because he's trying to say so he can be a better person. He can be a better person. When you admonish your child for doing something wrong, it doesn't mean you don't like your child. It doesn't mean you don't love your children it's because you want them to be a better person for themselves, in their relationship, and for the society. So therefore, if your daddy G.O. is messing up, is on the side of the oppressors, is trying to put justice on the sideline where there's no peace, where there's pain. Ah! You're on the side of the oppressor, Madame Oga, whoever you are. Maybe you didn't realize it. Sleep over it. Maybe you should play my text five times. 
because sometimes people need to hear certain things multiple times for them to actually get it. You're on the side, though. You're committing sin, though. One light, light. You are committing sin. If you're on the side of what Kumi and you and the others are saying, or the ones that we come fought with, you are already on the side of the oppressor. So if you not say, you know, just sit down. Just, don't advise me about telling the truth. Don't advise me. Don't advise anybody from preventing them from telling the truth. Don't, because you are committing sin. You're on the side of evil. You're on the side of, of the oppressors. Nigeria has been oppressed for crying out loud. Are we not in diaspora? We all know how much we're sending home. We all know the kind of phone calls we receive from home. Because people are oppressed back home. And, and indirectly, it's actually affecting us because you have to work more. You have to deprive yourself from a lot of things because you cannot just sit here and have all this freedom and liberty in, 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 the, in the West and then you will not sleep where when your, your brother or your friend or your mother or your sister or somebody is, 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 is practically fading away. You can't. So it's affecting us. If you are indifferent in the, in, 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 the, in the situations of injustice, you're on the side of the oppressor. If you don't know, know now. If you're sitting on the fence, you're on the side of the oppressor. If you don't know before, know now. Just know now. No, and that's why, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Oyakilome, he was very careful with his utterances. That is a man that is conscious of this generation. I am not a fan of Christ Embassy before some people get it twisted. I am not. But when he was speaking, he said, sometimes the people deserve the wickedness of the kind of leadership they get because people are wicked with their choices. If you're on the side of injustice, you are wicked and you're on the side of the oppressor. If you don't know, or God, madam, no now. If you don't know, going forward, all these people that you are looking at, let me tell you, it's, it's maybe it's ignorance. So allegedly, oh my God. In fact, let me just be very, allegedly, most of this your daddy Gio, most of them, they have offshore accounts in, in places like Panama. Their, their children, great grandchildren are all settled. When I see they do is my daddy Gio, now you help me come abroad. Now you help me do this one. People should be careful, though. <laughs> People should be very, very careful. Just quiet now, because Peter Obi has, has removed the scale from our eyes. The blindness, Ma our consciousness. Ma Ma Madam Peter, Madam Peter, sorry to interject you. What you said is correct. After all, when his son wedded, he wedded in Jamaica. Continue. When sure you are. Son, yes, he, he wedded sure in you Jamaica. Are. Because he, he, he doesn't want you to come and eat his rice and, and, and eat chicken, rice and beans. Just like Professor Rice and Beans. So I don't understand where this mindset... I don't... See, I, I just feel that people are too scared to believe the truth or too scared to question things because of what they will discover. They are too scared to like, ah, this daddy Joe I have revered that has helped me. Ah, I beg, don't talk about him. Don't talk about, because you are too scared to find out what you will discover that you have been gullible. That you have been wallowing, in, you have been supporting evil, you have been supporting the oppressor. That is what some people's problem are. That's what I've just unidentified. People are just afraid to just find out the truth that of somebody that they've revered for also so many years, or part of their family, or has helped them. And then um, yeah, um, you talk about the. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Wiki because all those are illegitimate ministers, just like the one that was talking yesterday, the uh, Edu. I'm not going to talk about Dr. Uh, Mr. Wike at all. It's not, it's not important to me right now. Uh, with all due respect to you, Mr. Niger Watt. And then uh, you talk about, the, you said 4.7 billion in, in four years. That's what's going to pay the ministers. I think somebody in the comment section did the calculation properly and said they will get 3.7 million naira per month, you know, just for those in their house help, drivers and all that. So maybe we need to get the calculation properly right so that, you know, people would learn. And, and, and then the last part of... Um, Bola Ahmed in blaming the clerks of Chicago State Universities for, for the an anomalies in uh, academic um, records. Um, okay, so there, there are two things, and this is kind of sort of what I do. Um, in every country, I know they have the Freedom, um, Freedom of Information and Privacy Protection Act. Nigeria has it. I think Jon Jonathan actually signed onto that act in, his, in, the, in the first term, you know, and I, I, I don't know about the U.S. and the uh, protection of... Uh, um, information and, and, their, and their act regarding the Privacy Protection Act, but I know that there are two things. There's something called public records, and there's some, uh, there's some uh, private records. Now, under the category of public records, you know, there's other subcategories. People have um, people have the right, you know, to to find out um, about certain records. Now, is a private information, but that entity, that entity, Bola Metinibu is a public person. 
and he's sitting on taxpayers' money. He's and he's sitting on an institutional administration, a constitutional authority. So therefore, he's sort of a public. Um, it's kind of like a public record. Let me put it that way to break it down. So that's why you have a right. It's like you know what I want to. I want to write the UI, for example, the UI. Can you give me? Can you give me the record? Because the act is there. I've read it. Jonathan signed that act. You know, Freedom of Information and the Privacy Protection Act is is in Nigeria Constitution. Um, and 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 if I if I can say now, as an Edo State Indigen, I will write to the UI University of Ibadan to say I would like to know the academic records of Governor Governor Basaki according to what he claimed he read. I would like to see his all his academic qualification and all the records. If he went to school in the US, I have a right as an Edo Indigen. Of course, you have to put it in writing. Of course, you pay the administrative fees. There are processes to these things, and I think this Chicago State University is following that process. Now, big now, they know for sure. They know that they cannot um, deny um, Mikano for his request because Mikano needs it for his case. Because according to Ned Media, they needed. They, they said, I mean, they're going to struggle that case because he doesn't have any proof that bad records, you know, were illegal or were falsified. So the man went to America himself and said, "I need this thing." So. I'm sure his lawyers have told him about the Privacy Protection, uh, Freedom of Information and Privacy, Privacy Protection Act of the United States, or possibly even that state. And so that is what, you know, the Chicago state is struggling with. I, I won't be surprised. I wrote it in a private chat. I would not be surprised if Bola Abetibu is so desperate to go to the president of Chicago State University, we go to the chancellor, we go to the dean, and, and bribe everybody and say, you know what, I am going to donate $10 million to this university, I'm going to build a building, please protect all my records, or please change the record. I will not be surprised, because the United States cannot be trusted. I would not be surprised, my people. I will not be surprised. But you know what, because David Houdini has given us some information already, it will be very, very hard. Like, okay, where did he get it from? You know, so they are in a very dicey situation right now, you know, and of course, Bart has already called the president of that university. He has been, that's why I wanted to be sworn in so that it will be so easy for him to have access. He has already contacted the dean. He has contacted the president and the chancellor of Chicago State University. If they haven't, I'm sure they will hide it. Of course, it's not, it's not going to be, I will see allegedly Mr. Nigeria because of the channel, allegedly. So I will not be surprised. So it is so comical to even blame a clerk. I, okay, if somebody who has a typo, let's say there's a typo because it's human error. How can you how can you list like several typos? You sex, name, uh, uh, date of birth, graduation date. Come on. Who are you fooling? Come on. Come on. I, I was even thinking that maybe he, the lawyers will even blame an evil person because everything is Igbo's fault. Maybe it's okay, is the Igbo, maybe they'll say the clerk was an Igbo woman. They have not gotten to that level yet. But it's very possible. <laughs> Some people will be laughing, but it's possible because everything that Bat does not uh, 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 win over is the cause of one Igbo man or something. Olu Wale lawyer, Olu Wale age, Olu Wale lineage, Olu Wale state, Olu Wale qualification, everything Olu Wale. See, this guy is not Nigerian. I have been saying it since last year. Bola met him. That's what if his real name. Everything is Olu Wale. In fact, his first name should have been Olu Wale. Everything is not real. He is not Nigerian. Bola Metinibu is not Nigerian. Una, take it or leave it. He's not Nigerian. He was adopted and just started speaking. He's probably from Guinea or even Koto. He's not Nigerian. Thank you, Mr. Nigeria. Was. I'm sorry I took time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Uh, uh, thank you, Madam Rita. I really appreciate you. God bless you, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Um, Dr. Ken, please off your camera. You they carry camera everywhere. That's why I leave you on the backstage. Off your camera if you can hear me, Dr. Ken. Thank you. All right. Okay, let me call on the next person, which is okay. Uh the next person now to speak to us is Mr. My... Evans. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I hope you don't call me right now. I will speak no, 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 later. No. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, let me call on Madam Nena. Before Madam Nena, guys, please help us to press on the uh, like button, press on the dollar sign, support what we are doing here. Um, thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Madam Nena, please talk to us, man, if you are there. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here so much. Yeah, thank you so thank much, you. Um, Mr. Elvis. 
Thank you so much, everyone on the panel. Um, thank you so much, Madam Rita. In fact, you touched a lot, a lot of salient points. Your your audio, the noise coming from your end, Madam. Okay, from me. Yeah. From... Is it from me? Maybe it's from, from who? From Maybe who? it's from Madam Patricia. Madam Patricia, it's coming from you. I don't know. Maybe it is. And is then it? also your Disney there. It's you. I Wait, think it's I you. It's you. No, it's okay, you, Madam want... Patricia. We can't hear yeah. you, Madam Patricia. So come back in. Thank you. Hello. Go ahead, Madam, Madam Nena. Thank you. Is my audio good now? Yeah, you are good. Not you. What's okay. All, all right. All right. Thank you so much. Um, like I was saying, Mr. Um, Elvis, thank you so much. Um, Madam Rita really, really touched a lot of salient point. Of course, she always, she always hit it at the nail, hit the uh, uh, nail at the head. You know, it is so sad how um we have found ourselves in a society where you can say we are the elders. Where are the uh, uh, um are the role models? Where are the where are the leaders? We have come. We have formed ourselves. We have found ourselves in that situation, where we can say, "Who else can we run to?" You see, when we have the likes of Pastor Kumuyi, who, for me, like I said the other time, I try my best not to disrespect some of these people, but sometimes they bring themselves where you just don't have any. Any any choice but to speak to them. My people have a proverb um, that will say, um, I don't know. I'm trying. I'll try to type it in English as much as I can. He says that when you try to you know, honor a king, you know, from telling the the king the truth, and the king keeps messing up, at some point you have to put on a basket, cover your face, and tell the the, the king the truth. You know, that that's how much I can interpret that proverb. So. That is, has gotten to the point where we need to put a basket on our head, cover our faces, and actually tell these people the truth. Because if we are if find ourselves in a place where the likes of Pastor Kumuyi cannot be a true <clears throat> representative of what a role model or an inspirator or someone that people can run to in terms of Situations like this and get and get the real soccer that people need, but all they could do is aggravate situations. Then it's unfortunate. I've said it this before, and I say it. I believe I believe in one philosophy. Sometimes the best thing to say is just to say nothing. Because even the Bible said it, and even a fool, when you keep your mouth short, you're considered wise. Sometimes the best thing to say is just to say nothing. If you look at this man from way back. He has been ranting this kind of nonsense. And I don't know if he remembers that he said something like this during uh, Buhari. He gave Buhari, Buhari everything. I know a lot of people will not support you. Uh, we are here praying for you. You will so And he has been like that. I don't know what is what is it for him in the, in, this, in the government of Nigeria. I don't know what it is. But these are people who brainwash people. When situations get tough like this, they still want to eat off of these gullible people by telling them, just keep praying. The fire, fire is your grandfather in the village that's making your business not to work. It is one witch in your village. When they know truly, truly that the problem that we have in this country, in the country called Nigeria, is nothing but bad governance. He himself said it at some point, I think sometime in 2016 or thereabout, that he made a comment and he said that the problem that Nigeria has is the problem of that bad governance. It was him, this same Kumuyi, that made that statement. That was what he said at some point. Maybe I'll find it. If somebody, if I Google it, I'll find it. He made a comment like that in the past, that it is bad government. And then I ask myself, this Kumuyi now is the same person who is standing, telling Nigeria, so when you look at all these people that I've been uh, called as ministers, most of them have been there before, and uh, they have been, we can see what they have done. Are they not part of the people that you said a few years back? That what is destroying Nigeria is bad governance, because the truth about it, if Kumuyi would tell himself the truth, he would know that most of these people we are in the same, we are still in government. As at the time he said that the problem of Nigeria is bad governance. So what exactly is Kumuyi trying to tell Nigerians? 
It's unfortunate that the likes of Kumuyi, I say it again, do not understand the, the atmosphere, do not understand the temperature of the Nigerian society at this point. Because the way Nigerians are at this time, they are not ready to spare anybody, whether you have gray hair or you have black hair. Because Nigerians are angry. So if this man is sensitive enough, if truly he said that the spirit of God leads him, it would have been wiser for him to be sh to shut up at this point. Because Nigerians are not playing. If somebody like Kumuye cannot employ somebody who does not have a degree, and yes, that same Kumuye is coming to tell Nigerians that somebody who forged a certificate, somebody he himself, Kumuye, cannot tell us his biography. Because I want to believe, I wish some people like that can come to an open place where people can throw life questions to them. I say this thing and I say it over and over. I will be excited the day somebody will come and tell us Tinubu's uh, biography. I met one Yoruba person at my job that was saying that even the name Bola that he bears, it's not even a woman, it's not even a man's name, it's not even a popular man, uh, male name in Yoruba land. Somebody in this plan, uh, 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 maybe someone like uh, uh, give us a mandate and people that Yoruba can correct me. That was what a Yoruba person told me that even the name Bola is not a popular name for male in Yoruba land. So it's obvious that whatever name this man is bearing, don't forget that when he was answering uh, Bobo Chicago, the name he was bearing there was a mother. So obviously, this man is swimming in identity theft. He is using fake certificates, using fake identity, everything about him is a fake, a fake. And a man who calls himself a man of God, like Kumuyi, will come out and tell us that Nigeria will want to build a nation with a man whose mandate, who's, who clearly is fraudulent in every sense of the word fraud. So what Kumuyi is now telling us, that it is okay for you to get to anywhere you want to get to, irrespective of how many toes you're able to crush, irrespective of how many people you're able to hurt, it does not matter. So now I ask myself, where is Kumuyi's integrity? It's obvious he does not have integrity. Anyway, I've always had issues with the man in the past because of the way he did do one or two. It was in this man's program. This is just a side, a side of it. It was in this man's program that I went to sometime many years ago. He was doing a program. I, did, I don't, me, I don't like all this prayer of fall and die, fall and die. I don't like it. Somebody invited me just to please my friend. I went there. Because I was wearing a, a you know, many of us, you know, this dress that have like skin, like, you know, like um, just Leopard's kind of skin. That was the kind of dress I was wearing. Back my car, JJ, one one time side. They stopped me at the door. I said that the man of God said, I cannot come into this church with what I'm wearing, that I'm wearing a snake cloth. That was how I left that church. That was when I, got in, I, I lost interest in I'm like, what kind of hypocrisy is this? This is the same man who told his members, you cannot use TV in your house, but he has internet. He uses cell phone. Recently, he started moving with, with uh, bodyguards and tried to drive in limousine. And I want to reiterate it again, that in 2018, his son wanted to wed. His son did a destination marriage, went to uh, uh, Jamaica, threw a lavish wedding that they went with a limousine. This is the same man that told his people that it is wrong for you to drive a flashy car. He was at that wedding. He went there. He took pictures. They went there. They told the church you cannot prem hair. The, the son's wife has a prem hair. They told the church you cannot use makeup in your church. The wife had it. People listed that a lot of things. If you want to wear it in that church, you have to do, I don't know how many people, they know what is, it's called China white. The kind of white you used to do lining. That's what all you women used to sew dress in the name of where they got in church, in Korea's church. They did white, the, white, the son's wife wore a complete regalia of white of uh, uh, um, wedding gown with veil and everything. He was in that wedding. It didn't somebody say hypocrite. He was in that wedding. He took pictures with the son. He did everything. It was when they came back and the members of the church started complaining. That was when he acted as if he was with them. He began to say, oh yes, hey, so, uh, you people can suspend him if you want to. But you were at that wedding when you saw that lady march out dressed like that. What did you say to her? You admired her as a pretty wife of your son. 
took pictures with them was at that wedding it was a wedding lavish wedding everybody can google it and find them lavish wedding in jamaica a beautiful resort in jamaica went there and wasted them they knew the reason why they took that wedding to jamaica because they cannot afford to do the kind of wedding they forced their members to do in nigeria why am i bringing this or this man is nothing but a hypocrite he is nothing but a hypocrite. These are people who deceive the gullible people here. People are here fighting for them. That person that sent you that text message, Mr. Elvis, I would have loved in a situation. Look, there are some things I call intelligence argument. When you have something like that, and you, if you have that opinion, you would have been wise if you have found yourself on the panel and give us reasons why we should not talk about Kumuye. Come to the panel and let's dig it out. Let's and maybe there is something we don't know that you know. It doesn't matter how many how many years you've seen you've known Kumuye. Do you know that during to, uh, uh, Buhari, uh, uh, he said the same thing that God is going to use Sunibu to build Nigeria? He said the same thing, and he's still saying the same thing today. So that person that sent that text should have come, be wise enough to come to this panel and educate people like us who do not know Kumuye. But as far as I'm concerned, Kumuye is nothing but the hypocrite. I'm, I'm begging him that I just want to say that before. Nigerians are not happy this, this time around. If any old man, be you a man of God, be you whatever you think you are, that do not want to be insulted, do not want to be dragged by Nigerians, you see, until this whole mandate thing is over, please shut up and stay well in your corner. Stay wherever you are. Do not come to add to our pain because Nigerians are pained at this point. Nigerians are pained at this point. Nigerians are not playing. Nigerians are boiling. Nigerians are bruised. Nigerians are hurting. So if you do not have anything to say to Nigerians, please stay in your little corner. Keep deceiving your gullible people that you're deceiving. Keep brainwashing them. Keep them where you want them to be. Keep eating off them. Keep doing what you're doing with them. But please do not bring it here. Don't make, don't come here to tell us any nonsense. And as for Ayo, when Ayo made her, commit, uh, her comments today, I felt insulted. I felt disappointed by Ayo. The reason why I felt disappointed is this. Sometimes people make analogies and then they do not even ask themselves if what I'm using as an analogy is, is uh, 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 it has, it's relevant in, 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 the, in the topic of discourse at the moment. What Ayo use as an analogy has not correlation with the topic of discourse at those points. What Kumuyi is telling Nigerians is not for us to forgive because it's not about forgiving. Kumuyi is invariably telling Nigerians that the person you people are expecting or the people you think you voted for is not better than the man they have installed there. So this man that they have put there is going to do better than the man you're expecting. At this point in time, we don't care. The bottom line here is that what belongs to Nigerians has been stolen. And Nigerians want their stolen property back. It's not about forgiveness. Like the analogy my, uh, Mr. Evans gave. You cannot tell me that somebody will come to me in broad daylight, took my car, something, something as simple as a car, took my car, and then stole it. I know the person. The person walks away. And every day, I see this neighbor of mine who stole my car walk he will maybe he will go repaying probably the car was in white color which is one of the my apologies to people that drive white cars i don't like car, white color white colored cars maybe the person know that i love black colored cars or maybe army green colored cars decided to repent it the color that i love change the alloy way change it and he was looking so flashy every day the person would pass i'm like oh my god anyway initially i was crying no police please help me retrieve my car then when i saw it the man has gone repented it and i said okay He's actually taking the good care of the car. The car is even looking better now than the one I, if I was the one using it. Then I said, for that reason, let him keep the car. How does that even make any sense? It does not make no sense. Whether it is a jalopy, whether it is Bole Kaja, it is my car, give it to me. It belongs to me. I don't care how much you want to take care of it. It is my pro The point, but online is that something that belongs to the pharmacies of Nigeria has been stolen. Since this man was put on that place as the so-called president of Nigeria. Nigeria have not known peace. And then for somebody like Kumuyi, and then I, I, you're making her knowledge about, this is not about forgiveness. 
this this the analogy has nothing to do with what is at stake at this point. The what Nigerians are saying is that what the lost Nigerians have been stolen. So you cannot tell us that we should be praying for the person who stole my property to use it well. Why I come on now? They don't match. They are not the same thing. I am a Christian. I believe in forgiveness. I believe in that forgiveness is like, I mean, it, that there's, there's, there is, there is, like the point I'm trying to make is that the analysis, the analogy does not have anything to do with what is at stake at those points. So coming up to say, well, as a Christian, do you expect, we don't expect him to say nothing. What we expect Kumuyi to do is to shut up. That's all we expect him to do. Please be quiet. The same way that the likes of Adeboye have decided to be quiet. Be quiet. We don't want to hear you. We don't want to know what you want to say. When Nigerians were, when the election was conducted and people lost, lost their lives, Nigerians expected the likes of Kumuyi to come out and condemn what was going on in Lagos. For crying out loud, this man lives in Lagos. His camp is right there. I, I, be, I used to go for a certain party in his camp. We, my church, my fellowship, we used to hire his camp to rent a, 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 a rooms there to go for prayers. I used, I know where his uh, camp is. He lives very close to Lagos. He knew what happened in Nigeria. Did he ever come out to condemn what happened? They say that evil thrive in the land when good men keep silent. People like them who are supposed to be good men, they have chosen the path of silence. And like my, my, Ms. Arita, Madame Rita said, they are part of the oppressors. He is oppressing Nigerians at this point because he thinks he has a voice, because he thinks he has a microphone that he can talk and people will listen to him. And Golden people are there shouting, saying amen to nonsense for crying out loud. What are you saying amen to? After saying amen, can you, will you be able to afford a vacation in Jamaica? Will you be able to afford a, a wedding in Jamaica like the son did? Will you be able to afford a, 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 a limousine where you want to do anything? Will you be able to drive, uh, drive the kind of car he drives? Will you be able to live in the kind of house he lives? Will you be able to fly abroad when you are sick and you are there shouting amen to nonsense? You are there shouting amen to nonsense. Shouting amen for what? Why in the world are you shouting amen when he said the nonsense he said? Are you kidding me? The likes of that man need to shut up. That's just my point. Just be quiet. Sometimes, like, like I said, the Bible says that when a fool keeps his mouth shut, he is considered a wise man. Because the Bible says that even when, if you are, if any man is not is able not to err by his words, if you are able, if you have the capability of not committing evil by your words, you are considered a very smart and intelligent person. Please, all these so-called men of God, women of God, whoever you are. If you do not have anything to suit the pains of Nigerians at this point, we are not even saying for you to join us to say all eyes on the on judiciary. But for at least, if we must say anything, if you cannot just come out and say, you know what, Nigerians are paying right now, it will be important for the right thing to be done. Like, finally, if you cannot say anything, I will not, we are not saying support P2B, but for crying out loud, when evil is happening, speak about the evil. No, nobody in Nigeria that did not see what happened in Nigeria. And somebody is trying to tell me that the 46th parade of criminals or 48th parade of criminals that we are brought together in the name of ministers who are going to gulp a whooping amount 8 point something billion from a country that is already sinking in debt that we have to pray for them. Now, how does that even, how does that even work? Pray for what exactly? Pray for what exactly? We're just talking about basic salary. We have not talked about their latrine allowance. We have not talked about their paper allowance. We're not talking about their triptych allowance. We have not talked about the ones they will use for their side check because most of them, their side checks are where some we are not. They are the ones that come on Twitter and tell you, start calling, uh, calling Nobita's names because they are side checks to these people, expecting their own stipend that will come to them. We are, are the, like, you, we are not even talking about all those ones. They, we are not even talking about the money they are going to use for the supposedly parasitals they have been given. 
this is a country that is sinking in debt that somebody like Kumuyi cannot talk about the debt that Nigeria is in, the mess that this country is in, the terrorism that is going on in every corner of Nigeria, the dying and the, 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 the loss of lives and the insecurity. Kumuyi have not come out for one day to speak against it. And you're coming to tell us that we should pray for a bunch of criminals that have been put together to continue to destroy Nigeria the more. Please, Kumuyi, please, all you supposed men of God, I beg you people in the name of whatever God you serve, because I don't think it, I don't believe it's the same God of justice, of law, of fairness, and equity that I know that you're serving. I don't know the God you're talking about, but in whatever God you serve, I beg you, please. All right, thank you. Leave, leave Nigerians. Let us fight for what you are fighting for. Let us fight and, and for uh, fight for what we are fighting for. Let us receive our mandate. We beg you. We do not need you to tell us who to pray for and who not to pray for. Nigerians are angry at this point. Thank you so much, Mr. Elvis. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Nenda. Thanks for your wonderful submission. Uh, guys, uh, help us to press on the like button as usual. Uh, yes, Kona, thank you very much for your patience. Please, I'd like you to talk to us, please. Sorry, uh, Mr. Elvis, can you skip me for now? I'll okay. let you know once I'm ready. Thank okay. you. That's fine. All right. Okay, let me move on to uh, Mother Patricia. After Mother Patricia will be Black Panther. Mother Patricia, thank please talk to us. Yo, what's wrong with your audio, Mother Patricia? I thought you sorted it out. Maybe I to bring it closer to me. Is it better? Yeah, it's better now. I think it was far away from me. That's why. Uh, okay. Um, let me remove the. Let me just remove. From, oh, sorry. I just have to remove it. Disconnect it from the speaker completely. Sorry about that. Is it clear now? Yeah, it was the speaker that was the problem. Always take it off. Okay. It's better now. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, good evening again. Good evening, everybody. And thank you to uh, my co-panelists, the ones that have already given their submission. Thank you so, so much. Um, yes, it's been a very intensive topic, I would say. And um, they see yet to come. And also, I want to thank the people that have contributed to, uh, contributed to the channel financially. Thank you so, so much for all you do. We appreciate you greatly. God bless you. Yes. Um, this pastor, you know, is, a, I don't know whether I should say he's a pastor or whatever he called himself. You know, in a generic term, we say everybody has right to his or her opinion. But when it comes to people, there are some level of influence or, you know, leading, um, people i think it's right uh, for them not to mislead people you know because um because of the, the 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 damage that they will cause on those that they lead and if you are leading in his case if he claims to be a man of god he's supposed to lead in truth you know he has to lead in truth because the person that he represents stands for truth and equity and justice you know, if he represent Christ, so um, Christ is truth, equity, justice. These are the foundation, you know, of his throne. Righteousness is the foundation of his throne. So if you say you are uh, a pastor and you are otherwise uh, having a different message, so you, your, your calling is questionable because you, as if really you are a man of God, you will you will speak what is supposed to be. You will not cover. You will not uh, have people that you don't show any uh, form of uh, favoritism, you know, or tribalism uh, in your in your uh, commitment to 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 the people. You know, you will be honest and uh, equitable, and what is fair and just. So, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he hasn't done well at all. At all, at all. He hasn't done well. Because how can you say we should move on? And move on from what? Where are we going to? Uh, we cannot keep sweeping, you know, 
sweeping uh, evil under the carpet now, pretending it's not there. And uh, he's and in his position, that should not be. I mean, he's supposed to stand for truth. And that's not the case. So that just shows that, you know, um, he's one of those that is said to be the fake false prophets and Jesus warned about them. That's why I say, you know, it's not just about going to church. Be discerning too. Listen to the message. If the message the person is bringing does not align with the person and character and, you know, righteousness, truth, equity, then you should know that something is wrong with that person. You should know. It's not all that say I'm a man of God that is a man of God. And that's where a lot of Nigeria miss it, you know. And even based on a, a, a despite that, it doesn't mean that we should not put all of them in one category. Because you yourself, that is being critical and being saying, oh, this one is like this. You know, you, 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 you have to also know the true, the true ones. You cannot generalize either. You have to also know the true ones and speak to those people, particularly call their names, you know, because they are the ones we cannot be generalizing and say men of God, men of God. No, but yeah, he's on his case now, Kumui, you know, what he has done is absolutely unacceptable because he cannot tell us to move on, move on. Go to where? Somebody stole a mandate and you are telling us to move on that God, God said uh, Tunubu will, uh, he will use Tunubu to bless the name. He will use Tunubu to do good for Nigeria. How? How? His foundation is established in righteousness. His throne is established in righteousness, which means doing right. The foundation to which this man came is faulty. So how can you build on a faulty foundation? And if he really is a man of God, then he's supposed to know that. That is not how God works, you know. So that is not how it works. Maybe he prays to another God that I don't know, but the one I know is he stands for equity. His foundation is established in righteousness. So I'll leave it there. We came coming out to tell us that uh, <laughs> uh, Nigeria doesn't know the difference between bulletproof car and the one he drove, and he was arrogantly saying that uh, even if that was the case. He is a governor, which means <laughs> he's telling us that he's a governor, so he deserves it. The professor in the university that have to, before they become professor, 15 to 20 years, they have to, to teach, you know, lecture in universities before they become that. What do they take home after all this, how many years they serve Nigeria? What do they take home? When the politicians think that they will come and serve Nigerians for only, in fact, they come to serve themselves. In this guys to say they are serving Nigeria, they come to serve themselves. And after that, they take home, you know, huh? millions and millions in a month into billions in the, in the period they are there, not the one they stay. And even after their offices, they still take more. They, still, they are still paying them millions and millions why the rest of Nigerians are wallowing in, in pain and, and penury and poverty. So I don't know where these people, what kind of God that created these people? I don't, you know, because they don't have heart. They don't have, all the heart that is in them is stone. That's what I can say. Because anybody that have heart, you know, real heart, flesh, fleshy heart, I think that person will look at Nigerians and be weeping. We look at Nigeria and be pain. It takes a person that doesn't have a has a heart, heart of stone to be doing what they are doing. And for him to come out and be telling us, that, oh, yeah, you know, they should go and touch the car. They should go and see the car. Who is he talking to? Is he not the same birds of the same feather? He's talking to the same people like him because, you know, uh, it's, it went viral. So you're trying to debunk what went viral about him. But that's true. Is it not true that it's, it's, uh, it's not true that all of them are using bulletproof cars to avoid to defend themselves from the criminality and insecurity that they created for the rest of the, us? Is it, is it not true? They use bulletproof cars, then use police and army to guard themselves. Why me and you? Now let God now they guard us. Which okay, and God one with God is greater than all. Why in Nigeria every day because of insecurity? which these people created. So um, 
Wiki, you are not doing well at all. You are not doing well. And uh, you have not done well as a governor and you continue to do the same thing. By now, with, I thought you should have, you know, um, know that we Nigeria expect you to do better, especially that place you come from, Niger Delta, expect you to do better. But that's not what we are seeing. Also, almost uh, coming out again now to say they are going to on strike. Yes, now, they will definitely go on strike again. As long as these people, they are not building any, they, they, are, not, they are not creating institutions that they will use. They are not building infrastructure that they themselves will use. Okay? So then, of course, there will always be strike and nothing will work until when they are building, when they build something, hospital, for example, that's why they are always having medical, medical, uh, what they call it, tourism. Because they know that they are not building a medical uh, uh, hospital that they, they're going to use if they were building it for themselves, knowing that they, they will go there. They will bring it up to standard. Same with the schools. Their children are not going to those schools. So they don't care. Whether there is uh, there are, there are labs or uh, equipment for labs or paying the lecturers or the teachers, that does not consign them, because as far as they are concerned, those institutions, their children are not going. Therefore, they will not fund it. They will not give the lecturers the right amount of money that they need to bring uh, bring the university up speed with the times that we are living in. And therefore, the children, the, the students, <laughs> instead of uh, three years, four years, course, you see them using 10 years, some 15 years, like that. This will continue until we demand, we demand, Nigerians demand from these people that if they are going to lead, they must lead by example. They must lead by, their, by example, which means... The, uh, nobody's going out for any medical tourism. Nobody's, their children, all of them must be in Nigeria, schooling there. If they cannot do this, then they are not fit to lead us. Nigerians must demand from these people. It's high time. We must set our, our, our goals straight for them. What we want them to do. And then, let us see. If they don't want to do it, then they are not fit to, to lead us. Because few people cannot continue to, you know, mesmerize the rest of us for all these many years. It's high time that we too tell them that no, we are not going to go that way. But that's why Mr. Peter Obi is very crucial to this time that we are living in. Because said the head is right. Who is going to do it? Is it these corrupt people that we are seeing? These same people now that we are talking about now, is not the one that's already Already, uh, they're already going to have uh, 8.6 billion for themselves, apart from the rest money that they will share. That's not what we are talking about. Why Nigerians are dying of hunger? Hunger. Now in September, now many people, children will not go to school. Yeah, yeah, many people will not be able to pay their children's school fees in September, yeah, as we speak. So, where is Nigeria going to? And it's high time that judiciary should do. The needful. I don't, I don't even know what they are waiting for because by now they're supposed to come and they're supposed to let us know uh, uh, when they are passing their judgment. And I want to stress, I want to also send a very sound warning to them that anything short of what the reality of the election was in 2020, uh, 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 February 25th, 2023 election, Anything short of that, they, 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 they will not expect what they will see in that country. And that thing that they are, that thing will also affect them because Nigerians are not going to swallow it like as usual. Thank you, Mr. Evans. I yield. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mother Patricia. May God bless you. Thanks for your wonderful submission and thanks for saying it how it is. That's what the platform is all about. God bless you all my people for listening to us. Make my press on the dollar sign. I be like, so we don't offend many people today. I be uh, uh, <laughs> Pastor Kumuyi is part of this reason because nobody depressed on the dollar side today. But I love this, like I said before, because before this bro bro broadcast, I said we'll go offend people, but 
yes, we are saying it how it is. We are saying the truth. So if you know it's because of the truth, you are angry. Unfortunately, we don't have any apology for that. You know, please uh, support us, encourage what we are doing here. May God bless you all. All right, Black Panther, thank you very much sir, for your patience. After Black Panther is going to be uh, Madam Busy Brains. So Black Panther, please talk to us. And good evening to you once again. Uh, <clears throat> good evening, Sanaya Watch. More grace to you. And good evening to all the speakers. I've, I've been listening to you guys and I've been, I've been wondering. Some of you is making me to wander around the whole thing. And the whole issue that is laid out, we have not really dig into it. We are, we, are, we, are, we are touching the surface of the matter. People are scared to speak. To the cuckoo, but people are not scared to speak on Agbadu Tinubu's case. People are not scared to speak on any imam that is out there talking about things against the Christian. People are not scared. They will speak, they will dig the file of the great grandfather of that imam and bring it to the media. When it now come to the Christendom, quote and unquote, we all start projecting and trying to drag and speak BB grammar on it. My people won't hear me. You see, like I said, like I said yesterday, if you carry 10, 20, or 10, 19 10 Nigerian pastors one place. And tell Mr. Najawash, and, and God tell Mr. Najawash to tell them that God said, told me this morning while I was while I was awake, I went into a trance, and God spoke to me and told me that Pastor Kumuyi, Pastor Redeem, God told me to sell everything you have in that church. It is my choice. Sell everything and follow Mr. Nigerwash. He has the true message. All of them will say, is Mr. Nigerwash okay? They will, they, will, they will tell the whole world that Mr. Nigerwash is, is Satan incarnate. That Mr. Nigerwash is preaching what? Heresies. And now we cannot come out and say, uh, Mr. Kumuyi, I won't call him a pastor. Mr. Kumuyi is a liar. He's a big liar. If we don't seem to understand where this kind of thing flourish mostly. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are Nollywood acting flourish where poverty exists in great dimension. If we don't ask a question, why is it that there are more poverty in Nigeria and there, there seem to be an increase in the dimension and in the fiscal structure of churches in Nigeria. Nobody has asked that question. Why is the church in Nigeria as a body cannot control the influx of heresies and fake preaching and fake doctrine in Nigeria? Why? Nobody has asked. Nobody will ask. Because Nigeria is a freelance for any kind of religious body to come and extort money from the poor masses of Nigeria. These people have done a great damage than what the colonial people have done to Africa as a whole. 
they have done a great damage. Do you know when how when a man hypnotized a group of people and under the premises of the religious body and the people who say, I cannot do anything without not hearing my pastor say it. You know what? You know the kind of great damage that has become. Even some pastors went to the extent of, if not for the obedience, that they shouldn't be even voting, going to vote. Some will tell you that I've never voted before. A man of God will tell you, I've never voted before. As if he came from, from the sky. Or it doesn't exist. It doesn't live in Nigeria. That is to show you many of them have created, they are creating a great disservice to the land which they belong to. And that is Nigeria. What we are contributing here today is far, 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 far more better than what they have been contributing because they have done a great damage to the Nigerian people than of good. They are not, they are not preaching. They are not preaching. They are trying to create their own kingdom by using the word of God in the other way around to hypnotize people. Because the word of God gives you confidence, gives you boldness, and make you self, make you self strong whenever you want to do things in the land. But what have they done? They've made every Christian so docile. Look, Mr. Komui lied. One, I want to tell you, I want to give you evidence, all of your evidence. Mr. Komui lied when he told the gullible Christians, the docile Christians, that refuses to read. Remember, Nigeria, they don't read. That is one problem we have. We don't, we don't, we don't read at all. The, he manipulated the gullible and docile Christians and told them to throw away their TV, a means of what? To, to a means whereby they can listen to information that is being disseminated by the government and by other things so that they can learn and know what is going on in their world. Kumuyi made them to close that gap so that he can do what? He can dig deep and take over their heart and their brain. He took over it. And after doing that, after he has seen himself so satisfied that he has really gone deep and hypnotized all of them, he now said, oh, they should forgive. You people go and Google it, it's there in the media. They should forgive him. Now, what he said was wrong. The people now started doing what? Started buying TV all over again. Already the damage, he has fulfilled everything. He can tell you to go and wear this cloth, and you go and wear the cloth. He will tell you the kind of suit you wear. He will tell you the kind of things you wear. That is how they take over the heart of men. And that this is the same way. This is the same way. The devil manipulates. This is the same way the devil manipulates. He shuts your eyes against the word of God and takes over your heart and do what? Manipulates you. Bring, flash it into your eye. And at the end, when you are, when you are going down into the tunnel of darkness, he will allow you to go down. He will not take you out. That is what they are doing. That is why the Bible says we should know, we should have the hearts of discernment so that we know the good and the bad. But because we are, Nigerian Christians are docile and gullible, they refuse to study the word of God, rather they, they, they want to study the lips of their, of their masters. That is what they are doing. That is what they did. And secondly, he's lying again. He lied again. 
thank God the whole world have seen, they've exposed him. He said, God, he said, Bubu Buhari, he seen me, God spoke to him that he is the one. No God speaks to them. It is their imagination. It is their mind that is running their brain. A Y that speaks to them. The Bible says, "All oh, if God, if God, every word of God will not fall onto the ground. Every word of His word will never fall onto the ground. And if God spoke to you, why is it that the word that you spoke to the people that you said God spoke to you fell on the ground? Bubu came." And what happened? Bubu acted the opposite of what Mr. Kumui spoke. And now Mr. Kumui has spoken because it wasn't the second one, this one that is speaking now, he wasn't speaking that God told him, but he was speaking from his own canal in a calm mind that we should give Bubu uh, Abado a chance. A chance. He's speaking from his own canon mind to us because that that level of God told me he cannot bring it up again because it wasn't God, it was his own word that fell onto the ground. That is to show you Christians. Don't worship the lips or every word that coming from the mouth of that your so-called prophet. Rather, hold on to the word of God that have created you and I that make us equal, equal with Christ onto the throne of grace that made you and I to sit on the right hand side of the Father. Who made that possible? It is Jesus Christ. Simple as ABC. Many Christians don't have this wisdom in their, in their forehead. Rather, they have the wisdom and the manipulating forces of their masters in their head. That is why you see they cannot come out I challenge them to come out what I've spoken. I challenge every other member to come out what I've spoken. That is a lie. That Mr. Kumui word did not fall onto the ground. The Bible says, test every spirit. He said, test them, try them. We have not tried these people. That is why we are still following them because they are building gigantic building. They will tell you that, oh, Mr. Lagbaja gave them as a, as a gift. It is your money that they have hypnotized you to take from your hand. Why ask them, why is it that charity is not coming out from the house of God? Rather, charity is coming out from the hands of NGOs, men that are canal. They still do what? They still give you what? Love. Why the churches don't give you love? Jesus is the embodiment of love. Why is it that love is not coming out from his own church? Rather, love is coming out from the world. Christians don't ask questions. That is why they are so gullible and docile. Look at a Christian. Betty Edu is telling you that, oh, I will send food to your house. Using um, what they call it, this global um, uh, look, uh, look, look, what they call it, GPS. All the Christians close their mouth. It is your sister that I send that to. That is a medical doctor. That is a, it's a, it's a failure in medicine. Medical doctor is a, she's a failure. That's six years old girl that has a future in medical line, but he decided to throw his because he, she's a failure. Decided to join the bagwagon of corrupt entity, corrupt drum like Wike, who call himself a barrister. That cannot quote, that cannot even quote part of what is, that has not even won a case in court in his life. He has not stand before the judge to, to, to bring his own client and win a case in the court. All of them, we all know them. Ask them to bring their primary school certificate. Many of them did not pass. Many of them did not go. 
We are seeing it. I have said it before that those people during the original time, all of them that are that are doing military time from the north, even in the south, they should produce their uh, primary school certificate and they should produce the five credits they have. Let them produce it. All the senators, let them produce their five credits because the standard in Nigeria is five credits. Let them produce five credits. I bet you it is not going to be up to 20% that have five credits that have gone through the first academy, that have gone to the world of the university. Thank God you all are here. You saw a professor didn't even have mathematics. He didn't even have five credits. He became a professor. How did he get there? Because we don't have a system. All we have is the food system that they've given to us that we that have had it, that have gotten that wisdom from the onset, from our great heroes. We continue fighting, but people still come here to oppose us. And I thank you, Mr. Najawash. If you play the C, if you play our tape, what we got during the during the, 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 the rally of we are trying to vote our, our PO into, into voting as our next president, you will, you will notice that some of the panelists were saying, oh, we don't need a new system. This constitution is good. We can make it work. Go and look at them now. They are complaining. Oh, these are our leaders. They are evil. They are evil. It is because they don't know what they say. We all have your record. All of you that cannot stand, that cannot stand your because your word itself cannot stand the test of time. You are not consistent because one there was a time I told someone on this. I said, You are not a Nigeria, you don't love Nigeria. That is why you cannot figure it out that the system, the foundation that created that country, you have never been a partner, you have never spoken words into that foundation. Rather, it was men, your so-called colonial people that have given you constitution. You have never sat down to, to have your word in that written document. You have never done it in the history of Nigeria. You have never done it. And the time to do it, you refusing. That means you have the, you have the blood of the colonial people in your system that you refuse to flush it out. That means your, your great grandfather, we are participating with the colonial master to do evil to our motherland. That is why you are refusing us to sit down and, sit and create a new record. I thank God the whole thing is there. Mr. Najawaj has the tape. He plays back to you people. You people will laugh and laugh and laugh. This is to tell you that most of us are wearing a garment that doesn't belong to us. We are just here because we are just feeling with our flesh. We don't really love our country. Okay, there are, I'm in another world. I can't, after all, if there's any fight, cannot touch, touch me. But I have, I have, that is my land where I was born. I have fought for that land. I have lost a lot. That is why I am so entangled in that land that I don't want it to go. That is why I'm speaking with passion. Because I have been there where I lost men that have, would have been with me in this struggle. I lost them. So that's where my passion comes from. And I cannot detach. Because if I detach, I would have let them down. I would let them down. So when we come here, cannot speak to these men. This Nigeria pastor that you see, they are politicians. And they are continuing with what the coronavirus has given them. They are recolonizing Africa again through what they are doing. They are not pastors. They are not called by God because they are hypnotizing the people never to read the gospel, never to study the gospel, the true word of God, rather to study everything that comes out of their book of cavity. That is what they are doing. Okay. That is why they cannot speak to speak truth to power. And that is why they are docile. They cannot speak truth to their Thank people. You. What these people are doing to us. Thank you, Mr. Nigeria Watch. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate you, uh, Black Panther, for your uh, wonderful submission as usual. I appreciate every one of you that have given your submission so far. Uh, please press on that like button. I ask we should take it to 500 earlier on. We're almost there. We are we have 449 now. Please, guys, let's take it to 500. We can do that. If you're hearing me right now, you know, say you never press the like. Please make your help us press the like button. 
let's take that to 500. Thank you very much. As opposed to call uh, Mother Busy Brains now, but Omo Yes Corner says she's ready. So after Omo Yes Corner, Mother Busy Brain, I'll come back to you. So Omo Yes Corner, please talk to us. Thanks for your patience. Hey, thank you very much, Mr. Elvis, and everyone that has spoken. Hey, when I have me vest, I don't, at my vest don't finish. Because to be honest, when I, this morning, I woke up angry. I woke up angry because I listened to uh, um, Pastor Kumuyi's when he was talking to the people and everything. It just riled me up, man. I was very, <laughs> I was very angry. So I'm very thankful to uh, Sister Rita, Sister Nena, for for just expressing it. It, I mean, my God, my I was. I person if he catch fire, honestly, it's it's very it's uh, it's insulting on all levels. It's so this is how much this is how much these people have taken us for granted. This do we understand? I don't know if we understand because sometimes when some of us come here and we talk, it sounds as though we we don't we don't believe in anything. Like we're talking from our behinds. That's what it sounds like. You know, when you hear the, the quotes, people like, um, what's his name from India? Gandhi saying, I like your Jesus, but I don't like your Christians. Something to that effect. It makes sense every day. How can you tell me, prove to me that these people are really serving God? Please, prove to me. Prove it to me that the God of justice, of fairness, of love, of truth is the one that these people are serving. Please prove it to me. Because one after the other, they have, whether you like it or not, they have dragged everyone in the mud. Do you know the image of Nigeria right now in the world in the in the in world affairs? is zero because your elders have failed on all levels. Your elders that are supposed to say the truth and say it as it is unapologetically, they've been bought over. They are God of mam they are they are, they are, they are men of mammon, not of God. Let's not lie to ourselves. This is the time as Nigerians, and I've said this before, maybe not on this platform, on other platforms. If we do not tell ourselves the truth, open our eye, eyeball to eyeball, tell each other, remove every layer. It will hurt. There's no way it's not going to hurt. There's no way you're not going to feel sentimental or feel some type of way about it. But it is necessary more than ever it is necessary now because if we do not do that we should just forget it as a people we should because i wonder what these people are telling their own children at home i wonder the morals that they are raising their children with i wonder Somebody that cannot hire a, an ordinary cook or a domestic staff in his household without getting a background of that person, knowing the person and knowing the person to the extent of knowing their village where they come from in case they, they get poisoned. They will know somebody, they will know the person to hold. You are now telling over 200 million citizens that they should forget the past. A people who do not reflect on the past will always repeat the mistakes, always. They will even do past the past. Is that not what we're experiencing today? If the people before told the truth and dragged everybody in the mud, like obedience are doing today, I think we would have gotten somewhere. I don't think it would have been this bad. I, I, I doubt it very much. But look at us here. Look at us here every day, shouting from the top of our lungs. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis, for your monologue. 
at the beginning of the show. It was so much needed. I don't know. I, I've never needed any monologue like I needed the one that you did today because I was I was angry. If you had shared your link and I was the first person, I don't know if you'd have been able to control the things that will come out of my mouth. I'm telling you. And I would have been unapologetic about it. We, most, most of you have children here. If your child does something wrong, how do you feel? If your child lies to you, how do you feel? If you're raising that child correctly. If you have a child and that child lies to you and tell and say, does something bad and you've been trying to raise this child correctly and they do something, think about how heartbroken you get and how disappointed you are in that child. Some of you will spank that child and discipline that child. Why do you do that? So that they remember not to go back. When they baby, I, I had nieces and nephews when they're crawling and they say, Stop, don't go, don't go. The picking no one here. What you go climb on top of or go put in hand for waiting hot. Right? And you touch that in a thing, born and because they cry. Next time you think you're gonna do it again, they learn from the past. Next time you begin, they don't they don't go tell her two times. You go say, ah, we do. I remember how this thing made me feel the last time, so I'm not gonna go there. Let me quickly read very, very shortly two things because I think it's needed. This is by Lord Lugard. It was his address to the British Parliament on the 2nd of February, 1835. Please Google, Google is everybody's friend. I have traveled across the length and breadth of Africa and I have not seen one person who is a beggar, who is a thief. Please let me read that again. I have traveled across the length and breadth of Africa and I have not seen one person who is a beggar, who is a thief. Such wealth I have seen in this country. Such high moral values. This is talking about Nigeria, my people. Look. People of such caliber. You should be rolling on the ground and be crying right now. That I do not think we would ever conquer this country unless we break the very backbone of this nation, which is her spiritual and cultural heritage. And therefore, I propose that we replace her old and ancient education system, her culture, for if the Africans think that all that is foreign and English is good and greater than their own, they will lose their self-esteem. What did they happen now? Their native culture. What are we seeing all over? And they will become what we, what, what we want them, a truly dominated nation. Hello. Somebody shout hallelujah. I just preach for you right now. Hmm? What are we? Wouldn't you say we are a dominated nation right now? I dare you to say we are not a dominated nation. I dare you. There's more. Let me go to the next one because I had to pull this up. Now, this is by Jack Chirac, former president of France. We bled Africa for four and a half centuries. We looted their raw materials. Then we told lies that the Africans are good for nothing. In the name of religion, we destroyed their culture. And after being made rich at their expense, we now steal their brains through miseducation and propaganda to prevent them from enacting black retribution against us. Not be me talking. If this does not tell you to go back and look inwards, let me tell you, when people talk about religion, when people come here and shout and call out your GUs and your pastors, 
most of the people who are calling out your Jews or your pastors are Christians. They believe in the principles of Christianity because Christianity is a way of life. When people do that, for those who are bold enough to come out and speak and call out the BS in, in their religion, do your research. Because when you do, perhaps you will discover the real, the real truth and you will be able to stand on your belief of the Done your research and you're just moving with your emotions. Because, oh, I don't want to hear anything about my pastor. I don't want to hear anything about my geo. Then you have a problem. I'm sorry. I'm not apologizing for it. You have a problem. A lot of us are operating under the colonial mentality. We have not even decolonized our minds. You had these values before these people came to Africa. I'm not saying don't practice your religion. Please practice it. But when you are practicing, can you do yourself a favor and just research? So that you can challenge, if you do not call your brothers and sisters out, of what use are you as a Christian? Are you not supposed to be brothers and sisters? Are you supposed to see something that your fellow Christian is doing and watch them wreck, wreck themselves and wreck the nation along with it? What kind of Christian value is that? What kind of, this is the time where Christians ought to be revolutionizing themselves and say, oh my God, we've been lied to. We've been taught wrong. We've been made zombies. There should be anger within your spirit. I don't see it. I don't see much of it. Old men coming out and sounding like ignorant even a, a, a newborn baby will not even act the way they are acting because a newborn baby somehow they know they know when something is bad they know when something is good and somebody came here yesterday and was saying that it is where he read it is what he focuses on hello so the bible that tells you that be renewed by the be transformed by the renewal of your mind is a lie because what I they do when I be 12 years old. I can't do it now. If I try um, publicly, they go deal with, like people go put mouth for your body. Try talk like 12 year old. Then somebody will now say, you know, we are in rich. That means that he has kept him, his people enslaved. Intentionally kept them enslaved, locked the door through a key. Say, no, they must not know more than this because if they do, we are in trouble. That's what, you're, that's what you, you, you've come to admit. It's very, very infuriating when you see what is happening to your people in Nigeria. It breaks my heart ever. That could, without, people did not depend so much on money. I don't know, when I say these things, I think some people don't understand it. I grew up in a small town. There were people who did not, money was not an issue. It wasn't a, a driving, nobody was looking out to make money. As far as they had food in their bellies, they were satisfied. Now, here we are, after this so-called prosperity gospel preachers that say they are praying to God. Only God knows the God they are praying to because I don't know. I have said that I'm going to stay away from touching on Beta Edu or whatever her name is. I am, I'm not even going to go there because whatever you, whatever you build that does not have a solid foundation. If you build anything on sand, it will crumble. What they are standing at on is sinking sand. It's not even ordinary sand. It's the one that sinks fast that they, are, that they are building all these things on. So it's a waste of my breath. Of course, Remy Tinubu is behind all of this. She's going, they've given them brown envelope. And I cannot ignore the fact that there's tribal bigotry involved in it. Time and time again, these people keep showing themselves with all due respect to my, to, to my Yoruba brothers and sisters that are standing up for the truth. 
I grew up in a I am ashamed of what I'm saying. Because when I was growing up, Yoruba people that I know are the most welcoming, hospitable people that I know growing up. That doesn't mean that they were perfect. Nobody was perfect. But the ones that I see now, I show them and I'm like, wow. And it's been happening. It's been declining for a long time. It's been declining for a long time because there's been a pattern. Tribal bigotry is made so people, so many people blind. Even the so-called rich elites. We don't even have elites. I don't know why we use that word. Even the elite, the elite itself, they are not even elite. Not to talk of the ones in Nigeria. Eh? Your people are suffering. You have so much money, you rather go and spend it outside and, and flourish other people's economies, build houses for them. Your own is evil to you. Anything, look at the, you know the kind of talents we have in Nigeria. Talents walking the streets of Nigeria. We abandoned, uh, abandoned our, our streets, paved with gold for concrete. Do you guys understand that? Nigeria is paved with gold. The soil you were born, born on, born in. The, the place that you were designated to be born in, there is mineral resources that transform the lives of your generations. But you abandoned it because of these greedy, decadent old fools that call themselves Christian leaders and politicians to come and be pursuing concrete. Isn't that hilarious? Is that not laughable? Anything you put for ground for Nigeria, they grew. It doesn't matter what it is. Only common tomatoes, whatever you go wash, you wash tomatoes, try for backyard. Tomatoes go spread everywhere. Vegetable, everything. We did here. You don't, if you do not work, you don't get paid, man. Nobody, they give you no free bees, nothing. Even the food served, you must make sure. So now the real food you they eat. May you not go buy GMO. May GMO will not fool your stomach or they cause different sickness for body. We did we have that problem in Nigeria? This is how bad these people have damaged the country. I'm glad that everybody's calling them out. I'm glad that people are waking up every day because it's time to wake all the way up with our eyes and eagle eyes focused on these people. Because where we did so. If we say make we keep quiet, say, okay, no, man, not talk. Man, not touch because I'm my own. Man, not to talk because I'm my own. Man, not to talk because I know I wear well. Oh, now excellent. So it's a, it's an excellent person. Oh, you know, I know I'm. when we they grow that time. You all more forget that thing. What did they do now? Now it matter. The same better. Do not be go give testimony for for which uh, that prayer something. What did they call her? Uh, I don't forget the name of what is their prayer, something where they, they do. What God cannot do does not exist. Not be she go give testimony. I've been another person go give testimony. Say something, some, some money and time pocket. I don't even know. All of them, they confuse me now. But one of them have the same Agbadu camp they did. They've turned Nigerians to Amajiris. They've turned them to Amajiris. Did you ever think that there will be a day in Nigeria where people not go see house enter? People go plenty for streets. The ones when they day on colos, they on colos. The one when they don't want, when they they don't turn their life upside down, they dear, they, they move from place to place, no direction. Young people with so much energy, so much talent. Instead, when they go give them the opportunity for their side to come reap the benefits of their people. I don't know if that is not evil and demonic. I don't know what else. The politicians and the religious leaders are in a symbiotic relationship. So they keep the people, the plan is to keep suppressing the people so that they keep coming to church and be praying and be saying, die, die, die. But, sorry, Mr. Nigeria, quack, quack, quack by fire. So you spend 40 days, 365 days, fasting and pray. Meanwhile, your enemy is in front of you. Your enemy is in front is in your is on is in your altar, is the one praying, and you will now stretch his hand and dump and 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 then um, hypnotize all of all the members. Those ones will now go out. You make sure they are never going to react like a bad uh, robot when battery did the back. 
Mr. Niger Watch, like I said, people have shared, they have Thank vented you. the way I wanted to. So I have it here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Mr. Um, Elvis. Yes, sir. Before you go to the next person, let me quickly, uh, this just came to mind when I was reading and learning how now. Why is it that uh, in Chicago, during when Tunumbu say he went to school, it was his own, it was only on his own results that the clerk, the clerk of that school made an error. Tunumbu, <laughs> like, no, let's let's come to reality, my brother. Like it surprised me. Oh. And the and the chancellor or the registrar of that of that university can come. Like, how do you rack your okay? So in the all of that school that year where Tunumbu go school. Now only to Numbu certificate, now that clerk made error. Say, okay, well, because you now from Nigeria and there are no other Nigerian students in that year. Yes. So now only to Numbu resort, now you come make error. And the other resort of that school, there was no error. And to Numbu well, show. America, America will deal with them. They'll deal with them because. No, I mean, and the. Admission officer, where she said, Okay, Tunubuna boy, you can't do error, come put female there. Like, I really just wonder why. So, Tunubun only resorts to the other one of the sheer on me. Oh, man, Baba, and it will let go. Ah, in fact, thank you. Thank you. Honestly. Thank you. honestly, yes, sir. Can I do a, a little bit contribution on that? No, but we have people waiting now. Oh, okay, 30 okay, seconds. okay, 30 seconds. okay. You see. Uh, there is no way they can make an error on that paper because everything is in the system and they take everything in the system and put on a hard copy. So there is a compromise somewhere. And hey, if you that system in America, be, you find it out. Now, only when they go for make that, ah, man, this guy not truly. But how can you make two error in, in a go a date of birth? That is it. Uh, that is it. Mr. But, uh, but why Mr. are we even debating that? that? that question, say, she na only tsunumbu every time. Now only your own go different from other human beings. Eh? Kilo de the, the other time he said it was one of his people that filled the form. They make mistake. Now it is the mistake of the is people. The clerk. Is, is the clerk. You see the truth of it is eh. Madam, Brace, just go ahead with your submission. I wanted to call you now. Thank you, Madam. Oh, okay. Good evening, hey, Madam. Busy Brain. Only if you not say maybe Biden again. Maybe maybe tomorrow you say Biden also made that because it can uh, it can be expected now. Say oh, it was even the president of America that made that error. Maybe I'll let you take the floor. You see, my regards to everybody. All protocols observed. Honestly, I don't even have much to say all my sentiments have been said you know hitting it okay elvis god bless you with panelists we sabi then finish work honestly i don't even know how to come at the back of that i don't know how where to where to even start but i will start with this american saga that um the chicago state university i am appalled you see like we keep saying tinubu is bad business when you are trying to cover him whether in words or you whether you say anything or you don't say anything you have to show where you stand where Tinubu is concerned you cannot afford to be on defense because being on defense means you are for Tinubu and when you show any form of resisting to be to to say it as it is you have become you you, you 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 you've become a mockery. Anybody that stands try to defend this man or cover this man for a whole university, Chicago State University. Now you've become very popular. You've become very famous. We there are a lot. It's not one of the HBUs, is it? I don't think it is one of the HBUs. But we are now hearing about you but not for good. In fact, there is a possibility that you might be an accomplice to fraudulent behaviors, that you pay, that you, that you give certificates for cash. That is what it is turning out to be. And it is about time we make state, uh, Chicago State University trend. It is about time we make them trend. 
tag all the good, well-meaning journalists in America. Tag them. I have done my own today. The way I tag, tag them, eh? telling them their attention is needed here. One of our great obedience broke broke down their response of, you know, and I and it is to ask, is it true? Will they hide anything for any of their politicians? Yes. Yes, Chicago is a is HBCU. It's a HCB. It's a HBU, right? Yeah, HBCU. HCB. What? Well, HHCBU. Yeah, so, HBCU. Yeah, it's really a black it, um, city, a black black uh, one university. of the black universities. Yes. What a shame! What a shame! I am hundred percent with. I think it was Sister Rita that said it, and <clears throat> that was what I was saying, thinking to myself. I said. These people have already gone ahead and compromised these people. And it's not like it is their, going to be their first time. It is not going to be their first time. They've been compromised by a lot of Nigerians to be able to get some doctorate uh, recognition or something. And one thing you know with all these universities, when you give them funding, they, 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 they prostitute for it. Let me put it that way. And this man would have given them money heavily and shut them up. And these are one of these are the kind of universities that should be trending. We should expose them because it's a possibility that there is a gold mine heck of a story coming out of this. It is Tinobu that is going to expose them to the kind of corruption that they have been under, you know. We look at this. Sorry, you know, Madam Busy Brain. I, I will interject you again. So yeah. you, you, you actually just brought up a, a good thing now. So just searching on online now, yes. is Chicago a good university? Chicago State University is ranked 127 out of 166 out of 167 regional university in, uh, in Midwest school, ranked according to their performance across set of widely accepted um, indicator of excellence. Mm -hmm. So what do you expect? So, can you? So, I, they, they, they are they are being funded, and a lot of these universities, my understanding, are funded according to performance. So, you can imagine how many forged certificates have come out of that university that they've given despotic African leaders to be able to not just Nigeria now. The, across Africa and other countries, certificates for money, please let us tag all the well-established truth-seeking journalists, established ones and independent journalists, tag them, most especially the American ones. Let us tag them and make this university popular. Let us, they, we, they, they, we need to put the search light on them because if they will not, if we, we if they will, how, how dare they even come and say that they don't think, they don't see how uh, giving Tinubu's records will have any bearing to the, with the election? Who told them we want their opinion? Who told them we want, what is their opinion? What, what do, if it was an American politician that is going into politics or has gone into politics fraudulently submitting forged documents, will they not want to expose it? So, will they not want to? And these are stupid, stupid black universities that are supposed to be supporting the motherland, supporting good governance. Small thing now, they'll be talking when it suits them, they'll say they are uh, Black Lives Matter. Boo, boo, sorry, I don't want to swear. The real, the, the, the original melanin, the, the biggest population of black, where blacks are concentrated is in Nigeria. Do that, do they, those lives don't matter? Do they not matter? Please, obedience tag these journalists we need to bring you see like i said the people the government the, these western governments are afraid of their people they are afraid of exposure and funny enough a lot of them are still living in woke land 
we need to help them bring them to speed to what is going on so that they can put pressure they, 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 they like virtue signaling so let, the, let them help us to virtue signal and bring attention to this matter let me go to um Oga Kumui and Daddy Gio, whatever he is called. I want to start by saying a lot of us have we are the cause of our problems. We are the cause of our problems. I'm telling you. I hate it. I hate it to a passion. It's I find it so uncomfortable when we call them mommy, daddy. You, you see, I'm not saying we should not respect them, but we idolize them. How dare somebody coming to tell you, um, dear Elvis, not to uh, talk about uh, Kumui because uh, I, I know him. He's, you know, how oh my goodness, we are the cause of our problem. So are you saying if somebody does wrong, you cannot direct them in the right direction. What Bible are you reading? Are you following the man or the word of God? So you, the, that person has exalted, and that is a problem. We have exalted these pastors, GOs, above God. That they've become our idols rather than sin, sin against them. We would rather sin against God. And that is the great fallacy that is why we are where we are god hates evil madame rita hit it on the head god is truth there is nothing that can change it a billion years later it is still the same god will still remain truth and it is on that truth that we stand and i don't see them standing on that truth if they, they, they've studied the Bible more than you and I. They know it more than you and I. And that is why they can, they, they, they can deceive people. It is that Bible. If you look at the Old Testament, God showed us how he abhors sin. He has wiped up a nation because of sin. He has done it time and time. During the time of Noah, he did it. During the time of Lot. He did it. He has wiped nations because of sin. The children of Israel were exiled because of sin. He is truth. He doesn't do gray or not. It is truth. When David coveted the wife of his neighbor, got her pregnant, and ended up sending the man to the battlefront, he did not die. I mean, to, to, for the man to die, he died. David did not actually kill him, but the intent was there and the man died. He came and did not, when he realized he's wrong, he was wrong. It was wrong. It was wrong, totally wrong. And he cried and asked God for forgiveness. God forgave him because God said he's a man after his heart. But he had to pay the price of that sin. God hates sin. God hates sin. What Oga Kumui is doing is making love to sin. He is romantic. He is romantically entangling himself with unrighteousness, with sin. Somebody has done wrong. He's not even come out to say, forgive me he's not come out to say i am sorry he has taken our thing and ran with it witches and wizards of nigeria came out to support him and say that he is their own he had his thugs go around and and buy people and now you are coming to tell us to forget and move on oh my god even there's a reason why they teach us history so that we do not forget we do not forget because if we forget, we will find ourselves in the same situation that we, has led us to where we are.
That is why we are not supposed to forget. That is why they say history is very important. And you are coming to tell us to forget what this man has done. He has stolen. A lot of people have made perfect analogy about how this man has come to steal. And I saw a, 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 a skit earlier on about a, a, a group of people entering a bus. The bus signifies Nigeria. And the driver signifies the president. And the driver is blind. And everybody's saying, people in the uh, were saying, no, uh, don't worry. He is our own. He will take us to where we want to go. All talking nonsense. A blind person. How can a blind person drive a car? So how can a fraudulent human being, an apparition, the devil's younger brother, who is eating the same plate from the devil himself, a diabolical human being, rule a country like Nigeria to righteousness? How can a flawed person who has not repented of their sin carry on and do right? How? It will only degenerate, degenerate, and continue to degenerate. So, Ogakumui, when you said we should forget and move on, that a flawed person is going to uh, 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 turn Nigeria better, what do you mean? Is it not the same Bible that tells us that, um, is it, I, I, I'm now, I'm confusing it. An apple cannot give birth to an orange. An apple can only give birth to an apple. So a fraudulent person can only give birth to fraud. And we have already seen in the way he has recruited his gang, all the people that have come on board that he has called them into position of power are criminals, previously convicted criminals. People who are still have cases in courts People who are still wanted, he has put them in position of power. Oga Kumui, the first few months of him coming into power, how have you seen? Have you tested the pulse of your of people in of your parishioners, first of all? Have you sat with them to hear how they are feeling, what their opinion is? What is, what do they think? You need to start listening to your people, not that they should only be listening to you. That is the mistake. We, these so-called men of God think that they are the only ones in authority that should be speaking, that nobody can talk to them. They don't listen to other people. It is a huge, huge, huge disservice to their congregation that sustain them it is through the congregation their hard-earned money the hard-earned sweat that they make and come and put tights in your coffers that is making you to go and do the wedding for your daughter i think that is what somebody submitted i, I don't know much about that but if it is it is that because what work is he doing apart from claiming to be doing the work of god where is his money coming from his congregation and how did the money come about through their sweat, through their sweat. And it is still the sweat that they are making them sweat even more. The system is making it harder for them to survive. They would, they would, and then you will come and be preaching tight, tight, tight. Where would they get the tight if the system and the economy does not, is not conducive for them to be able to create an economy for themselves so that they can also bless you in turn, Oga Kumui and your likes. Shame on to you. And shame on to you, Ayo. I really revere you whenever you make your contribution. You come across very objective. You come across on the table like one of the same voices that I'm waiting to hear you contribute. But today you fall my hand, my sister. You fall my hand. I could not believe it. It was like a dagger to my chest. And I'm like, you too? You too? Please go into your wardrobe or your, your quiet place, and reflect on your submission today. While I agree with you about his consistency, about the, the, he, he's been consistent in 2015 and now, but I do not agree with you 
because you say as a man of god what is expected of him he's doing what he's to is to is to is to rally people for them to be peace for there to be peace no it's not his business whether there is peace it is not his business his business is to tell the truth and whatever happens afterwards is not his business let him leave it for god to deal with it we don't want that kind of stupid peace it is that kind of stupid mindset that has got us to where we are today. We are here today because nobody is telling truth to power. We are here today because everybody is being bigoted, either religious or in, 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 in tribe. We are here today because of this kind of stupid mentality and sentiment. Because we, are, we, 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 we don't want to upset. We don't want to... to he, he's just telling the truth. He is supposed to be challenging the government. He is supposed to be calling out the unrighteousness that is going on. He is supposed to be calling out the insecurity that is driving people out of their homes and sending them into God knows where and making their children vulnerable, their wives vulnerable, their daughters vulnerable. He should be talking about that. He should be talking about the fact that people are going to buy with hunger because they cannot go to their farms to eat. He should be talking about the fact that God said that no man should be sitting down to be lazy. Nobody should go and beg. We should go out and work hard and bring the money and, and, and spend for our family. He should be talking about that and getting the government to sit up and create opportunities for the people. And if they cannot create opportunities for the people, at least they should give them security. They should secure their lives and property. He should not come and be telling us to forget Tell who to forget. The lady that her eyes was almost taken out of her socket. The people that have lost their loved ones because a, 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 a Milo coin insisted on being in a place that he's not supposed to be. He should not tell us to forget our trauma. He should not tell us to, 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 to forget the pain that we are going through. He should not tell us to forget the fact that they are trying to turn us to al to turn us into Babine Allah, to turn us into a nation of welfare. No to that. And it's not that they will even give us welfare the way it is supposed to be. It is only going to end up in their own pocket. We say no, we will not forget. We say no to the evil plans. If he has gone to collect something from Remy, he should turn it back, return it back and come and redeem himself and come and apologize to people because we are all allowed to make mistakes, but we should not be staying in that mistake and hold on to it and be so prideful that we cannot apologize when we do wrong. And I'm expecting Ayo to come and reflect as well and come and do a proper, well, she doesn't have to think like me or like the rest of us. She does not have to, if she's really strongly convicted in what she said today, then so be it. But she should go and think because she has created a platform for herself where people look up to her. She should go and sit down and think long and hard and say how to come out and tell the truth. If what she said today was because of a really, uh, um, uh, the fact that she's a pastor's wife, she's in a position whereby she's looking at, let her not throw glass in a, in a, in a uh, st throw stone in a glass house. Ayo. Do the needful, reflect, and God will give you, if really you've not been pretending. Because I, your submission made Rufai quiet today. I don't think Rufai even responded to that. Your submission made Rufai quiet. Because where will he come from? Because you seem to be like a silent ally. But today, you fall everybody hand. Well, I don't know if the people on the table with you felt the were of have the same sentiments as you but i was not expecting that from you i i was not on a final load obedience Thank please you. identify the strong voices in the west turn media we need to take this war this battle to their doorstep we need to awaken them so that we will be free from this treachery, how do they even say? treachery? From this apparition, from God knows where, because we do not know this kind of thing. This man, in fact, I was reflecting today and I said, this man, his, what his son will, 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 will suffer, what his son, that Shen or whatever your name is, 
Shun, talk to your father. Shun, talk to your father. Let him come down. Let the, let the, let the, the, the globalists look for a puppet, another puppet, but let them take your father. Don't take your father out of Aso Rock because the sins that, you, that your father has committed, he will not even suffer it. It is you and the ones, your generation behind you and that your beautiful wife. I don't know. I don't know what kind of, uh, I don't even feel that there's, let me just keep it here. Let me just keep it here. But whatever diabolical things are going on, exhume yourself. Exhume yourself. Your stepmother might not fall in line because she, as far as I'm concerned, is an apparition herself, like her husband. I rest my case. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Busy Brace. God bless you for your submission. I really wanted to leave you to speak without no any interference. God bless you. All right. Uh, let me. We have. Mister, sorry, yes. Mister Elvis. I really apologize. Can I quickly say something? I wanted to talk uh, quickly about uh, Ayo in Arise. Is that okay, or I can wait? Yeah. yeah okay. Ahead. All right. Thank you. So it's it, it. You know what? I'm not surprised. To be honest, I wasn't surprised that Ayo didn't say anything. I wasn't. People could read. Uh, uh, her body language speaks volumes. I always pay attention to their body language. The difference between Rufai and every other person in that studio is their body language. Rufai comes from a very authentic place. Even when Rufai is trying to be diplomatic against what he's trying to say, which is the truth, I can tell. Because there have been times where Rufai will say something. His body is saying another thing. What is coming out of his mouth is another thing. That's the case with Ayo. Ayo is on the fence, has always been on the fence. I don't know why. Uh, the, especially Christians, when the moment of truth comes, when the opportunity comes for them to really stand on the truth, right? Majority of them, because I haven't seen majority come out and really cry and really speak on these issues, it be like say they, they have common sense will vanish. They know they talk. They'll say, "Let me know." It's a man of God. Do ah, no a eh, 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 touch not man. No, it's a do my prophet no have. So let me just let me just defend him. They come to the defense of their geos and their pastors and instead of standing on the truth, separating the truth from this person, whether he's your G or your pastor, they don't know how to do that. That's what Ayo came to do. It's a shame because she has written her, her name down on, on, on the list of those who do not stand for the truth. Anybody who cannot stand for the, for the truth is not a Christian. Please, let's make that very clear. If you are unable, because it's the truth that sends the Savior, that you are praying to is the truth that sends him to the world beyond, beyond. Do. It's not, why do you think that he wasn't going to? When did they go temple? If they make all the, if they annoy all the elders, I do not know. The man no not like any of the, uh, 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 uh. now he only can't do. Oh, now they remember that one. Now, truth, now he send the man. Now he send the man go, 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 pie. I don't know. So I have noticed it about her. So I'm not surprised. It's a shame because if you are not standing on the truth, what, which, how are you, which God are you serving? That's all I ask. Thank you. That's all I want to say. <sighs> to be honest, um, then I get what you are saying now, you know, I noticed it from the, this morning as well. I was not happy. So the first thing I did is uh, I have to send that message. I was very, very, because, um, yes, my husband is a pastor, I understand, but he's wrong. It doesn't matter. We cannot continue to do this. 
we cannot be selective if we are if we are complaining about uh, uh, Yakubu, INEC chairman that is elected Tinubu, and we are also, you know, doing the same thing. In, in, you know, it's wrong. It's very wrong. And many people are guilty of this thing that I'm talking about today. When they come to their own, they bypass it. They quickly jump it. You know, and it's, it's wrong. You can't change the world like that. Sometimes I ask myself, oh, am I the one that, that is wrong here? Because am I the only one standing? Until I hear somebody speak like me before I not get to know that, oh, other people share the same view with me. It's wrong. It is wrong. It doesn't matter if it's your child. If they do something wrong, drag them out. If your child do something wrong, police come your estate and your child hide for on that bed. And you know, say that you do not drag your child out. Tell the police where make the concern there. Do it. Do it. Your child will never engage in any such activities, never again. Because you will say, my mama, my mama, mama he go, he, he go expose me, my papa go expose me. But in the country where we grow up, if anybody do something, as long as I say the person don't help you in the past, you know, anything we do forever, you're the protect and they go. It's wrong. It is wrong, to be honest. But although, which power we will get, we will fit a change or everything we did wrong for this life. Let's do our part. Thank you very much. Uh, Black my Martin, God. Martin, yeah. Seconds. I was... I, I I was I wanted to give you information. I was going through some of my some research work. I learned that among the ministers, Atiku Bagudu is the minister of uh, budget and planning. And this man was another statement of the helping um your network is breaking. Are you hearing me now? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. This same man that is uh, in charge of uh, Ministry of Budget and Planning was the same man the American government accused of helping uh, the former junta, what was his name, the former junta, to carry money down to the U.S., laundering of money, and is now the Minister of Budget and Planning. But it, it, I'm not surprised. Check everybody. Abacha, like, right? Abacha. Abacha, that's yes. to. Aba yeah. yeah Abacha. He he to Ab Abacha loot. Yep. That's true. Yeah, but I'm not surprised. Check everybody that Tinubu put on his cabinet. All, every, all, all of them are questionable character. 90% of them are questionable characters. So what are we talking about? You want us to start mentioning them? It's not only that one. You know, many of them. Look at Wiki. Look, yeah, look, but Mr. Elvis, I, I, I have a different opinion though. Whenever we speak about this, for me, we don't even need to, I don't know, but this may be my own view. Even talking about them is like maybe giving them mileage. These guys are not who you should even talk about at all because you know this is this is built on, on a wrong foundation. Even himself being the president being the president selected by Mahmoud Yaku, we know how he got there. So we're only waiting for the court. For me, I would just give yeah, more Yeah, but it's still good to talk about it because the situation that we are now, every path that we've been, path, we've been on till now is going to remain as history forever. It's going to be taught in school. Once Nigeria succeeds, all this path, all is going to be taught in school. Imagine somebody that spent five million naira on 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 so wine. That somebody that read election in 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 this is in, in, in River State. All of a sudden, you say he's an FCC minister. Brother, and the very is... first they get to office, you're going to give people high blood pressure. You that know? means he just feel that he can ride on people. Is that, that's it. He doesn't feel. He knows that he can do that because you can't do anything back. They own everything. You know. So the judiciary just have to do the right thing. No, and his PDP is not saying PDP is not saying anything, no. And Man. member of the Supreme Court judge that sat on that case of um, the Junta man is even the, the chief justice, is now the chief justice of the federation. Now the same judge that sat on that case of forfeiture. If you see the people where this part is, they guide the self, eh? <laughs> Man, the guy, the guy, guy doing all research. If you're ready for me to talk, you let me know. 
Okay, yes. Thank now you, you have the one call answer, you know. If you are ready, this is the time. Okay. Yeah. Do calls. You get eight minutes. Thank okay. you. Yeah, sorry for my distortive uh, attendance off and on because I was trying to meet with my dog. Uh the you know, um I just see that uh it, time don't reach you in Nigeria go day better. That is why you they say things don't they boil like this. You know, they allow things I don't go agree. So I don't go agree, can I go US anywhere? Which time for the history of this country where you don't see say people don't demand justice like this whole lamb? Say I no go agree, I no go agree until even the person will be say he wants to forget justice in the season. Now, wow, this thing I don't know say go be or the waiting to there. He and all a gang. They say now, wow, I don't know how the waiting go be. I think say I go just do one, make I do one for where the thing go for grand. And that is why, you know, before uh, the election time, as I look at the whole thing, I look at the background, go back in history. Now I look and say, no, I only just one word I just give. I said, look, Nigeria, they immediately they are saying, hey, don't win primaries, they can't bribe the winter primaries. I say, Nigeria is pregnant with evil baby. If they allow that baby born, they born that baby for that country. Now they say, we can't see what we never see before. And People do what they can do. Usually, I don't want to eye neck, not listen. And uh, today, the baby don't is they don't bond the baby now. They don't they give everybody wahala. And Tinibu no go change. Look, uh, Kumuyi, when I was this small, I go deeper life. To tell you, say, I I respect this person. But I know I'm not see. God need to forgive somebody like Tinibu. Tinibu person like Tinibu, eh? For Bible, now person they mock God. What they say, they, we want to mock the grace of God. Because forgiveness self, even among us, will be a human being. If you do something wrong, they know it like a cash, you can't come confess. That person gets hurt to be said, you go say, no, go forgive him. Not be the way they do him, the way of life. Tell them when a person be say, before 33 years ago, when he be say, do that drop thing for 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 Cal the same Chicago side, you think a small criminal and they carry big mind to go do drug thing. I lie. Before you go say, you don't enroll, say, I want to, I won't get involved. <clears throat> it's like crime, like drug. And in place like America, we know say they get smart ways and means to take, catch you. That person could don't develop big mind, big hearts. And which means it don't it don't start out from small, small. So Tinibu na person be saying, you know, go feel live in ways. You know, go feel live in ways. So when I see say Kumu, you can't say make we let the past go. You know, I feel disappointed. Huh? I don't want, I don't want to disrespect him with any kind of word, but uh, let me talk about how I feel. I feel very disrespected, and I begin to lower my mind about him. I just think, say, come on, like Tinibu, uh, is uh, Kumu used to just be able to. I, I expect him to to join the likes of people like who are who are the like of other clerics like Desmond Tutu to stand up for justice, to stand against evil for the land. Even if you read Bible, Bible say what he was supposed to do as priests, pastors, and clergymen. Now, to stand for the oppressed, stand for the, the widows, stand for those who are orphaned, stand for people you not get, the masses, stand for them, not at any time you go stand against them. Even God himself say, in a husband of widow, in a father to the father, which is orphanage, orphan. In a, so God, that is not the place where Kumu you stand. I'm not facing out the right place to stand. If in like the days of Idahusa, Benson Idahusa, we know how even... They as fiery and terrible as the military people did that time. He not fear them. Before I talk about this civilian, one, he not fear them. He stand against Abasha, stand against uh, Babangida, stand against all of them. He they talk direct into politics. Everything he they enter because that is what he's supposed to do. We need to have people like that. Pastors say go be like say they go stand for the people. I never see anyone with the stand with the stand for us at all. Everybody just they say they go just prophesy of different things. I will see the election. During before the election, you know how the matter day. This one will come say, I see two persons stand, one person go down, the other one come up. <clears throat> this person will come. Now now the time for the real meat to really yes, eat the meat now, the real action time. Make somebody stand up. You don't want to why be say you don't you don't want to if you need to even buy for the the, the purpose of standing for justice. You're not sure say God go welcome you with a standing ovation with the other angel for heaven, or you not believe say heaven day. Or you never tire with this idea. These are the things that we say with the look up to. Not be say with the time of glory you can't reach. Trust me, if Obido, when Obido enter, you can't begin to see people say they be now. Nah, that time God could speak to them. I saw this one. The God is going to 
this is the time is to speak against the evil where they crawl inside our land. That is the only thing we need to do. Peter will be saying, you cannot, you cannot come through the window, say you want to come clean the house. It's wrong. I expect Kumuye and people like that to say, look, you should go if you know say if you know, say sorry. The first thing to show say is sorry. Make him drop with him, make him make him make himself, make him remove himself of power. Not to say go protest, make him remove himself by resigning or by trying to step down because they never become at all. Make him step down, say the way you see and say the people don't agree, they don't like him, and what he do, he see and say a wrong thing. I step down. Let people themselves say no, okay, they don't reach. No, but not be that one. The people should speak, people should speak out. If not, in these countries over there, places like what would we say for the US, Canada, and all those advanced countries? You go see people they speak against the ills of society. Even lawyers, then they go render their service for free when they say that they oppress somebody. Now, I make the society clean and organized like this. Eh? Where you they stay, you were there, UK, you were there for all this area. Make somebody say they hear some kind of sound, say they, somebody they shout inside your apartment, like you they beat somebody, or somebody's being dehumanized. Now, somebody go come look for a window, they see and say, What did they hear for this place? So, it don't carry phone call, call police say they hear some kind of sound somebody's yelling for over 30 minutes now you don't know what they happen for them before you go surprised police don't come not be say it hates you now because if you see something say something now they rule for their country now they made the country they clean see nigeria somebody go the thief you can't go report somebody go even tell you say that your business which it concern you they go join your the criminal then the criminal call the looking nowhere they come for you maybe they carry me up there will finish i'll come for you Things like that, you know, they make the place look like we're decent human beings, they stay. And for this one, <laughs> for me, I just look the other thing. What did Chicago say XYZ? I think what the other speaker was talking, I think that Madam Busy Bread. It don't reach time to say we'll come, we'll come do a kind of multitasking. As we they do, as we try to trend this uh, uh words of all eyes on the judiciary, make we also for our Twitter. Our Twitter handles, handles, make we try to put something and make this thing trend. That all eyes also on Chicago University. Let people everywhere make you enter. We tag our American partners and friends and brothers and colleagues who they notice they happen to. Let the things scatter mostly, especially inside that state of, of uh, Illinois. Let that state and that city, especially Chicago, make the make the disgrace, make them bring them, bring, let them just let the searchlight beam on them so that they go see and say, we need to defend our name. If not, that name, where they don't maintain for how many years, is about to come down. And I so agree with Tatiku when he say, well, everything will not happen for 44 years. Since that time till now, 1979, now make you want to see how this thing happened, the people they don't their office as president. So that he go, no. Say, now the year this thing happened, we'll be, they want to know, we'll be the cartel waiting for that, where they do certificate for many people. we we'll go, no. We need to know. And I show of America, I know they had like the way they hide things. And once the court say yes, they have reason, open up, they go open up. And if they don't want to damage their own university name or for it to close down, then I think they need to defend themselves. They need to clean themselves up, like to wash yourself up and say, carry your own. We're going to go solve a problem for that side. Because the time has reached that point, And that is what it is. For our fellow Nigerian citizens, we're there for anywhere, especially we're there for Nigeria. Make we ready with our final summit. Our final summit. Now, revolution. The country must change. No, but how many people they, call, they, they, they enslave us? The country must change. This now, people we can't say renew hope. We only one minister. If they use, if they sit down on top of 300 million naira, only one, they get 48, that'd be 45. Only one sit down on top of 300 million. That are one of the cars when you go when they use one 300 million. If you divide that money, eh, let's assume say everybody now 300 million for Nigeria. If you divide that money, you go tell me say people say they want to do small medium enterprise, all those small businesses where they want to thrive on their own. If you use that car where you that car where you they say they drive, you can't decide say make that car go back, you sell them for auction 200 million. Make you divide that money, go every Nigerian, their bank account, make they get them for their hand. You go tell me, say, they cry, where did they cry? We put they cry, they don't go reduce, even they don't go solve the whole problem, they don't go reduce. People, they be saying, they don't go use even to do business from hand to mouth. They don't need one million before they go feel solve that area of, they don't want to save to buy household from hand to mouth own. Something like 200,000, 300,000 go feel solve that person problem of hand to mouth. 
if that people this sensitive will be say like put like we can this sensitive they're not going to think for house and say no now my personal donation even they say they might not be from federal government they cannot be but now your car if you this sensitive enough you know go feel say i did make donation of my car i go make the divide them every nigerian send me your bvn in fact i did see some business like the peace squad you did one send me your bvn or the davido it don't it is too much for one of these people to say i want to say everybody if you not get i don't go send to you but if you get it will come to you and it must not be duplicated you can actually you go get over five hundred thousand or over 50 million people where you say you go see they say they get a bvn tell us if you can go if you get your bvn get a camp i go send at the ou and definitely nobody will figure the same bvn for the whole country so definitely this thing will reach everybody so because of that they will go do how to even go get accounts because of that one million people say they wait they wait for them this is heartless when i see what they happen from our country from leaders so we're supposed to feel say we put them there as a matter of fact i don't they think sir had nigerian people go hire employers employee as all those ministers president all of them they are employee of the of the nigerian people why they go they enjoy more than the employer this did not make this look if not democracy be this i think we need to we need to try to re, we need to re look into that kind of democracy we need to bring it in a way where we can customize them to uh, make them look like our african if not african nigerian yeah. democracy how me go be the person you get company or let me employ you now me go become your slave for year not be i be the highest income earner for all this country for australia for every of this country tell me when you enter that office you do not say <laughs> your money did a streamline them you know if he enters first class this one anyhow why you don't go take the train they go ask you a question why why if other people they take them why you don't go fit take them are you not a minister minister me servant if you don't know the meaning minister me servant if they say minister of god it means servant of god minister of fct it means servant of fct so are you go be servant then you go try to threaten me or be or be high blood pressure you go come tell me say all kinds of things and begin to ride on horses why me go they ride on foot until nigeria until until and i know that is when peter when peter Obey comes they know let me tell you these people know the agenda of peter Obey more than even we what would they agitate for and make it come on board they know what to go loose they know said some of them they go begin to run kitty kata some of them they know only they go go use their own hand take close their own oil stealing avenue now only they go pay money so yeah, yeah. close and quick quick remove the pipe remove them cut them i say i don't want to see that a uh, uh, badge or that a uh, uh, boat for that place tonight because they know say if this man can't discover them he will say we'll get them they investigate and i know people are big we want to see to the end how i manage where will, what will be that i won't see the paper at my table uh, this is what they are afraid of and they go see and say they fear what they fear it go meet with them whether they call waterloo for english they go meet with their own waterloo and honestly i got to look at them but the bottom line of this whole thing if the we are the most of the poor the nigerian citizens they are only waiting for this judiciary that is why this is everybody they sing the song inside their hearts inside their mouths all eyes on judiciary all eyes on judiciary all eyes once that thing, if they make mistake there they go begin to see how the thing will start it will start like some kind of like some kind of something will start from small small corner corner this thing will envelop the whole country so that no could just no say this whole country make it just made it overhaul them that is just the whole thing but they know right where they are that tinubu cannot survive it there is no way they cannot disqualify this man i know that i hate him i don't hate him as a person but if you are doing wrong thing they should always treat you if you do the crime do the time the same way yeah do not get whether you be pastor the lord and the law the law of the country the constitution is gotten from where from bible sometimes we need to do some research look at the british people most of every constitution when it comes to the whole world came from the british people they got their culture from bible the muslim people that they, any of those countries they they they, they, they colonized at the time some of them get their own they can't edit them they can't put them make it fit into their culture or something like something else but they get everything from the british people and the british people this empire yes. they got I'm their up, own from I'm bible thank you that is what it is so if this thing go any kind of way make the people a day home make we ready for revolution revolution don't mean say you want to make trouble it means say you want to refresh make we rearrange make we start this thing again make we take up from baton make we build them up again because we make mistake on the foundation that is what the revolution means and we are ready for those things we will by god's grace 
that country, the greatest of that country, will come outside. Amen. Thank you. A big amen to that. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Joseph, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I would like you to talk to us, sir. Thank you. Good evening to you. Mr. Joseph, are you there? Good, good afternoon to each and every one of you, depending on where you are located. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, well, I, you have a lot of topic to cover, but... Uh, uh, you know what? What is driving Nigerian motto is uh, what we call impunity. The pastors are really using that to their advantage. The politicians are driving it, and they are showing it. And the, you know, the essence of this impunity is to preach to people to believe a certain way that they are semi gods. Everything they do is okay by the people. Anything, any pronouncement they make, the people will genuflect. And people that shouldn't be defending the process will stand up and defending their activities, even though it is wrong. Defending their activities. And like one of your speakers said, the essence of Christianity is to be able to speak the truth. Even the Bible say, said it. Say the truth and you shall be free. Say the truth. And Jesus Christ was prosecuted and crucified because he was telling them their problems without fear. You know, and uh, like Tinambu is going about flashing his money, influencing people that I shouldn't be influenced, like in the Chicago University. I'm sure he has some cartel, some people there working for him. Whenever such requests come into the system, they will run around and tailor it to suit his need. I am sure the University of Chicago does not know what is going on, and this is going to be the time they, they will realize what has been going on in that registrar's office. It's a black university, and the Chicago has a lot of mafia, a lot of groups, gangs. So I'm not scared. I'm not surprised that they are doing what they are doing, because I went to a predominantly black university. I went to Texas Southern University. It's a black university. And besides, they, 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 they are so strict. But I don't know, but if you offer them millions and millions of dollars as a donation, as an alumni, alumnus, they might probably do whatever you want them to do. Uh, well, for now, we'll just go ahead. I don't have much to say, but I'll be listening on the background. Thank you. Okay. You thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. No sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. All right. Peace soft. Uh, you are you are the last on the panel. Please talk to us, sir. You have eight minutes. Good evening to you, sir. Hi, good evening from here. Uh, panel. Can you hear me? Uh yeah, you never clear, but would they hear you? Go clear now. Okay. Can you hear me? We are hearing you, but your voice never clear. I don't know where you talk from, sir. We can't hear you, please. Moon and the talk direct from on our phone. I don't know what to have the plug for on our phone. I'm from the phone. No, your network is bad then. Uh, maybe let me change the network. Okay, you are good now. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yes, uh, let me quickly speak on uh, the uh, the Chicago's uh, uh, documentation. Now, I do not think that uh, Chicago officially is going to uh, kind of like uh, compromise in any form officially. Probably maybe they might have some uh, people, you know, who, who's running things from the background, but not officially, because uh, there's what called Department of Education in the United States, where all the, the, the houses where uh, uh, 
where they have the central database for all certification. Now, when your certificate is issued, it's sent straight to the Department of uh, uh, Education. They have the central database. They are the one in charge of the central database. So if, for example, if you're working in, in if you, if you're employed, if you want to, uh, if you're an employer, you want to employ an employee, and then the requirements uh, uh, for that organization requires that you provide your certificate. Uh, what does companies do? They usually have a registration. They have to register with uh, an agency or directly with the uh, Department of Education. So when you present your certificate, they run your data against the data of the database of the uh, Department of, uh, of Education. So if you present a false certificate, automatically the school is aware, I mean, the organization is aware that this is a false certificate, that immediately they can call the cops on you and arrest you with regards to that. Now, you can't do a certificate in it like that. It's not an easy stop. A lot of people are in jail. Many people have done that in the United States. So that's for that. So that's why I think he's complaining because uh, uh, Agbado is complaining now, maybe they've run his data again, the central database, and uh, he's not producing the right information. That's why he's coming out to say it was a clock uh, uh, error. How You mean you spent four to five years in school, so that error was not corrected. You never saw those things, so how come only you won for five years, gender, uh, uh, you know, logo stuff. I mean, even the document, the paper itself, is it's not it's not it's not about the, the, the certificate of the school. So presumably, maybe this the real certificate has uh, a security on the paper as well. Maybe that's why they could not really uh, do a proper uh, uh, duplication regards to that. So I think that they they are in a big problem, and uh, I think that. Uh, the school might even take it on with him because he actually presented that certificate in Nigeria saying that the University of Chicago issued that certificate. And then uh, they're going to have to go to court, which is the Akbado himself and then uh, the University of uh, 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 Chicago. So they will have to, uh, Akbado will have to try it if they find out that, okay, this is for you are lying. It's not about our clerks uh, uh, making a mistake or error. So, which means they will have to try him. So he, I think he just shot himself on the foot. That's what, now on uh, on the church issue. You see, on a written lady, she said something that they monetize most things. If you look at, if you actually look at what's happening, well, remember that the, the wife of the, of Agbaru, she's a pastor. And if you look at it, which means she might have been the one who actually influenced the pastor Kumi with her position, pretending to be a pastor, which I don't think she is a pastor based on her character and what she's been doing, her fruit she's bearing, because she every pastor's supposed to bear the fruit of righteousness. If you're not bearing the fruit of righteousness, I don't think you're a pastor, you are just a Christian like every other person. Because pastors are supposed to be leaders, leading people to heaven. So I do not know where these guys are leading people to. Because uh, leaders, if you are a leader in the church, it means you are leading people to where God is leading people to righteousness. If you yourself, you are not righteous, so where are you leading people to? So I think she actually influences uh, uh, Pastor Kumuye, and that Pastor Kumuye is now talking to Ross. I wouldn't say talking to Ross because he's never, I mean, he's never going to be able to talk to me in regards to that. You know, not talking to his member as though God is the one talking to him or talking through him. This is what Christ called lying prophet. He said we should test their spirit, test what they say. You see, validate it, try to see if it's correspondence with what I have been doing or with the words or with the with the rules and regulations. So if what Pastor Kumiye is not in line with the rules and regulations of the Bible, then that makes him to be a lying spirit. As, I'm not the one saying it. That's what God said. Because in 2015, according to uh, the information we've gathered so far, he also said God ordained Buhari. God ordained. What does that mean? What, 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 what's the meaning of ordination? What does that mean? God ordained Buhari. And at the end of the day, Buhari led the country into a ditch 
So is it was he trying to say that God ordained Buhari to destroy the country, or what was he trying to say? But in his speech, it looks as if he was trying to say God ordained Buhari to you know to help Nigeria to bring solutions to Nigeria's problem. But in in the actual sense, Buhari actually caused the chaos we are in right now. All the destructions that went through Nigeria, all the fire that went through, Buhari actually caused it. Is it that there are this? This men of God, is that their God is a buying God? I don't understand. Is their God a buying God? So when the, when 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 if anyone is buying, they don't talk about it. When even their members are buying by some folks, they don't talk about it. They are quiet. So now Mrs. Tunubu was able to influence him with maybe with some money, you know, pretending or oh, offering you know, in these guys in so many ways. And he fell for it. And for those angry just because people are talking about it, oh, is your pastor, you need to read your Bible. Your Bible tells you not to trust any man. Christ said, do not trust anyone. Do not. That's why Paul himself said, he said, read the Bible for yourself. So you do not need to wait for a pastor to tell you what to do. So waiting for pastors to tell you what to do, it simply means that you are not even doing what Christ has told you to do because they could tell you different things, different meanings. I don't want to go down the origin of the Bible because if I want to go down the origin of the Bible, a lot of people may lose trust. That doesn't mean there is no good part in the Bible. So one of the reasons I don't go down to the origin of the Bible because it's actually horrible. This translation, I'm not talking about the real script. The translation of this Bible is really, really horrible. The translators, many people, uh, like King James, was a slave master, was a slave owner, having over a, having over a thousand slaves, and uh, uh, we still have his uh, uh, James Town in, in in Virginia. And if you go there, you're going to see all the slaves because everything is replicated right there. That he was controlling slave master until the United States said, "Hey, we're not going to allow slavery anymore," and then they started translating Bible. And then they came out, they were hiding it before they started translating, giving it to the slave because they were afraid that the slaves were going to revolt against them. So one of the reasons this Bible actually even, they publicized it was because they were afraid that the slaves were going to revolt against them. So they have to print it out and begin to talk to the slave, begin to preach to them, tell them good things. So, so I, that's, I don't want to go Let down Let me that quickly route. interject on that. I don't want to go um, down Mr. Peace of, I just want to, I just want to uh, um, expatiate on what you said. So they did not translate the entire Bible for the slaves. Let's just get that clear. They, they removed a lot of it. There's a slave Bible. The slave Bible only talked about slaves respecting their masters because they were afraid of the revolts. They discussed yeah. that if they put in the parts of the Bible where they talk about, you know, uh, you know, um, God raising leaders and what invading and taking, they would revolt. So they took, they carefully took all that part out and left only slave and master. That yeah, was part left, of how they were able to subdue. Yeah, I just they wanted left to say. All those places, places where after reading it, even if anyone is doing evil to you, you are not able to repair them, you are not able to able to take care of yourself. And Americans are very wise too, because Americans didn't really fall for that uh, track. That was the reason the Second Amendment came into effect, because uh, the founding fathers of America knew very well that these guys, they, they couldn't trust their kids in the hands of these guys. So they have to enact the Second Amendment that allow all Americans to bear arms. There's a reason for that. Okay, sir. Please round up one minute. Thank you. So, th so anyway, thank you very much. I just wanted to touch on that and I appreciate everybody uh, for coming, for listening, and the writers, the commenters. God bless you. Uh, I've learned a lot today and I really do appreciate everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peace Soft. God bless you, sir. Thanks for coming around again. Thanks for the encouragement for always coming here to hear your voice as well. I appreciate you. All right, I'm a people, everybody on the panel, I've given the submission today. We're going to have our final submission now so we can end this broadcast. Our final submission is going to be based on just for four minutes. Please, everybody stick with it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Everybody that is right there, if you're listening to me and you have not hit on the like button, I beg make on do it right now because we currently have 495 now. Make on your press on the like button. Let's see if we can gain 600 before we go. Thank you very much. Okay, let me go to the first person on the panel to give us your final submission, which is give us a mandate if you are there. If you are not there, no problem. I'll just jump to the next person. 
Thank you very much. Um, even though you're you're thinking that I will not be here, I'm here. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> I'm going to use my four minutes. Um, thank you very much. um, with all well and said uh, today, I mean, um, so so interesting and engaging um, conversation on how we can get our country back to track and then begin to uh, move in the direction of what is being destined for our nation. Uh, that being said. Um, I think I have people saying that the Bible is a slave book. Well, I don't believe in that. Um, in that, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. That's my opinion. Um, the Bible is not a slave book. Um, men were moved by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and then they wrote the, they wrote the Bible. Even though we were, were seeing what we are saying today, because we believe that our leaders, spiritual leaders, um, political leaders, should do the right thing. Um, that does not mean we should take the water and the baby and everything goes straight away. And I think some days ago, I had somebody saying that when God speak, um, thunder and all that, all of that we have. Um, whether you believe it or not, God is still speaking and he continues to speak. Even to you as human being, God speaks to you. And that does not make either thunder or brimstone fall from heaven. Elijah um, was expecting God to speak. Um, different thing happened, but God said, the um, Bible said that small still voice. It was during the small still voice that I could hear God. So just to clear all of that, um, regardless, um, thank God. I mean that even you know this channel believe believe in God and He's a Christian. So all that we are saying today, everything happening to us today is not, is is one basically in Nigeria. It questions who we what we have who we have as human beings. Questions our humanity. Questions our belief. Questions so everything about us. This year's election questions everything about Nigeria, who we are as people, what we stand for. So the morals, the values that we've been taught several years ago, are we still standing for those values? Or we allow the, the evil one among us to want to derail our value and our belief system, our culture, everything, just destroy all of those things have been built for several years. Because even as worse as we can think that the Western world are ah, maybe be, with some of these laws coming up, you will not see somebody go to the house of their neighbor, take cold iron and go and steal their property, and then the cops will not arise. That means that they still they still frown at stealing, burglary, and those all of those evil things. Now today, most people going to school, there is a high. Artificial intelligence. I mean, ChatGPT is one of them. Put anything on ChatGPT. Do some research. It will it will go pull resources for you. But in schools now, they just now make a law in school. Even if you use AI, you have to cite those things. And there are level to which you can even use AI now when it comes to research. That means they still believe in all of this in the morals and then integrity of humanity. How come then, as we as humanity, as people, can see evil and not stand against the evil? When people like Elijah and Elijah stood against evil, Benson is out, also stood against evil. Now, how Thank come you. all of a sudden, forgery, we can now forgive forgery, we can forgive this evil, and even when people have been taken down, this should not go down like this. Um, justice Ali Wala, we are waiting for when the judges, uh, when the justice, uh, when the judge, uh, when the judgment will be delivered. Hopefully, it comes so soon. But on this one, we are here with you guys. Let's see what you guys want to do, other than doing the right thing. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you. God bless Ninja Watch family. God bless Nigeria. God Amen. bless all of us all over the world. God bless us and keep our troop. Have a good evening, sir. Thank you, my brother. God bless you too and your household. I appreciate you always. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my people. All right, uh, let me go to uh, Amoyes Corner. Amoyes Corner, if you're there, if you have four minutes, final submission, please. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Elvis, and to everyone that has spoken. Honestly, I need to, I, I have to thank especially uh, Madam Nena, Sister Rita, uh, Henry Gabriel, everybody that has spoken, uh, Madam Busy Brains, it was really very quite educative today. Uh, I just want to say we need to focus on our attention on the judiciary and also 
uh, eyes on Chicago State University. We need to also train that, okay? So that they can see that, ha, this man wants to put our leg out too. Let's come out and defend ourselves because that may be loss of uh, income to us. So if you have a social media platform, please utilize it. As you are trending all eyes on judiciary, also trend all eyes on Chicago State. May they ask why they will respond to them. Now, I just want to quickly respond to uh, give us a mandate. There was a slave Bible that was created. That's a fact. That is not something that was made up. And yes, you can argue back and forth. I know a lot of Christians like to say the Bible was inspired by the Holy Spirit and all of that, but they are books that were put together by people who wanted to enslave the whole world. Whether you like it or not, that's also fact. So yeah, everybody is entitled to have their own opinion on the subject, just as I do. So having said that, please, truth and justice will never get old. Righteousness, the same Bible, inside that same Bible, you see, righteousness, now they exhort the, the people, now they exhort a nation. So if you are not standing on the truth and you are not able to speak the truth when it is inconvenient, then I don't know what kind of Christian you are. You have to be able to put you. Somebody made a comment earlier. Those people are supposed to, all these geos pastors, they should be able to put their life on the line for the homeless, for the orphans, for the widows, for all the poor, for the voiceless, for the vulnerable. Those are the people they should be speaking up for and being in front of the line. That's how you know a leader. That's how you know a geo and a pastor. So until they get it right, zero respect for those who choose to stand on the path of truth because it's a new day, it's a new dawn, and a new group of people. We don't have the patience. We will read, the, we, we, if we need to be Christians, we study ourselves. In studying, we will discover the truth. If you are a Muslim, do the same thing. Find the truth for yourself. Thank you very much, Mr. Evis. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Um, yes, Conan, God bless you. Okay, let me move on to the next person. I don't know if uh, Mother Patricia is still with us. Mother Patricia, are you there? Okay, Mother Patricia is not even here anymore. Okay, she's not here anymore. Okay, Black Panther, uh, give us your final submission. Five, uh, four minutes. Okay, we'll come back to you. You're not there. Uh, let me move on to Mother Busy Brains. Give us your final submission. Four minutes, please. Okay, okay, I'll be so. Thank yes, you, ma'am. So. All eyes on the judiciary. I was going to talk about that during my first submission, but I didn't remember. I don't know what they are waiting for, you know. They are, they are being political with our verdict. They are sitting on our mandate, toying with the lives and the future of over 200 million people because they are afraid. They are afraid of what will happen. If they are afraid of what will happen in Nigeria, if they are afraid that if they give judgment, because the, the, if they give the right, the, let me not say right judgment, because right, if they give the judgment that is free, and fair, we know whose side it is going to land, where the scale will land. It will land on the obedient side. And if the reason why they are delaying in submitting their judgment is because they are worried that the country will go in anarchy, they are thinking they are helping Nigerians, they should not worry. Like I said about the daddy Jew, they should just do what is right and let God decide whatever happens, let it happen. If Nigeria will burn, let it burn. But let them give us our mandate. 
Let them tell us that this waiting is over because they are adding to our trauma. Whoever knows these people, right now I am a hundred percent sure that judgment is ready. It is in its envelope. But government, those who have stolen our our, our mandate, have put a stay to delay. But war was not will not happen. The war that they are waiting to happen will not happen. The only time that the war will happen, it will be within. They are trying to cause chaos. The war that will happen within, it is the war that is going to expunge the apparition out of existence. Oga Elvis, let me yield here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Busy Brace. Thanks for your submission. Um, okay, let me quickly move on to the next person now, which is uh, uh, Dr. Ken. Are you there? Sorry. sorry. I am here. I'm here. I'm here. Madam Busy Brace, you said what? I, I, just want to, I just want to add something, please. I just want to bring our attention to something. You see, even them, they know that they are sitting on a borrowed time. They are sitting on the edge of the chair right now. Because this uh, Ubai, is it Ubai or Umahi that is a senator and he has been given a portfolio as a minister, but he's still holding the two positions because he does not want to lose out. If he takes on the minister, he will have to give up on his senatorial seat. So why is he, st why is he keeping both positions? Why? Why can he not go that's, for his ministerial that's David, David Umai, okay. Why is he not, why is he sitting on it? Because he himself he knows that he's going to lose out. So let him just quickly make a decision and either say no to the ministerial position or say no to the senatorial position. But if he wants to continue regardless, then he can just choose wisdom and stay where he is and not be part of a of of a of a rogue government that the days are numbered. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much. Raja, have you called me? I called uh, you, you didn't answer. I'll come back to you, Dr. Ken. Let Dr. Ken talk to okay. us first. Okay. Dr. Uh, Ken, go ahead, see, four minutes. Uh, okay. Tinibu uh, Wala, if you look at this current, uh, you know, discourse, where did they talk to, you really look into his, his situation of about his certificate. Uh, I would be very happy uh, if uh, this uh, CSU, if they bring out 44 years of their existence, their operation, and especially focusing on that certificate department, make we know whether how many times they don't make this kind of mistake where we say they make mistake for the person here, for the logo, and all those, not just one. One not be mistake. One, if you say mistake, two something for one person thing, that should be something that they need to pay attention to. So we want to know whether not only him, not only him, now he just be like that for the whole of this year. We'll be saying, and among all the people he graduated at 79, now only him. That is so they will now begin to ask, why must it be only him? That is the first wahala. Why must it be only him? And you see, uh, I don't know what thing they do, but the only one I know thing they do, because I don't think they work for US, all those things. And if they use money, because once somebody did inside drugs, the money they be like, say, na sand. Yes. And they prepare for all these things. That is why you just touch money, different, different area. They give pool. Either if you give you, you know, your price, not owe you, he go use the boys, but they go take deal with you for the other side. Now, what thing they do? But um, I just something just they tell me say the time for Nigeria don't reach because if you listen to I don't see some of them not believe in that thing again, but for me, are they are they very, very diverse? Are they listen to here and there, listen here and there. The 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 uh Pat Elton, the British missionary, we say he gave that prophetic word long, long time ago. He said Nigeria go do it so corrupt to the point we say the whole world go hate them. Now, our co our corruption, they don't do so fantastic now. I don't know whether any other thing they will never surpass, any level of corruption will never surpass for the whole world. Until once you say Nigeria, anybody look at you, it's realizing that there's another alternative world. If you don't use corruption, you can say, this guy is very Nigerian. They'll just miss what you mean by that thing. 
they were missing a corruption. That is why we don't reach at this level, at this point. And at time for us now to begin to come down, because we don't reach the zenith, we will come down. And this is the team. We say, Tinibu are the last. Tinibu are the last. It not go happen. Now it don't reach the peak. It go come down. As I watch my TV, I they look at the read books, at the see. It go. It not go feel work. You know, go feel work. Look, every this you know, go feel work. Anyhow, they bring up because the more you try to, they want to cover this kind of person. Now, the more that in the comment, you go surprised. Say, when they don't finally bring out that CSU, a, a, a private a document about Tinibu for his school education, you can't see what people never they talk about before. What Tinibu they fear, me they don't know because they never know that side. Suppose they go see that in the Congo, see, say, nationality, Guinea. That place don't, it don't bust out again. So put the con see something. He know why they say no way. Why they spend money? Look at those actors they bring today. Okay. Round, round up one minute. One minute. Round up. Ah, oh, uh, okay. No worry. My thought of line. Though, you know, with as you come up, don't worry. Just make somebody go on. You just click my my thought of line of thought. Oh, sorry. But, sorry about that, sir. And because you don't yeah, cross okay. the line. <laughs> okay, I know. Thank you anyway for that opportunity too. I will come up on that time again, Mickey. God bless you, sir. Thank you. All right. Um, let's move on to Black Panther now. Black Panther, we're calling you now for this second time. Oh, sorry, this uh Niger watch. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh thank you, uh doctor that just spoke now. You are speaking exactly what is in my mind. I know that this is the last straw. Of the cannibals, these politicians are called the cannibals at times because they are they suck everything out of the country, but the country cannot run dry. Nigeria will survive everything they've done, Nigeria will survive it on one condition. Nigerians must rally around and set their eyes on the truth, because it is only the truth that will break the foundation of these cannibals that we have as politicians. What Atiku is doing now, it's surprising to every one of us. These are beds of the same feather. Why is he doing it? The reason, we don't know yet. But we are just forecasting. But I know, since Atiku has gone dead, and he has, he has started the, the judicial process embarking to put embarking on that information to get that information. The court system in America will not fail him because they are looking for the truth. And when you are looking for the truth, the American judiciary cannot subject you to a level where you will find the truth. Because all what they are doing, all what is doing is following the, the laid down constitution. The freedom of information is not asking for any other thing, but asking that the Chicago University should bring out the history of this man called Nigerian president, which is not the president indeed, but is just sitting down warming the seat for Peter Obi. And I want to say this. We should not be surprised if our speculation is right. That this man is not a Nigerian. Because there were so many things that happened in the, in the, in the U.S. then where people were flying to the U.S. Nigeria was like the only way many Africans because our passport was really open for so many of them, and you cannot differentiate. You can be any name and have Nigerian passport. A lot of people have done that. And again, a lot of Nigerians who are in the U.S. have used somebody's name to travel into the U.S. And even the Britain there, too. So there is a lot of things that has been happening that we're looking at them that, oh, you not know, me. Now is getting, bringing out his bad head to haunt those that did it. And it's going to haunt Tinubu down. 
down he will go. There is no room for wickedness. There is no room for those that mock God, their own creator. There is no room for them in the Nigerian states. This is their last straw. This is the last straw. We are putting all our eyes on the judiciary. The judiciary should speak. And I know why Atiku is going that trajectory. Atiku is preparing for the Supreme Court. That is what because he believed that they might compromise the, 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 what they are doing now. They might compromise it, but he doesn't want to lose God. But there is a reason, particular reason, he's fighting this thing down. Because Tinubu is, is one of his best friends. So Nigeria should keep all hope alive. We are going somewhere. And that place we are going is the promised land. We cannot be stampled upon anymore. The Nigerian youth, this generation, have opened their eyes and they want to see that what their forefathers could not do, they want to change the trajectory. And every Nigerian that, want, that, that love the truth should come into this fight and let us dig it down with them and get victory at thank last. You. I want to thank Mr. Nigeria Watch. I want to thank our PO, Peter Obi, who has come out, who has heard the voice from the wilderness, the cry of the people, and has come out and has brought himself out to take those bullets. We thank him for representing us, the population of Nigeria, to speak the truth to power. Nobody can jump through the window and clean the room. You have to go through the door, the right path. Thank you, Mr. Nigeria Watch. All right, uh, Black Panther, thank you very much, sir, for your wonderful submission. Always appreciate you. Okay, um, the last person on the panel that needs to give us his final submission is Peace Soft. But before that, let me check on my lights. 506, God bless you all. Press on the like button, continue to press on it before we round up. Uh, Peace Soft, please talk to us. Give us your final submission. Four minutes, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ellis. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody, and uh, I also like to say that Chinubu's time is up because, uh, from all indication, this guy has been lying for a very long time, and he's been arrogant, and he thinks that. Most Nigerians are illiterate, uneducated, so he could use his own, you know, talks and, uh, you know, power, money to influence a lot of stuff, you know, put us all in in, uh, in a big mess, which he already did in few months that he's been in office. This is not acceptable. This is, this is not going to be allowed. And uh, I like to tell them that that time is going to be up soon whether the judiciary decide to go the way of the Nigeria, the way of the constitution, or the judiciary decide to go the way of the corrupt politicians. So whichever way they want to go, Tunubu is not going to go scot-free. We're not going to let him go scot-free. He's going to pay for everything he's done, for lying for us to be in Nigeria, for lying in his certificate. This is not rocket science. It's, it's a shame that, that his, his legal team could even put up such argument telling the whole country, United States, that, oh, the clerk, the clerk could have made some mistakes or the reason for his invalid. Because if, if, you, if, you, if you understand the statement they're making that the reason the certificate is invalid is because, which means, which means the certificates, they confirm in their own mouth that Tunubu's certificate is invalid. It's invalid. That's a confirmation from their own legal team that the reason the certificate is invalid is because there was a mistake. How? How? In the whole of the United States, this is the first time that Nigerian politicians will be disgracing the whole of Nigeria in abroad. Think about it. This, 
this type of statement is coming from from politicians from legal team they're not even ashamed this is bullshit this is bullshit you might not understand the level of damage that this statement has gone believe me it's absolutely nonsense all nigerians must come out and condemn this nonsense in a say what their license should be withdrawn immediately thank you very much thank you everybody god bless you thank you sir thank you very much uh for your wonderful submission thank you very much my people we have come to the end of this uh broadcast i appreciate you all thanks for your time with us for your patience i appreciate you all continue to support us every day we are here 6 p.m until we have our mandate we are not going to change anything by god's grace fingers crossed we're going to be coming back again uh, tomorrow by 6 p.m continue to join us share our videos like our videos every one of you that came to the panel today i want to say thank you very much without you guys we can't do what we're doing here it's a collective effort i appreciate every one of you thank you thank you thank you um thank you very much every one of you that have supported me today as well i got a late uh, support from madam ame thank you very much i appreciate you all uh antony ola thank you very much as well and god bless you god bless every one of you my people and the people right there on the comment section mother of all mommy diaspora thank you very much mommy we appreciate you always mother rita i can see you right there thank you very much i appreciate you tony africa thank you uh aaron one four thank you very much i appreciate every one of you right there please help us to press on the like button before you go please because i'm not come on with us so i'm not press on my back love of god is my strength thank you we didn't receive any call today strange although some people called in when submission were going on so yeah but don't worry i'll prioritize callers tomorrow by god's grace you know so um i appreciate every one of you chris dublin is right there with, with us as well thank you uh talent thank you thank you god bless all my people and here now go draw the curtain it's been a long 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 day since morning we've been busy so um i would like to end it right now let me say good night my people and i'll see you guys by 6 p.m tomorrow fingers crossed if there's anything breaking news i'll be out that's why it's good for you to subscribe with us hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we come out randomly fingers crossed god almighty we expose the satanic government and all the leaders both the past and present in the mighty name of lord jesus christ we shall have a good and a new nigeria in our time thank you very much my people good night and bye for now